I'm hey, Zo, how you doing, brother? I'm chilling. Now I'm glad we finally got to connect, man. You know, make this happen for real, man. Um, I'm Plug Sing C, and man, we're back with another wonderful guest, man. Um, you know, when they say them, them Philly dudes, they just bred different. You know, the rhymes is really and and they really living what they spitting, and you can really hear the hunger in their voice. Our we next, are we are from. Oh yeah, oh this uh man, this VA man, you know what I'm saying? VA no, VA. No, I just from land. I seen the phone number and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we move around. That's where the office is at. But you know, we moving around and we doing some things. We we definitely. It, 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 it's Newport, Newport News. That's VA, right? Yeah, Newport News. Yeah, that's in the seven five seven area. I um I came up in an area called Norfolk, like Norfolk. The Norfolk. Is that where now where you're from? You say what? Pernod yeah, Whitaker. Pernod Whitaker, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I, yeah. Know, I, yeah. Know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 no doubt, yeah. One I went, the best to, I went to school with one of his cousins, man, you know what I'm saying? My, my, cousin, my cousin used to work for Pernod Whitaker. They used to, used to walk him out to the ring and shit at his fights. Uh, yeah, I know, because I know Philly heavy in that boxing, man, you know what I'm saying, definitely. Yeah, I'm here watching boxing right now. Watching Where, who, boxing. You, who you looking at? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a Sanchez, it's some shit back in the 70s, late 70s. Um, yeah, yeah so I watch, I watch, I watch, I watch all that shit. Like, like the thirtieth, I'm betting all my yeah. money on Canelo. Canelo, you got Let me tell Canelo. Why? Let me tell why? Why? Listen, why? Listen, I, listen, I bet all my money on um Crawford. Everybody said, "Why you betting on Crawford?" I cleaned up on Crawford, right? I told him, I said, "Listen, the bull gonna go to the body on Crawford. As soon as he go to the body on Crawford, Crawford gonna counter punch him." But Crawford made it look easy, even easier than that. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why the bull can't be Canelo. Canelo chin is too fucking solid, and he hit too hard. You see the fight you with G three times? Yo, I think, I, but yo, but I think the boy got enough power to, no. to, to touch Canelo, man. No, he don't hit harder than Triple G. Do, do, you, remember, do, you, do you remember? Do you remember? But, 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 but listen, I, I, he move around more than Triple G. He though. move around, but he don't hit harder than him. Canelo, nah, fought, listen, listen Canelo for Triple G three times, right? Yeah, never been Canelo, never been hurt ever. Never, never been hurt. Yeah, he, he got a long stay in the career, man. He he got a long Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. I don't think the, the Charlo brother, he, I love the Charlos. Mm -hmm. I love, but they can't beat Canelo. That's nah, just, no doubt. And listen, Canelo gonna knock him out within the ninth or the tenth round. Mm -hmm. And listen, and I, and I never and I never go against somebody black, but I go with the green first. <laughs> you know I mean? and, and I gotta, you know what I mean? Like, yo, listen, this is the same thing I was telling everybody about the Crawford fight. I, see, yo, I mean, Crawford, Crawford was a safer bet. I knew Crawford was going. No, but, 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 but a lot of people, a lot of people didn't, didn't, didn't think Crawford was going. Yo, everybody I talked to said Crawford was going to lose, or they, they wasn't sure, or maybe he was on the fence. Listen, I Canelo was going to kill. Listen, Canelo, and if Canelo more of a favorite over Charlos than, than Crawford was on the bet on the betting odds. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that. Listen, if you bet a thousand dollars on Canelo, you only make two sixty. Mm, I didn't know. Charlo, that. I mean, uh, and Crawford, she was like. If you bet a thousand dollars, you get like eight hundred. Mm. So it was like mm. it was like almost it was almost 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 even. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So, so like, like I, I fuck with that boxing. You would see. I'm gonna yeah. call y'all on the first. Yeah, yeah, fight, yeah. Hit me, hit me. I, I was, was just dead, watch, I watch. I look at a lot of the older dudes. I was looking at uh uh was Archie uh Moore. Yeah, Archie man, Moore. The older cat, man. Yo, oh, man, like, like, dude fought till he was like fifty. You know, he he I'm went say, through a I'm lot of politics, say, man. I'm gonna tell you what fight to watch. Watch Larry Holmes and Ken Norton. Yeah, that's a dope fight. The, the that. last round of that fight. Yeah, that's the best round of boxing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, nah. shit like that. I mean, I, that's all, that's yo, that's all I do is watch nah, boxing. Right. Larry Holmes was just just the uh, dudes that realized the footwork, 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 footwork was crazy, man. Tweet ran into Tyson. Yeah, yeah, but he was <laughs> older than he was much older than man. Yeah, you know, man, you know, but we ran into Tyson. That shit was. <laughs> yeah, he, he was much older than yeah. Tyson but, but listen, was, even if he was young, young even if he was young, Mike Tyson would have smoked him. A, pro, a prime Mike Tyson against a prime, any, a prime Mike Tyson against prime anybody, he's smoking them. I agree. Lennox, I'm, only, only person he I ran like in the Linux though. When he ran in the Linux, a prime, a prime of George Foreman. Mm. Prime George Foreman mm. against Prime Mike Tyson would be crazy. That's will, will determination, will against pure anger. That yo, listen, that'd fucking, be a crazy fucking George bout. Foreman. You see what George Foreman did to Joe Frazier? Like he just demolished him. Like nah, nah. You know I mean, no that's, I think it was he was like he was like he was a taller Mike Tyson. 
No question. No question. But while we got you in the building, man, we got old Skino, man, Vasquez, man, from the sure. legendary, you know what I mean, state property, Rockefeller, Philly yeah. legend, you know, man, uh, I, I definitely always, man, we, I, I'm glad we got a chance to connect because I always wanted to talk this, to this brother, man, and bring him to our subscribers. Like, he survived a lot of real shit that I yeah. think, you know, a lot of a lot of dudes, man, they need to take heed to it. You know, definitely when I always was was tuned to him, you know, always just a fly cat. You know what I'm saying? Definitely yeah. with the clothes, the gear, you know, the paintings, things like that. Uh, tell, tell our subscribers, man, when you grow up, man, and well, I mean, my shit was like, you know, I'm from like, well, I, I you know, I was, grew up in like the 80s, you know what I mean, in, in North Philly, you know what I mean, where it was real, real hard. Like, you know I mean, everybody, mom doing drugs, no dads, you know what I mean, well, but I was in foster care. You know I mean, I went to foster care when I was nine. You know I mean, I bounced around a couple foster homes and I went to juvenile placement and then adult prison when I was 16. You know what I mean? I was, I was kind of, I was kind of bored that they counted out. They like, you know, I'm going to be the regular nigga that's just a loser, go to jail and get killed or something, you know what I mean? Which almost did happen. I got shot nine times. When I was eighteen. Mm. You know I mean, but but in the inside, I, I know I wanted more. I mean, you know, nobody never asked you like, "What you want to be?" Or they don't, they don't know your plans. Only you know your plans. I felt like my plans I was gonna be bigger than what they thought. You know, I was gonna be something, and mm. I just just worked towards it. You know I mean, I ain't had no mom, no dad, no grandparent. Nobody gave a fuck about me. You know what I mean, but I never used that as a crutch. I just used that as nigga. I'm gonna show these people that I'm stronger than all that shit. And that's my that's attitude. You know what I mean, that's then different. I turned twenty one. I met Jay Z. And I had an opportunity to rap for him, and I got signed on the spot, and it just changed. But before that, I practiced. I was practicing. I started practicing with rap about 19 years old. Mm. I start, you know what I mean? So, so about, about, about 1997, 98, I started taking it real serious. And the Philly niggas wasn't rapping. Like, so was what, like, like, so what's the temperature around Philly around this time? Like, you, murdered. you did say that. You, like, nobody was rapping. Was they nobody was, it wasn't rapping. Was it? You got to remember, it, only, the, the only rappers we had at that time was Will Smith. Like, mm. You know what I mean, it was like a group called Hundred X. Like nobody was major making money off rap. It was like it was like. No, you had the roots though. You know the, the roots. roots. The roots wasn't out yet. The roots was ah. no, no ninety seven. The, the roots were, the roots came out like in two thousand. I'm talking about ninety seven, and plus the the, the the rap type shit I listen to, like the, the, the roots. The, the roots was the roots probably came out like then. Like when we came, roots wasn't out. Roots came out when we came out. But they wasn't on that hard, definitely. No, but they definitely. wasn't even out. But I never heard of the roots at this time in the nineties. Mm. Only people was out was like major figures, Gilly and them. Yeah, and like like Shout that's it. Like I mean, nobody was nobody was, but nobody was making money off this shit. Mm. I mean, so but but I felt like I I, I feel like I can express my my life through rap, and mm. I said if I ever get an opportunity, I mean, so I moved to New York, mm. no money, went to New York, I was trying to get down with Rough Riders, was hanging with Rough Riders, was on tour with DMX. I mean. Even, even though oh, it ain't working. Oh, so you was on tour with X. Like, how was that transition? Like, you just man, listen, my the, the, the came guy, on the hope in a in a in a prayer. You just how did the, you what, what happened was the my, the, my nigga that was out in New York that, that that took me out of New York. His big his, his little brother was DMX best friend. His, his brother, I think, got killed or whatever. So he looked at D, DMX looked at him as like his big homie, whatever, whatever. So we just be on we, we, we with DMX on tour. We every state we just going with DMX like. In the hotel room, the girls outside lined up the hotel room, the dogs running around the hotel. And I'm just looking at this nigga like, damn, like, this, this nigga that's in the movies, this nigga, this nigga has, has height. And I was like, I, I gotta do this rap shit, man. Like, I got, I, I, I ain't never, if, if you can look like this, nigga, mm. I, you know what I mean? So it was like, it was like real, real, real motivation for me. You know what I mean? So I, I ended up meeting Jay Z about a couple months after that. And I mm. rapped for him and got signed on the spot. You know what I mean? Then that rest was like history, like, you know what I mean? I was so on, I just had turned 21. So let's bring you, you had turned 21. So let's bring it back. You had a little bit of misfortune, but like you said, you just keep going. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember I was shot nine times. I was 18. I, I blocked it for murder and, and right after that. Like I gave up on well, myself. Was that your first charge that you caught? No, I was locked up for like I was I went to a dope prison when I was 16. I was for five armed robberies and you know, running around doing all type of dumb shit. I just I I, I didn't know nothing about getting a job or I was too young to get a job anyway. I just knew about taking that shit or I mean, it was shit all my homies was doing. You know what I mean? We was all doing the same shit. Like, I mean, I never thought that I could become some, become somebody until, you know what I mean? I went to jail and I met a teacher, Mr. Mm -hmm. Sanchez. He's like, man, you, you, you can be anything you want. Man, I took my GD and got the second highest score out the whole five prisons on the, on the state road. It's like five prisons. I got the second highest score out of everybody. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? And he's like, yo, he's like, you could be anything you want, man. I'm like, I can't. Like, he telling me this. I'm in the hole at the time because I was fighting some ball. I'm in the hole. He telling me this shit. I'm like, man, 
I start thinking about it like, man, I can be anything I want. So I get mm -hmm. out of jail. I'm 17. I get out. I go to the army. You know what I mean? Oh. But the, the, the army couldn't take me until I'm 18. So I go to the army when I'm 18. I go to the army. I get out, do basic training, come home and get shot nine times. Couldn't go back. Yeah. I mean, so now, now, I'm, now I'm shot up. My arm don't work. Dick don't work. I'm fucking in jail. I'm in jail. I'm in jail for fucking mur for, for murder. I, I, like, my life was like so fucked up. And I'm like, man, God, you don't fuck with me. Like, I gave up for a little while. You know what I mean? But then I said, man, I can't give up. Like, you know what I mean, give up and do what? Mm -hmm. Just got to keep trying. I kept pushing. And then, not lo and behold, I didn't know like, I had a future coming. You know what I mean? And, that's what makes me so appreciative of everything. I know how I feel mm -hmm. to be hopeless. I know how I feel to be like, man, I ain't got shit coming. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that feeling is just like crazy. Like, and I, I, I just never wanted my kids to have that feeling. Like, was though mm -hmm. you don't even know where you're gonna live at. You don't know where the fuck you're gonna get some food from. You don't, you know what I mean? That's why they call it mean time. It's mean time. Cause that means like, you, that shit is mean. Like, you know I mean, you get out of jail, you gotta straight go rob something cause you don't have no money at all. Like you gotta go, you know what I mean? So it's like, I know what was the transition out. like coming out? Like, did, like man, you know, I, I remember one time I sat, on my, I sat on my bed one time, right? And I had like $400,000 in my account, right? Mm -hmm. And I started crying. And I was like, I can't believe I got four hundred thousand. I was like, I was like 23 maybe. But I said, mm -hmm. I got $400,000, man. And I could not believe it. Like, I'm talking about like, I, I, I couldn't believe I had that. I mean, it's like, is this, I, I feel like something bad is about to happen because it's, it's too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, so like, it was, it was, that's why I said my appreciation for shit was way more than a regular person because, I just, I just, I just remember how I felt to be fucked up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so like, it was, it was like a beautiful thing. It was like a feeling that, I, it's, it's a feeling you can't explain to somebody unless they was really fucked up. How you was fucked up? Yeah, no you doubt. I mean? yeah. You talk, you talk about these kids nowadays taking things for granted in the situations sure. like that. Like, like, you know, I, I seen a, a, it's a situation now where, where Boosie, he got his daughter and uh, they got the little back and forth where he took the, uh, he took the car back from her, you know, like, what do you like? What's your take on that? Would, would you would have done that in that situation? No, is, is this a daughter? Yes, his daughter. No, no, you know why? Because daughters is different from sons. You can't handle daughters rough like that. They don't forget it. Mm. Sons forget it. Sons like, man, daughters, you got, of course, they can't disrespect you and all that shit. You got to go get your daughter and talk to her face to face and let her know you love her first. Mm. Then if you gonna do something that you you can't just do your daughters rough like that because they they your daughters. I got mm. two daughters. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, you, you, a mom could do that. A dad can't do that. Mm. So you, you think the diss track was a little too far? Like yes. And mind you, I look up to Boozy. He one of the few rappers I look up to. So like this ain't no. I look up to him. Like I'm talking about like literally look up to him. Like he one of the few rappers I could say that I never met him, but that's the one of the niggas I look up to. Like you I mean. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about as far as me and how I handle my daughter would be different. Like I'm not saying he wrong because that's how he's doing his shit. You know what I mean? But how I would do my daughter is different because I want my daughters to feel special with me. Mm -hmm. Like anybody else, I'm like, all right, fuck it, but you my daughter. Like I feel like I feel like you gotta be special to me. You know what I mean? Like you I can't just do that. I can't do that to you because now you gotta be appreciative. I want to talk to you, I'm gonna make you understand. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? A son, take all that shit back. Like, yo, get the fuck. <laughs> 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 You know what I mean that's different. You know what I mean nah, a, no a, a, a daughter, a daughter got to be daddy's princess. Mm. Like I lost my older daughter. I lost her for a while. She wasn't speaking to me or nothing, right? Mm. Like about 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 a year and something. We've been tight now, and we super tight. She she I mean, but she understood on her own. My she my daughter twenty seven. Mm. She understood on her own. Like oh my dad throw like I like, but I let her know like I don't care what you did to me. I love you forever. Like I never not. I mean I I, I got your back no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know I mean, so like, I mean, I think if you, I think you got a relationship like that with your daughter, and she not letting people get in her ear, like you, you can always fix it without doing nothing drastic. Mm. But like, I'm not saying Boosie was wrong because that's how you do his shit, and I I respect him a whole lot. You know I mean, and I, mm. and I don't respect a lot of niggas that rap because a lot of niggas that rap, I look at them like they some fucking suckers, like on some real shit. Mm. But I respect Boosie more than I respect the Jay Z or anybody like that. I don't respect Jay Z. You know what I mean, oh, I tell you about you said you 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 we you, you mentioned Jay Z. We'll go there. You said like he. Uh, Second favorite rapper, but he's still as far as rap, far as raps could go. Like yeah. far as, but as far as a person, I don't respect him at all. I had no respect. You, I was, I don't you respect said he was all. stealing. He was stealing. I mean, no, like, I just don't like the way he just so features a like people don't think I'm hating and all that. But not because understand he saved my life, right? Yeah. But just because you saved my life don't mean I gotta look up to you and respect you. I mean, because you did a lot of shit that's like, mm, I mean, like you he real selfish. You real like like he do shit that he don't have to do. Like he do he, he hold people back. Of, like 
like how he's being. Right, put, 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 like he, if, if you if you got a, a, a play to make you a bit bigger than you are, he won't let he won't do it. He mm. won't do a song with you. Like you uh, think think about this. You hear him on Jay's this song with Freeway. What we do is wrong. You would think you would think that's his song and he left Freeway on it, right? Mm. That's Freeway mm. song. He got on it. Mm. He's not gonna let you get on no song that's hot. Mm. And if you got a song that's hot, he to get on your song and act like he letting you on the song. Mm. I mean, like for, for instance, uh, Sparks had a song with Jay Z on the hook. He said, "No, he won't. He wouldn't clear it, but he cleared his hook for Cassidy. I'm a hustler. I'm, I'm a hustler, but wouldn't clear Sparks. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I'm yeah. like, how you not gonna clear this shit? And this like, the yeah. song was too good. It might might make mm. you blow. You know I mean, mm. so then then what we like the song he got given to me, me and Sparks song we had. He took the hook to put Sparks on. I was locked up. Well, mm. to give you no, 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 no percent of the song. So you guys nothing. don't get no publishing no, for that. Nothing, nothing. So if you, if you get one percent of that shit, you will be rich. That's his biggest song he got. Yeah. I mean, so it's like, so I'm looking at, but that's just a little bit of shit. Like, I mean, the shit. I mean, like, so how was the like the deal structured? Because so that's listen, crazy listen, that it got us because listen, the reason he got us because Nas was on his ass. I mean, mm. like he told us that this Nas, right? I never, I don't even know, I don't even know Nas. I heard of him rapping before, but I never like knew who he was. I never. Knew. He told us that this Nas. So mm. if I got some, just, just put it like this. Say I got some young boys, right? And I mm. said, "Yo, y'all go shoot this house up, right?" That's the nigga I'm beefing with. Y'all go shoot this nigga house up. Now then I go make up with the nigga who house they shot up, right? But I don't tell him, "Yo, my young boys that shot your house up." Like they, I told him to do that, but I don't, I don't never fix it with them. I just let them be like fuck them. I make up with you, but if you see them, you can still kill them. You mm. mean? So I'm like, nigga, how you gonna get us to diss a nigga, but and go dick eat and fix it with him, but don't say nothing about us fixing it with him. And we didn't diss this nigga cut for you. I mean, that's to me, to me, that's, to me, that's like some bitch ass sucker shit. I mean, you sat there asking, yo, diss this nigga, act like he killed your cousin, diss him like that. And then act like you don't know a nigga like that. So, you know, I'm the only one that I, I've spoken nigga that don't give a fuck about all that po political shit because I get my money on my own. So I can say what I really feel. That nigga's like, the shit he do if he was in the hood, nigga. Somebody call me. Yeah, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we good. Yeah, keep going. You said the like, shit. They shouldn't be doing it. If it was like if it was some street shit, niggas would have smoked him. Like, like, nigga, you don't do shit like that. You don't trust the dis cause now now I'm gonna sound a nigga. And you don't fuck with niggas. Mm. Then that's another thing. You got beans out here fucked up. Beans was your right hand man. I, I seen a nigga going in the Did y'all did y'all run into anybody like during that time? Like, cause I Cause I remember the radio when y'all went up. No, there. niggas, with the, not, the niggas, niggas from New York. Y'all like running the Philly. jungle with anybody from now? No, they was they ain't like niggas from Philly. They like niggas. We uh, every day when we doing all this shit every day. I'm strapped every day, like, cause I'm thinking it was for real. Yeah, you know, I'm from the hood, mm. for real. Like I'm from the hood. The, the hood I'm from is different from the hoods in New York. Niggas mm. in New York can say that and they don't really be real. Like in Philly, like if that shit was real. Like so, I thought it was, but it wasn't real. Like like really real. It was like fake real. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this shit ain't nothing. This is not even a real thing. You know what I mean, like so. Mm. Philly, New York, New York, more business than Philly. Mm. Philly was more like, especially back then, was like nigga, niggas dying. Mm. You can't like do this. Thing. You die over anything in Philly. That's you know, Philly is retarded like that. You know what I mean, but yeah, I'm just looking at how niggas move, and I'm like, nigga, I'm, at that time, I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm looking at this nigga like he was like like God at the time. Did he start mm. doing shit, make me look at him like, damn, nigga, you really a sucker for real. Like mm. niggas, dick, nigga, not gonna say it because they need you for their survival, so they dick eating you. I don't mm. need you for shit. Like I'd rather be, I could be poor again. I'm cool with it. I know how to be poor real good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not dicky no nigga that's a sucker. I'm not following no nigga that's a sucker. I'm not not saying what I want to say because you somebody. I'm gonna say what the fuck I want to say no matter what. You know what I mean? So niggas look at me like, oh, this nigga crazy. Like, no, no, nigga, I'm just a realist. You know what I mean? Mm. So niggas, niggas that do anything for money, like in, 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 this, in this world, not me. You can't buy me. Mm. You know what I mean? So niggas, niggas be scared of people like that. You know what I mean? But 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 the crazy part, niggas act, 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 niggas act like they like Tupac so much. Mm. <laughs> Cause he's not yeah. here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 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 even like the nigga Jay Z, Tupac dissing Jay Z every day, every song. Yeah. He still talks about it, like, like, yeah, like they cool, like you know what I mean, like it's all fake. Like, if a nigga diss me, whether he did or not, I don't like you still. Mm. <laughs> I mean, mm. that's just, it's just what it is. Like, because you did, I like you now. Like, nigga, that's not. If you diss me, I ain't gonna say nothing bad about you because I don't disrespect the dead. But I don't fuck with you. I'm not dip bigging you up. Mm. Why would I pick up a nigga that's, that 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 diss me? Yeah. Oh, you gotta do that because I, 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 I look at the shit that niggas be doing. I'll be like, man, these niggas is some fake <laughs> niggas. Is, niggas, niggas do anything. You know what I mean, like, so you like, think, I uh, you, you think he'll give you your, your publishing back? Because I mean, y'all see, no, see I, mean, listen, I, I would never ask that nigga for nothing. I don't like, mm -hmm. I, I, I let's look, move forward. You know what I mean, I don't mm -hmm. even, I don't even, I would never even ask him for nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, I like, I like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, whatever you did for me, because at the end of the day, without him, I wouldn't be able to do the things I do now. So I still appreciate the position. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, to my far as a man, 
the shit he do as a man, like I don't my thing is you got a son out here, you you trying everything to do to not claim him, right? Yeah, I, I remember I yeah, I seen you on your page, you just talked to him. Is that true? Yeah, no, no, I got a son that's you see my son right there on the wall, right? I got a son I would do anything to spend one more day with. You got a son out here that you try to spend millions not to claim them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The most niggas don't take care of their kids because they don't got enough money to. If you got enough money to take care of your kid, why would you not want to make sure you see if this is your kid and take care of him, make sure he's straight? How can I respect you if you don't if you do shit like that? Mm -hmm. I can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I got, nigga, I got two kids, right? I had sex with their mom once, right? Ain't one of them, ain't, ain't playing for them, but when they born, they moms, come on, we rocking. Mm. Ain't no way I'm gonna make you be part of you part of my blood, and I'm not rocking with you. That's not even a, that's not even an option. Mm -hmm. You feel know what I'm saying? I don't claim mm -hmm. to be the best father in the world, but guess what? I'm not gonna not claim you. See, you're not mine. You mine. You mm -hmm. mine. Come on, we out. We, I'm, I'm available. I might not do everything mm -hmm. you want me to do. I might not, but I'm, I'm not gonna apologize if I do something wrong. But you mine. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be out here trying to make sure you say you're not mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To, to me, that's a sucker. Especially mm -hmm. if I got a fucking billion dollars. If I got a billion dollars, first thing I'm gonna do. If I had a billion, I want a thousand kids. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I mean, you, said, school for my you said in the interview. I remember you was like, "I can't have them. I can't fathom having six hundred and any around me being poor. Six hundred million. That's what's no happening. Way, you know, now no. he's you know, he's on Billy status. You know what I'm saying? But bro, let me tell you something. I would build a school. I would build a school just for my kids. I would mm. get the best teachers in the world to go to to teach my kids so they can take over the world. <laughs> Because if you, because I mean, if you're 50, 60 years old, you lived your life already, you got all the cars, you got a wife already, there's nothing you can really do. And like mm. you can be out partying and nothing. Well, I mean, what can you do with the money? What, what is your plan? Like, what do you, I mean? Mm. So, so, my, so my thing is, why, don't, don't you, when you want your, your daughter Blue to have a big brother mm. to make sure she's cool? Mm. Like, like, I'm, I'm so looking like, like, nigga, why do you, what, what is your thinking? So, my thing is, sometimes I don't knock it because I don't know what you're thinking. Like, I don't know what your plan is, but to me, I'm looking at like, it don't make sense to me. Well, I mean, if you if, if if you hear the music, you know, I mean, and and what, what he had this song with what he was talking about, you know, your kid married my kid, and I would think it's it's probably assimilation, you know, going into other families and and, and keeping the wealth in that way, you know. I, I but my thing is this: if as a man, though, if the man, if you sit down and have sex with a lady, right, mm -hmm. and you have a son out here, and and the son don't have a father because you his father, you're not claiming him. How can mm. you look in the mirror? Nah, no, no, doubt. no, no. And you waking, you waking up, you waking up in a, a fucking hundred million dollar house, right? You don't know where he's at. Mm. If you don't care about that person, you can't care about nobody else. It's not possible. Mm. You got friends that like they your friends. You sending people rollies for invitations, but you got to sit out here in front of work that could die any die, any day. And he know you was dead, and he already hurt. Mind you, he called me. Mm. The nigga called me. I, I, I told him what what he said, I ain't gonna even. I said, what did he say? Let me tell you what he said to me. He said, Oh, that's my first of all. This was at first, I didn't believe him, right? Mm. But then he started showing me the paperwork with the gag order. He showed me how they offered him three million. You won't offer nobody three million not, if that's not your kid. So you mm. offer a nigga three million instead of just taking a test, right? Mm. So he started telling me, like, So you I mean, so the young boy started telling me that this and that. And he's like, that, Oh, mind you, he's grown, he got a job and everything. He, he, he cooked, right? He don't even want no money. He's one of dad. Like, who I, I, mean, I don't have a dad, so I can understand him wanting a dad. Mm. You mean so I'm looking at this shit like I said I told I told, I told young and I said listen whatever you talk to me about I ain't gonna talk about this shit on, on a platform unless you talk about it first. So mm. he so so he starts talking about it. I still ain't talking about it for like six months after that. You know what I mean? Because mm. I'm like you know I want that. That's part. That's, I feel like this this private if conversation we having. So I'm not gonna say nothing about it. You know I mean because mm. I because I said when you, I told him I said be careful when you come out with this shit because you gonna get a lot of backlash because your pop is somebody major that people love. Mm. So they're gonna first thing they gonna say you not they don't believe you they're not gonna believe you they're gonna do this. I said you gonna have to be strong and deal with the backlash. I can deal with it. I'm used to it. I don't give a fuck. You mm. know what I mean, because I know who I am. I know. You know what I mean, I, you know I mean, so but you, you young. He's like, I know, man. I just, I just want, I just want him to just, just. I don't want no money. That's all he kept saying. I don't want no money. Mm. That's all he kept saying. That's why I started saying like, damn, let's create like this thing. Got a throw that son out here that he's just saying, I don't. I, I'm gonna spend all the money to make sure I don't take the test. Mm. Like what the fuck? And and they're like, he's 15, he's 20 something. He, he, he can't really get no money from you. Mm. He, he, I mean, you just you just don't you just dip in your responsibilities. Then your daughter, you do you got a daughter that you claim that you know is yours now, right? You want you want you want you want fucking um the show with Kevin Hart, right? Kevin Hart said name name your kids. He named all his kids. He don't name her, right? Mm. And I'm like we just talk about daughters. You do that to a daughter, and the daughter's watching, and you don't say her name. That kill a daughter. Mm -hmm. That kill a daughter. Nah, Someone gonna right. like man, how can I respect you, right? As a man. When 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 you do stuff that's not manly, mm. 
You can talk all you, you're a genius, you're smart and all this shit, but you're doing some sucker shit like that. I don't give a fuck about none of that money shit. If you can't, if you got a door down here, you don't give a fuck and you don't pick her up. You can't pick up me. Mm. You can't mm. pick up no, you mean, what, 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 you got money, so what? What's, what's the, what's the use of having money if you ain't gonna take your kids? Mm. <laughs> well, you, well, we, we, we could, we could talk about going in the line. What's your thoughts on, cause, cause you talk of Jay being selfish and Tony Ayo, he always make the analogy like, yo, uh, Uncle, like what 50 did for Uncle Murder, Jay would have never did that, you know, and have those endless type of looks and stuff like that. Do you really agree with that, or or do you? I don't think know. What, I don't know what 50. Listen, listen, I don't. Listen, I don't know 50 said personally, but I know this much. When 50 said came out, he did a song with everybody to make sure they get on. He made sure gang got on. He made sure even if he got to write the shit, Jay Z. You got to think about state properties. Jay Z never did no song with us. Mm. He's not gonna get on a song with us. We popping at the time. Just imagine who did the song with one of us. We'd have been going. He like I'm not letting. Mm. But you gotta remember. All he read is that book, 50, 48 Laws of Power. Laws of Power. Shit, right? One of the main draws in that joint is never outshine the master. Mm. So you like you're not gonna let. Mind you, we young. We from the streets. You're not gonna. He's not gonna do no song with us. We might outshine him. He mm. never gonna. He never gonna take a risk like that. Mm. You know I mean, not knowing we look up to him like the fucking big. You know what I mean. So I'm, but you know, I'm the type of nigga where I start peeping shit and I start not liking mm -hmm. shit. I, I fade the black, I fade off. Like, I'm because mm -hmm. I mean, all, you, people want to do what you allow them to do to you. So I'm not gonna, I never would be around. I mean, when I first came home from jail, right? They had some some state property Rockefeller reunion shit in New York. I'm like, do you get paid for it? They're like, no. I said, well, I ain't going. I'm going to cut hair. I'm going to, going to work. <laughs> you know, like, you're like, yeah, I'm like, nigga, why, would I, why, why would I like want to be around? Why would I rather go be acting like I'm famous somewhere and don't get shit when I can go to work? Mm. <laughs> I mean, nah, to me, it's right. common. To me, it's, it's common sense. To me, I don't, you know, some people just. I ain't, so. Look, some people may say, "Hey, I just want the look," but fuck that look. You can't exactly. eat no look. Exactly. You can't eat no look. You know I mean so? Like, I'm a, like I said, I'm a realist. I, I don't know being. See, my thing is this: I don't think making music should make you famous. Mm. A teacher should be famous. Mm. A trash man should be famous. Mm. Being making writing songs on the paper and writing that, that shouldn't make you famous. Mm. Mm. So I never feel like I'm somebody because I can do that shit. That shit don't mean nothing. Is you thorough or not? Do you care mm. about your people that's around you? Do you really want to see your brother win or not? That should make you famous. Mm. The shit that make people famous shouldn't make them famous. Mm. You mean you out here doing all this shit? If you don't take care of your kids, you shouldn't be famous. Now, now if you now if you a nigga, you only make you make a minimum wage and you ain't got to take care of your kids. I understand that, but you wish you could. I don't niggas that wish they could that can. Mm. But if you can and you don't, like, come on, man. That's like a whole different. That's a different. That's a different level of evilness. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> I mean, so we get, my dog, I got I just, I got sent on 20, 40 years, right? I mean, this nigga be beefing, right? Mm -hmm. But no matter what, I'm gonna always be his dad. Mm -hmm. No matter what we beef about, no matter the nigga don't want to speak to me ever again in life, I love him. And he always gonna be my son, and I'm always gonna claim him. I'm always gonna do whatever I can do for him because I love him. I mean, now I might not do it as fast. I might not be having like the the the, the hype was to do it, but I would mm -hmm. never like because I love him for like, I love him for real. Mm -hmm. So even though I don't like him, he get on my nerve right now. I love him though. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I'm like, like mind, you, mind you, my son is in jail for murder. I mean, that he did. He, he, you know what I'm saying? Ain't like he innocent. You know what I mean? So like, he's my son. You keeping it real, yo. That's a you fact. I mean, that's my son, though. Like, I mean, so I don't give a fuck what he did. He my son. You know what I'm that's saying? a fact. So, so, so like, like I can't imagine me just having a son I had that's going to, I know he's going to work. He's a chef and, and I'm rich and I'm not, don't give a fuck about him. Mm -hmm. That mean I got no, I mean, I got a cold heart. You know what I'm so people look at me like I'm crazy, but I, and I don't give a fuck. I'm like, oh, they can look at me like I'm crazy. I just, it, I, if somebody prove me wrong, I'm like, oh, well, this is how you think I'm wrong about it. And they, they talk to me and tell me I, I can fix my thinking, but I don't see nothing wrong with the way I'm be thinking. You well, I, I, I really, I, I really, I really think that, like, he really, you know, Jay kind of made those, like you said, those books, 48 Laws of Power. The, the, everything is strategic. And really, really going to Philly. That really was a strategic move because you think mm -hmm. about how that was the next hot breed. Dudes was just spitting, and he like, yo, I could really get some young boys that was from here that that really go hard and that that really rhyme that will really do my bidding. You know what I mean? Yeah, so sure. I, and, like, like, and listen, I, listen. That part, that part. Not, listen, my thing is this: I, I, I separate this shit like this. Like, mm -hmm. I, I respect your your business. I respect your, your, you're my second favorite rapper as far as rhymes. But mm -hmm. as a man, I don't respect you. Mm -hmm. Like I would never follow you. I would never want to be like you. That's that's it. I mean, like, uh, like, like money, money don't impress me. Mm -hmm. 
being able to save all the money when press me is what you can do for what you've done for other people. Mm. Mm. Like, like I mean, like I look, I look, I look at Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, one of the richest people in the world. He gave most of his money to Bill Gates. Mm. I respect him for that. Mm -hmm. I'm old. Like fuck this. Take this money, Bill Gates. You do. You younger than me. You do what you can do. I mean, money. You should be judged off what you did for other people than what you have. Mm. Mm. Now, not saying you owe nobody nothing because you don't have to do nothing, but you should want to do something, especially if you're black. I let would feel guilty if I wait. Huh? Let me let me ask you this. I mean, to cut you off, do you think he owe Young Chris? Because a lot of he people, all of us, Young Chris, his flow. And do no, you dog, think he, 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 he stole niggas? He stole niggas direct raps. He he stole niggas direct lyrics. Like not change them at all, but he he said it first, so you can't say it. So it ain't mm. just Young Chris. He stole it's this shit from every person. If we say when he, every time we used to see us, he used to say, "Yo, you gotta have new raps." For, like if you ever listen to Hot ninety seven, the second time we went up there, I did a song all about boxing. Like mm. the last joint, it's all about boxing. Next thing he come out with uh, 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 lyrical exercise. Whatever he's put come out mm -hmm. with spring training or winter by early December. Mm -hmm. Same. Every, so, you mean so like I'm like nigga, you're not gonna get a penny off the idea or none of that shit. You know what I mean. Like I said, give it to me. As, I mean, it's Sparks' song. Like he let Sparks get on the hook because it's our song. I mean, he mm -hmm. would have never let Sparks get on the hook. But this, I mean, he put Pharrell on it. That became his number one single. Mm -hmm. Not, not. I ain't get a penny. I was in prison for a, a homicide, a different homicide. But I ain't get shit. You know I mean, but I'm just saying, like, nigga, you ain't, you ain't never even say like, damn, nigga, like y'all did do that high hill. No, you want to be everything. You want to be on this shit. I got a billion. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I mean, if you if you got a son out here, it's a chef, but you ain't, you don't even want to claim. I mean, mm. and not only that, you paying money so you don't got to take the test. Mm. You paying money not to take the test. If anything, you're like, let me take this so I can see if this mine or not. That would mm. be my thing. Let me see if this shit mine. It's like mm. you don't want to. Why would you not want to see if you're, it's a son? Mm. I mean, so that makes me like, like, I don't care about no music shit. Music shit don't mean nothing. Business shit don't mean nothing. This that's real life to me. Yeah. Being yeah. famous and all that shit. That's that's cool and that's nice and all that. But that shit not real life. Mm. I mean, real life to me is like your son and your your, your, your your family and shit like that. I mean, I don't have no mom. I got a mom, but I don't have a mom. She's alive, mm -hmm. but I don't have my, I mean, shit like that. I wish I did. You know what I mean? So, like, mm -hmm. my son's, you see, my son is on a wall right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? My son, like, that, you know, yeah, the son, like, you you, you love him. You want, you want them to have everything you didn't. Mm -hmm. Everything that you didn't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now, not saying you're going to, because none of us going to be a perfect parent, for real. Especially if you was raised fucked up, how I was raised fucked up. But you still could love him perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah, as long as they know you love him, like my dad, I get on his nerve. He go, but I know he's not gonna just say fuck me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He never gonna, he never gonna just say fuck me. Mm -hmm. He never gonna just try not to claim me. I mean, like, like you not even, you not, you try not to even say he was dead. So like, I'll be like, man, like, everybody dick eating you and praising you, but nobody says nothing about these kids that mean everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll be like, but if I say it, I'm a hater. I'm like, well, I'll be a hater. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just telling you how I look at shit. Like, and I'm telling you, like, he's a good businessman. He good at this, he good at that. But like when it comes to shit like that, that shit that means something. You mm -hmm. listen, you selling records is not more important than you having a son that you love. Mm -hmm. Like, like if somebody said, Oh, but you gotta pick one, you love your son or sell these records. I'm picking love my son every time. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking up fucking selling records. Like, I'll go be a trash man. Me and my son can go to the movies and do whatever we're gonna do it. We can have a, a crazier bond than the person that sells a million records. Mm. That's all that because money don't mean nothing. When you die, don't mean nothing. When you die, you money don't remember you. That's Money can't speak highly of you. you know what I'm saying your, your, your daughter can, mm. your son can. Mm. You know I mean, that's the. I mean, that's and they, and, they, and they got your actual blood and your DNA inside of them. They really another part. They another you. you know, so I don't know, man. I just. I mean, so I. I, I and and the, and the older I get, the more I'm like, damn, I don't understand it because you know, the older you get, the more you know that death is coming. Mm. Death is coming. I mean, so like, what are you gonna do? Like, what, what, what really matter? A car don't matter. A fucking house don't matter. <laughs> You mean so? Like you mean? Now I'm glad you elaborated on that because that was one of the questions that I actually had. So when you was was locked up, was it any support coming from uh, Rockefeller or anything like that? Dame Dash, man, listen, Dame Dash came and got on the stand for me, nigga. And I didn't even listen when he when he did it for me. This, I was a young boy, right? I'm like, man, he said, "You want me to come on the stand for you? Or anything?" I'm like, "You'll do that?" He's like, but I just, "This is when Dame was at the top. Like this, this back 2003, 2002, right?" Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this nigga do that for me? Like, I couldn't, because I, I wasn't expecting it because nobody never did shit for me. Like, I ain't, you know what I mean? He came and did that for me. I was like, it was like, for me, it was like the thing that still the deal for me with him. It's like, nigga, I'll fuck with you for life for that. I mean, because you don't owe me nothing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, I ain't the type of boy to go to jail and be like, everybody owe me. I go to jail and do my time and like, you know, I'm, I got locked up for whatever I got locked up for. You don't owe me. You mm -hmm. ain't, you mean, you, you ain't got to visit me. I ain't the type, I ain't that boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
So like, yeah, Dame, 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 Dame was always there for me the whole time, mm. even to and now. I, and I know it's probably was was crazy because I was checking out an interview, man. You you was talking about how you ran into some some issues behind yeah. the walls, you know, like doing that beef, you know, and whatever, you know. Behind. You know, listen. I told one time I called Dame. I said, Yo, I just got shot. He's like, you got shot? What the fuck? You you got shot? Yo, I'm about to come get. He's like, Yo, come 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 meet me right now. I, I come I can meet the nigga like he in the Maybach blue John. I never forget. He said, yo, we about to get your apartment. I'm about to call my realtor. He called his realtor and got me an apartment out. Uh, it's called Fort Lee, New Jersey. It was like crazy ass high rock. I mean, the, but the fact I ain't asking for it or nothing, I ain't asking him to do it. He's just like, yo, you got, I want you to be safe, man. It was, mm. it was, so it wasn't about the money, it was just about the, my work, caring about you. You know, I, like I said, I grew up in foster care, man. I mm. ain't never had nobody like give a fuck about me. Like, even, I mean, I ain't, I, so when he said it to me, I wasn't even expecting that. I just let him know that I got shot. Like, I mean, so I'm going to call you, you know, what? He like, what? Yo, you know, I've been shot so many times. It was like it wasn't no big. It was like a big thing, like like. Plus, you know, I, I, I just had got shot in my leg anyway, so I'm like, you know, I got shot. Whatever. He he like he like yo nigga like, yo you gotta come, come yo you gotta come where you at like. What, 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 what it's love. You know right? <laughs> yeah, I mean so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's love, right? Yeah, speaking of Dame, I always it was a, a question I always wondered about. They were saying that uh the the plane that Aaliyah, the reason why Dame he had some friction with Hype Williams is because the plane that. Aaliyah was supposed to come on, but Hank Williams flew in the plane, and she. Ended I'm not up sure, I, I, but I, what I do remember is this. Is I didn't that. to that. And what I'm happened? not sure, but I know I know when 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 she died, when she passed away, I was with Dame. We, they probably we was all with Dame. We was in Miami, mm. but I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know the interactions of it. But I know one thing that it really affected them. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean that, that was like a step. You know, Aaliyah was like Aaliyah was like Beyonce before Beyonce. Mm. Like you know, she was major like that. You know what I mean, but like, yeah, yeah I, I, I remember as an I was, I really, I really did, I was, I remember that when it happened, I was young, and I mm. knew Dame, but I didn't know him as much as I know him now. So like, I really wasn't. It was so sensitive. I probably was, I wasn't really talking to him about that, like that type of stuff. You know what I mean, mm. but I remember when it happened, we was all in Miami because we we had we used, when we used to record the album, we had lived down there for like a month, and he was. The, mm. I mean, so, but yeah, I mean, I don't know about that, but like, but I think even if even if, that, if, even if that's what happened, it's just like a God's plan. Mm. I mean, so it don't matter. You only can't blame Hype Williams because, of course, if, even if that's what Hype Williams did, he wouldn't. He couldn't know that was going to happen. Mm. So, like, that's something you can never blame on nobody but except for God. Mm. And I think when it's your time to go, you just it's, 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 I know when it's time your time to go, your time to go because I got hit my times close range and I ain't die. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that's it wasn't true. my time, not 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 because of me, not because of nothing, but just it wasn't my time to, to die. What know? happened that day? Like, how'd you get hit? Like, like. Man, it, was, it was like a long story, but this the thing at the ball. I didn't know him, so I walked right to him. It was broad daylight, so I'm about to go in the store. He's standing right by the store door, so she pull that gun out. The first joint, shoot me in my stomach. And I try to grab that shit and try to take it. We wrestling with the gun, so that shit going off hit me. Pop, 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 close. So we so he hit me so close that we 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 we, we, we wrestling over the gun. That's how we close. That's how close we are. So the shit hit me going through me. One bullet go through my, my stomach, go through my come out my butt, come out my. You know I mean shit like that? Like you know I mean so. <laughs> Then he ran out of bullets, whatever, whatever. You know, I went to go take a step to walk off, and I just collapsed and hit my face on the ground. Mm. You know I mean, and then the, you know, I was like, damn, I died. Like, I looked down, I had on all white, so I looked down and see all these holes and shit. Me, I'm saying, like, I ain't want to die. I was really kind of salty, like, damn, I wanted to do something with my life. Like, and I was mm. just about to leave to get, I was about to go to back to the army, but I had three more days before I got deployed. Mm. You know I mean, so I'm like, Phew. and I was like, damn, man, I just got, and you know, I, and I woke up three days later and I was still was alive, and I'm like. I forgot what happened, and I'm like, and I couldn't move. I, I was fucked up so bad. I was like, man, I just was crying. Like, man, this, like, I, I felt like I just couldn't catch a break. You know what I mean? But it was one of them things that you so happy to be, you happy to be alive, but you're not happy yet because your life is so fucked up. Mm. But you still better than being dead, I think, because you don't know what it's like to be dead. I don't know what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But but when I was about to die, I wasn't really scared. I was more salty. I was more like, damn, like, I don't want to die yet, man. I want to do something yeah. with my life before I die. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I know how that feels for real. People, a lot of people don't know. That's, that's why I'm fearless. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why, I'm, that's why, like, you can't, like, nothing you can say to me or do to me make me, like, scared. Like, I don't give up, like, because I know you're going to die anyway. Mm. What's the use of you living your life scared or dicky and you know, scared to express how you feel? There's no need for it. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. What's, what's, what, what, is, what is fear? What, oh, somebody might kill you. Okay. Gonna die, even if you stay in the house and never come outside, you're gonna die anyway. Mm. So, being scared is no need to be scared. But what you can do is don't be scared to love somebody, neither. 
Mm. Like, if you my man, you come home from jail, I'm not going to be scared to tell you where I live at because I'm scared you're going to do something to me. I'm not scared of shit like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I, I know, if, 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 even if I die doing that, I'd rather die doing the right thing than not do it for you because I'm scared. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you, now, you're going to get the curse for doing that to me and I'll try to help you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be scared to help my man because oh, he might come back and do something. No, no I'm, I don't think like that. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, you shouldn't, oh, you shouldn't, nah, nigga, I'm God, and mind you, God always protect me. I, when you really believe in God and believe that he really protecting you, you won't be scared of stuff like that. Uh, you're right. You know what I mean? When I, when I die, I'm like, damn, God, you gave me so much long time, more than I thought. I um, thank you for that time you gave me. Mm. You know I mean? I had, to, I had to bury my son, man. That's like, the worst thing is worse than me dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Worse than me dying. So like, you know what I mean? So like, when I die, I'm like, maybe I can see him again or whatever. I don't know, but it's like, I love my, my niggas because nobody don't love us. Mm. If I had a billion mm. dollars, if I had a billion dollars and I know you, none of your kids would be fucked up. Mm. None of your kids would be fucked up. None of your, like, no, I might not give you everything you want, but all your kids have school to be paid for and they never have to worry about having somewhere to live at. Even mm. if it ain't a mansion, they don't have a house that they live in that they don't got to ever worry about being put out and being homeless. I mean, why not? Why, that shit don't cost nothing if you got billions. That shit is nothing. <laughs> that shit is, that's, that's, like, that's like a penny. Are uh, you right? You know I mean, but like you know, but like at the same time, the way I think, somebody else thinks it's like two different things. I, I don't, I don't care about somebody saying I had a billion. I would rather somebody say, I rather me knowing in my head, damn, I saved that whole family over there. Mm. I, I, that's that's that I had my head held up high in my soul. I won't have to worry about nobody knowing. Mm. You know what I mean, but but at the same time, everybody don't think that some people want that attention. I mean, as long as my girl know, she know what I did. That's all I need. That's I'm good on the whole front. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't care about everybody yeah. on TV knowing all this shit. Like, my girl, no, yeah. see, I just did, right? See all the people I just brought all this shit with? Yeah, now come on yeah. over here. You know what I mean? Like, that, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need everybody to know. You know what I mean? It's it's a a real shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, so I remember, yeah. man, I was I was checking out, man, this, this the Back Cave radio joint. You was going crazy on Tommy Hill, man. Like, Yo, you know what's crazy? Bro, though? Like, I don't that whole situation, man, with Tommy Hill, man. Let me tell you something about Tommy Hill, right? First of all, I, I never talk bad about the dead because he did. Rest in peace to Tommy Hill, right? But what happened was, he's the person I looked up to, right? Mm. He, was, he was a major person, getting money and all that with the mob. He's like major, major guy. Mm. So he, had, he was on the radio station talking about uh, all the girls he messed with, like in Philly. Like, the, talking about Eve and talking about he messed, pop this person. And I called him, I called him, I thought I, I, thought I could do... Could Charlie Baltimore, too, I think. You yeah, said. yeah, yeah. He said, he said, he named all the girls in Philly, all the rapper girls, right? And I said, why are you doing that to the girls in our city? Like, you, you mean, why? he's like, what, you checking me? I said, no, I ain't checking you. I'm just asking you, like, you, you don't think that's not, that's corny? Like, we don't, we don't do stuff like that. So he started snapping on me. I'm like, dog, listen, dog. I said, dog, listen, I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just saying, I just think that's a bad look. Right, mm -hmm. so they start talking more. They start talking shit about beans and all that. Like, then he start going. To, then, he, then he a rat. Then he, start, he told him somebody, right? And I felt that out. I said, "Oh, come on, I, I ain't believe it." I'm like, "No, he ain't not Tommy." Like, because I felt that it was true, right? You know what I mean, so we start going back and forth, back and forth, whatever, whatever. But it wasn't that thing. Like, I wanted him to be dead though, mm -hmm. because his baby mom, my baby mom, they friends. He got kids and stuff like that. So when it happened, you know, we was arguing on the radio, so it looked bad for me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, but like, I was like, man, I don't want the nigga to be dead. Like at the end of the day. He got mm -hmm. kids. You mm -hmm. know I mean, so it's just a you know, it was just an unfortunate situation with Philly, you know, shit like that happened in Philly all the time. Yeah. But you know, I was like, man, I I because I, I know him since I was younger. I know him and I know I know before all that shit came, he was the one of the thoroughest niggas I ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, but you know, we 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 start telling doing stuff like that. It's like you, you fuck with your integrity, you start fucking with your honor, you start fucking with your name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like, you know, like I said, I don't talk bad about the people that's dead. So like I really never talk about them or anything like it was just a thing that happened. We had an argument about the radio station, but that was it. Like far as physical harm, like I had nothing to do with that at all. Like nothing. It was just, like mm -hmm. happened crazy like that. But I am. You mean I was sad about it myself. You mm -hmm. mean because mm -hmm. I, I would I would rather even if he's gonna die, I'd rather he got a chance to redeem his name before he passed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you mean so that was like an unfortunate thing. You know what I mean? But speak speaking of telling, like, cause cause what what what's your take, man? They had the young dude. He was from Philly. He had the joint called Corvette Corvette. He was oh yeah, the young boy that they, they say he told he's like when he's a yeah, kid. And he told and, I don't and think that should I don't think that should have counted. You know why? Was, because he still was a citizen. Mm. He wasn't like in the, like listen, my son, listen, somebody robbed my son, right? My son had passed away. He was about 12 years old. And I said, listen, you gotta tell because I can't do nothing to this young boy. He was like young boys like your age. Then I'm not telling. I said, Yo, you're not gonna be like me. You're not gonna be in these streets. You're not you don't, you don't live by those rules. Mm. I mean, so young boy that's making music that told when he's a kid, I don't think it should have counted towards him. I mean. Mm. I just don't think he should have counted towards him because he's a kid. 
Yeah. But you know, city the city got picks and they they a lot of people, listen, a lot of people never told because they never had a chance to tell. Mm. That's the only reason they ain't tell. Mm. You know I mean like you gotta understand? I remember they locked me up trying to get me to tell them somebody, man, offered me fifty thousand to tell them this boy. I mean, this boy was going at it. Come on, mm. like I'm talking on site going at it. And I ain't tell. And I ain't even tell him until about five years later that they try to get me to tell on him. So I mean, mm. I'm like, damn, fifty thousand. I mean, I, 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 but I'm like, nigga, I don't, I don't tell for real because I was raised like that. Mm. You know I mean, but I don't expect that from everybody else. You know I mean, if you're not, if you, if you just because you're a rapper, don't mean you from the streets. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's that's the thing. That's the thing. People got got misconstrued. Mm -hmm. It started like that back in the day, but now you could just be a rapper from anywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? so that, dudes so in Philly was really living living about their rhymes. Like, like for example, like like AR ad man. Do you think they gave him too much time? And, and, and what should of course they gave. Him, listen, first of all, that's that's my that's like my little brother right there. I love him. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, thoroughest nigga ever, man. They gave him a lot of time because he had too much power. He get people mm -hmm. to follow him. They don't care about him rapping. They don't care about him selling drugs. It's like he got too much. He could he could organize a lot of dudes that a lot of people won't be able to organize. Mm -hmm. He can get a lot of niggas that's 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 gangster that don't listen to nobody else to listen to him and follow him. Mm -hmm. and, and if you can get people to follow, you can get people to vote. Mm -hmm. So they like man, this nigga might too. Suppose he turned positive. Mm. He could sway votes. He could do this. Type. He could, he got. He, they like let's let's get him out the way before he realizes his own power. Mm. If you can get niggas to go kill somebody, you can get them to vote. <laughs> that's that's a fact. If you got power to get people to vote. That's now you got power to make, you got power to make changes. Mm -hmm. I mean, so they like no, we gotta get him out of here. Mm. That's that was that was that was about. You don't get you don't get more time to El Chapo, man. You don't get he ain't get that nigga time like mind you, he only got caught with some drugs. You can forty five to ninety. Yeah, they had to cooperate though. They had to cooperate on the case though. But, but it don't even matter. You still don't supposed to get that much time. Mm. That's a murder. That's murder. My, yo, my son got a murder. He got twenty years. Mm. He got double what my son got, and nobody died. Mm. That that tell you all you need to know right there. Like you know what I mean, yeah, but for, for some reason I think for some reason I think he's going to be able to give us give it back. Mm. You know what I mean that's that's what I'm hoping for, man. I mean because he don't deserve that, man. He got too much talent. Mm. You know what I mean. So I think I think the pipeline, the prison system is is definitely real, you know, with young brothers it's even real, bro. and the charges that get sucked up. Can you talk about I remember in some interviews you talk about the time where you you were innocent and a situation that happened. Somebody yeah, said well, you, you robbed this was my manager. I had two I had two incidents like that back to back, my nigga. In 2000, they locked me for homicide, right? Somebody nigga named Jimmy the Saint was my manager. He got mm -hmm. me locked up for that shit. He, he told us that I did it. I, I never, I never knew. I just found out. Twenty years later, I found out he the one that did it. Mm -hmm. I mean, got me locked up for that shit. So I ended up beating it, right? But then, in two years later, after that, some nigga said I robbed him, tried to blackmail me for ten thousand. I lost mm -hmm. that shit. I went to jail for that shit. I mean, whatever, whatever. So like, when the cops want you, they want you. I mean, the nigga named Delaney Foxworth said I robbed him. Don't mind you, never seen this nigga. Don't know him. I mean, he said I robbed him. Whatever, whatever. Say, yo, you I, give me ten thousand, nigga. I say, won't say you robbed me. This nigga, mm. I ain't giving you shit. C came to court, whatever. Said I end up losing. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I end up losing and shit. You know I mean, so it made me convict the felon. Fuck my whole life. You know I mean, shit up. You know I mean, but how old reason, were you at this time? How old were you at this, this time? I was like fucking twenty four. Oh man, you were got on fire at this time. What was some of the yeah, things so, nigga, the nigga, listen, at this time? The, 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 so, let me tell you what happened. The nigga came to my show, right? Oh, and at the, the, the show, somebody was dead outside the show. You know how the club, that rap shit go. Somebody was mm -hmm. outside there, so they blocked the street off so nobody could leave. The boy was dead underneath Beans Bentley. I mean, dead right underneath it. Like, I mean, so mm -hmm. everybody parked. So I'm parked in the car, sitting in the car, talking to somebody. Somebody bumped the back of my shit. I'm like, I get out, like, yo, what's up? But it was a rental, so I ain't give a fuck. Uh, and it broke the, the light. So I said, damn, dog, how you do how you, how you do that? We parked. Man, my fault. He give me $60, right? He get back in the car, I shake his hand. I get back in the car, I don't think nothing of it. Three days later, he came out and said, yo, nigga, that nigga robbed me. It was 14 of them. They surrounded me. This, that, and the third. Woo, woo, woo. Mm. And I ain't remember. My cousin, like, ain't that the boy that crashed into your car? I'm like, I said, damn, but why you saying that? I thought we was cool. Man, I need I need 10 bands. You give me 10 bands, I won't say you robbed me. I mean, just like that. And I'm like, man, I ain't giving you shit. Like, I mean, like, but I, I'm thinking he's not going to really become, he niggas come to court every time. Like, yo, this nigga did this name and all type of shit. I did this. I really trying to give me book. Like, really. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, with my record, they like, like, nigga, come on, nigga, you did, you did, we tired of you beating shit, like, and they just found me guilty. They made a, a judge named Anthony DeFino found me guilty. That nigga ended up dying in the house fire. Mm. Found me guilty, then dying in the house fire. 
<laughs> the, tell, me, tell me that ain't karma. <laughs> the nigga, the nigga die in the fire. I'm in, I'm in jail. I get the paper. I see it. Like, just Anthony DeFino dies in the house fire. I said, oh, all right. And I, I'm, I'm never happy to see somebody dead, but I was happy that time. Because mm. cause you took me from my family. You took my, you, you basically you put me away for nothing. Because you should, just because you could. God yeah. had to get you out of there. God said, no, you're doing too much. Get you out of there. You know what I mean? So, like, he had to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That's what, and, yeah. what, and you and you had to, that kind of stop a lot of motion right there. You was 24. Yeah, dog, it made me not be able to do anything. Not... If I wanted to be a doctor right now, if I wanted to be a nurse, if I wanted to be, if I wanted mm. any job, anything, I couldn't do it because of that, that conviction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, I I don't I never look at stuff as a, as a, as the door closed. And I look at it as just making another door open. Mm-hmm. So that mean I mean I always gotta grind, I always gotta find something that you know I mean, but I always do. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't make excuses. Uh, no doubt. Mean, I, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. I've, I've had some hardships, but I've been blessed too. No, no, you no mean? doubt. No so, doubt. And you you talked about uh your your top Philly rappers, man. Like who? I wanted to revisit my, that. Who 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 is well, some of always, the cats, I, I'll I'm give you right, mine. Right. Give me yours, and then I'll give you some of the. You talking about right right now or all time? We just all time, man. Black Thought, mm-hmm. Beanie Siegel, Meek Mills, mm-hmm. uh, 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 OT the Real. He just kind of came out, but like OT mm-hmm. the Real, uh, uh, I, I don't name people state property because we all was real good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, I, I, so if I don't say Chris or Neef or Freeway or not because they're not in my top five, just because we like I don't count us. Mm-hmm. I just say Beans because Beans was real, real like he one of my he my second favorite rapper in Philly. I mean, mm. even, even when we beefing and I'm dissing and all that shit, he still is my sick. I mean, I, like, I, like I said, I know how to different, dif- differentiate me. This is you remember like running the beans during them times? Y'all got some legendary yeah, back and forth. I run into him all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Well, was it, Every, well, time, it, was, it was just regular, like? Dog, listen, I'm not that guy. Mm. <laughs> I mean, man, I ain't saying no tough shit. Like, I ain't that guy. Like, you're not just, you know what I mean? It, 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 my shit, like it's gonna all be to the white, white meat, like you know what I mean? you know what I'm saying, like you mm-hmm. I mean, but not, but at the same time, he not he not sweet, but like it's like it's like it's it's, it's two brothers, right? Mm-hmm. Don't get along, mm-hmm. but y'all brothers, you can't really kill each other because y'all 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 brothers, y'all families, you know. I mean, but y'all can diss each other. Y'all make a fight. That's it. it, 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 it never really can go f- too far. Mm-hmm. I mean, so like I'm gonna say what I want to say no matter anyway. Period. I mean, he gonna say whatever he want to say anyway. I was glad that we passed that part. When she came to my son's funeral, and I told him, I said, yo, dog, after you did this, I don't care about nothing else. Yeah. When Neve, Neve came to my son's funeral, I said, man, I don't care about nothing else. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's all, that's, that's it. I'm, I don't care, but like, whatever whatever I was mad about, I ain't mad about it no more. Nah, but don't, the, 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 we, 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 this, we, it's really too small to really not see. Plus, we had to, we had, we had photo shoots together. We had to do certain, <laughs> I mean, shoot together, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But like, and, and, but I'm learning how not to be so harsh Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I was so street, so street, and so fucking didn't give a fuck. Like I was like, yeah, I mean, like I had to chill. Mm-hmm. Like you I mean, and as I get older, I'm starting to have more love in my heart than I used to. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know how to dig myself faster than I used to, mm-hmm. and I know how to say I'm, I know how to say I'm sorry, and I know how to forgive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Before I didn't know how, I, 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 I my, my, my whole, my whole mind frame before is I can't let nothing slide. Mm-hmm. Now my shit like, oh, like it's not, it's not worth it. Like, or mm-hmm. oh, you might be wrong. Mm-hmm. You know I mean that's that's the somebody just dig learn is with age. You know uh, what I'm saying? Learn yeah. that. I want you where, where where would you rank Cassidy among Phillies like the least? He, see, not my, mind you, man, Cassidy has no problem at all. But like the way he rapped to me is like not something that I like. Mm. Like it's like it's like almost like a game. Like it's like gimmicky, like 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 it's like I'm more I'm more of a like AR Ab Jada Kiss type nigga. Mm. Mm. Bows type nigga, like I like shit like that. I mean, what, why that, would like, you say it's like, gimmicky? Like, why would you say it's gimmicky? Because he has... to me, it's like it's like it's, it's no, it's like nothing, nothing that's realistic. Like, nothing that's like it's like I will put your head in it. Like it's just shit. that's like it's just like you mean shit that like. Mind you, he's a good rapper. Like he's as far as a good rap battle type shit. Like whatever. But as far as his, his style, he that's the best in that shit to me. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but like nothing, no dissing them. But that, but that, at the same time, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's his opinion. Oh, no. you know what I mean. But, but like like I'm, I'm like an AR Ab, I like a fucking Quilly. Yeah. I like fucking uh, uh, I mean like like OT the real. Like I mean, mm. I, it's like I like niggas I can listen to that shit, but I can vibe to it because I understand it fits my lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like you know, some people a lot of people like Cassie is in a lot of people top five in, in from Philly. 
I mean, yeah. and I never would see. I don't talk bad about nobody from Philly. Say like, yo, like, cause he, everybody from Philly can rap. Every person, mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody can rap. Everybody got different styles and all that shit. Mm -hmm. But like, as far as my shit, like, Black Thought, to me, yeah. the best because his, he can do any style mm. at a high level. Beans, Meek, I, you know, Meek, Meek, my son. At the end of the day, like, no matter what, yeah. I love him. Even if we beef, and I love him, man. Then nigga can rap. <laughs> yo, talk about that too. Like, I like. Did you know? Did you actually realize that Meek was gonna be the star of the years? Dog, I don't want. But listen, nigga, Meek was looking for nobody. Yo, know, Meek, I tell you something. The only nigga fuck with me before anybody know me was out. I mean, yeah. I, got, I got a song with Meek Mills and ARF from two thousand and six. Mm. They on the same song with me. Like, nobody didn't know him at all. You know what I mean? I knew, I knew, I knew his work ethic, and he, he was good as shit. I mean, I didn't know he's gonna be big as he is now, but I knew he's gonna be big. Mm. You know what I mean? But 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 besides all that, he can rap. Mm. You can't take that from me. Mm. He's a little ass correct, you know what I mean? So like, he my third pick because I can't see nobody really. But that that, that be my top three right there: me, Beans, Meat, and, and, and Black Thought. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? They are and like uh, 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 Quilly and shit like that coming. You know what I mean, but so, I know people are forgetting because there's so many niggas. Yeah, you know what I mean, but like, you know what I mean? Them like them the consistent guys that been consistent. That's good. That I know no matter what, the verse is not gonna be corny. Joey's your head, best when he was in his prime. Yeah, <laughs> when he was in his prime. When he was in his prime, yeah. he would probably be my third. Mm. Did you me, think that? Did you think that hit on camera derailed his career when he got hit no, on camera? No, no. I think that I think that made him more famous. I think that he stopped going hard and start thinking he was famous too soon. Mm. He's but he was better than Meek at, at, at one point. Mm. By by a lot. Mm. But see, Meek. One thing Meek got Meek Meek know how to make them hooks. Mm. He not make a song. He not make that shit co like cohesive. He not put that shit together. You know what I mean. Without mm. even trying, it was like God blessed him with it. He did it without trying. So why you think he took that L though to Drake? Because Drake is a good rapper. Mm. Drake got more fans. You gotta remember this. Drake got a whole country behind him. Mm. Automatically, he got Canada. Mm. Automatically, he got the girls. And automatically, he can rap good as shit. <laughs> Plus, I don't think Meek didn't go hard on Drake like he went on Cassidy. Mm. When he came to Cassidy, he went full fucking army mode. You know what I mean? When Jake, he went like, ah. You know what I mean? It wasn't the, it wasn't the best Meek commit, commit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you got to think about this. It was a win for me because Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. So beefing with him is like, put you in the, in the, in the you know, and put you on the same plat, platform as him. Whether you win or lose. Right. You know I mean? So then when y'all yeah. make up and come back full circle, you, it make you even bigger. Nah, you're right. You're right. You're so, you right. Mean? so it was like a win, it was like a win, win for real. You couldn't lose. You got Drake dissing you every day, like you just you know I me mean? or Drake on you know, Drake. I mean, so like, I think I think it was good for him. Yeah, that did put him in a whole nother stratosphere. But let yeah, me ask, people, but when they was in, but what, but when they, you know, the kind of like his back and forth though. When I think I seen an old video where he was in the, I think it was in the Louis store. Like, with with how did that, you know, just on Twitter? Like, how do you feel that made him look? You know, he was arguing with. I mean, it made him look bad, but it made this in the, at the end of the day, it's, it's entertainment, right? Yeah. So, so like for me, like I don't know Drake, even though I like I like Drake a lot, right? But I know Meek, and that's like I would root for him in the inside. So I'm real, like I'm like geographical. Like, are you from my hood? I fuck with you first. Mm -hmm. Whether you whether you lost for real or not, like you know what I mean like, like yeah, I'm fine <laughs> with you. Like you know what I mean so so like I like I, I'm, 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 I, I I gotta be Meek all the way, all the way. You know what I mean like even if even if I sold, I'm like man, you lost, right? Mm -hmm. I'm meek all all the way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like he could do no wrong almost. You, you feel me? That, that's just how I am. If you're my man, even if we beefing, I'm not gonna pick somebody else that I don't know over you. Mm. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? You right, right. Like I don't know Drake personally, so like yeah. I fuck with him heavy, but when it comes to meek, I gotta pick I pick meek every time. No doubt. Even Speaking if even if I'm gonna just meek the next day and me him beefing, he get on my nerve, I don't like you. Uh, that's my man. Uh, that's between me and him. That's that's the that's a brother thing. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's how I carry it. Do you think you caused that situation, the TV based situation? Because I remember it was no, 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 no. I don't think I don't think I caused that. That was like that was because cool. you, you, <laughs> you was no, like no, no, that, no. you was around them every day. <laughs> no, that, that was like that was like you know what I mean I, no. I, I, those crazy like I ain't gonna front me 2015 me when I first I got fresh out of prison and the me now is two different people. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean because like now I'm like more. 
I got more thoughtfulness. I be thought about thinking about what I say. I, uh, I still I still don't give a fuck like about a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, I don't I don't care about like being fake or trying to say the right thing. I don't care mm-hmm. about all. I just see how I feel. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, but but still like I'd be like damn. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't want to hurt nobody's career. I don't want to hurt cause nobody no pain or nothing. You know what I mean? If if I don't have to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I be that. thinking like damn. I'm just, let me stop because I can go for real. I can go hard on somebody and they like damn. Oh, I could be relentless because I don't care. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? But like but I'm like damn. Oh, you going do you? It make you look bad sometimes when you go too hard on somebody. Yeah. Nah, you're right. You're right. They make them like, like they, they forget that you're right and they're wrong. They care about like you going so hard on them. What, what y'all arguing about get lost. Mm-hmm. Whether you was right or wrong, it don't matter. They like, nigga, you going too hard on this person. I don't like you. <laughs> you mm-hmm. mean? So like I sit down. Oh, you got to chill. Like you mean? And learn how to forgive. And that, that's mm-hmm. something. Learn how to forgive is a, you, you think you, I thought when learning how to forgive was showing that you was weak. But when you forgive somebody, it take a lot of burden off you. Mm. And I'm like, damn, this shit feel right when I forgive somebody. I ain't know it feel this right because I never forgave nobody ever. Like, <laughs> you know, what I, mean? I start forgiving. I said, damn, forgiving feel like better than I thought. You know what I mean? Right. You know, so I mean, that was something I had to learn. You know what I mean, door and door. It's just that stuff that I learned. I learned in, in the public. Mm. You know what I mean? mm. Yeah. Nah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So when mm. you was on tour with Rockefeller, like, what's some of the craziest stories y'all had, man? It's but too like- many, man. I mean, I, I could tell you the craziest thing I ever saw in my life. Was a this wasn't even on tour. This was just walk, going to the store. A mm. girl crashed her car, looking at Jay Z, and <laughs> and and get out the car and still be going crazy over him, not even caring about her car. Her car was smoking, like not even caring about her car. I'm like, I'm like, yo, you, you okay? She's like, Jay Z, like, ain't give a fuck about the car. I said, damn, like, come to my crash into a pole, my nigga. Cars, and it was like it was like one of them little jeeps, you know, little jeeps, you know, like, ain't care about the car at all, like. It's crazy. Still crying. Talking about, listen, she was crying because she saw him. I said, "What the fuck?" What was y'all laughing? <laughs> nigga, I, nigga, I said, I, I couldn't believe it. Nigga, I, nigga, I just, like, I couldn't believe it. like that's you could be that famous. Yeah. Like, like a motherfucker crash their car into a pole because they see you, and they, they hurt, right? But they get out of the car and still crying because not fuck their car, crying because they see you. Mm. I said, "Yeah, that's not said, damn. That's like you know, that's like." So I can understand how you could be you be that famous for a long time and you start. Not really dealing with reality no more. Mm, mm. Like you so famous, like you nothing you do, you feel like nothing that you do or say is wrong. Mm. Because nobody's gonna tell you that it's wrong. He's not gonna check you. Fuck no, they check you to get out the door and they can't they can't risk that. Mm. I mean, so you do anything and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You should. Mm. <laughs> I mean, he like the boss. He the boss boss, and he's been the boss for a long time. So seeing both how, how they was was it like kind of like that with Dame or could, can you really who could you speak to more? Can you really check Dame like Dame you know, normal? Like or could you get with Jay and say, yo, this how was they 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 style? Say, say Dame, 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 Dame was like, well, Dame love you, he love you, he tell you, he like he, he show you. Mm-hmm. Jay Z is more like it's like he like a like a act like a like a like a famous person, mm-hmm. like a diva, like you know I mean like he like a diva. Mm. I'm saying he's a diva. And I mind you, I don't know him now, I don't know, but I know he's a diva. I mean, so like he's a diva. Like I can tell you, like he just care. I mean, it's just like uh, I, when I see him, I see a person that's like smarter than me, right? Mm-hmm. But think they, but think they too smart. Mm. They think they, they think they smarter than everybody. They think everything they do is nobody sees what they do, doing, and like, like they, they get over on you, like, and, and you won't even know. No mm. niggas know they just don't say nothing because I mean the, the predict the, the predicament he put people in was though they really don't no, nobody's his boss. Mm. I mean if you need him you need him. Mm-hmm. It's like you were any job you work at you don't want to get fired. Mm-hmm. I mean you, so you would you say. so would you ultimately say he won against Nas because how you how I how he, I, he, I, he, I listen, listen people listen, people see people think that did not either even if you think either songs better mm-hmm. Jay Z won period. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because you look at everybody that he had issues with, they ultimately kissed the ring, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He like you, you think he, about he, everybody yeah. from Fat Joe. Yeah, to, I mean, the, he he the boss. You know what I mean? Jim Jones. So he, he 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 the boss. Period. Yeah, he the boss. I mean, period. you think him and Nas is really cool now? Yeah, or I mean, think I think he's he cool with Nas because Nas has got Nas got a voice. Mm. Nas can say something about him and he could like, and then, then a lot of people on Nas' side. A lot of people think Nas is better than Jay-Z. Mm. I don't. But mm. 
I mean, a lot of people do. When y'all was sitting there, did, did y'all play Ether together? I think you, you talked about it. No, I heard, I heard Ether. When I heard Ether, I didn't really like it. Uh-huh. I, I, I just didn't think I just didn't think the stuff he was saying. Some of his lines, the lines I like, but some of it I just didn't. Let me say no mustache having. I'm like I'm looking like like she sound kind of whack to me, but you know people liked it because it was coming at Jay Z. Nobody really never came at him like that. Mm. I mean, but like I, I like the Jay Z shit, but like I mean, I, I just think Jay Z rap the way he rap was like perfect for what I like. Mm. He say some incredible shit. <laughs> you mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So I mean, my thing is that my thing is if you're that smart, you know the shit that you're doing that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you do you doing it mindfully doing it on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that means that you're evil. Mm. It was it yeah. was one time too where where Beans came at at J two. Like I think he was. But one thing about I mean, Beans, he's scared. He that he's scared. That he's scared. He's scared. Did you think he's scared Beans? Did you think he was scared Jay-Z, of Beans? Listen, Beans is scared to stand on it with Jay Z. Mm. He not because he's not gonna stand. I think because I think he waiting for like Jay Z. Maybe he think one day Jay Z might do something for him or something. I don't know, but I think Jay Z old Beans. Mm. That's your young boy for real, for real. How you? you this one thing he says, if your young boy out here fucked up, if you're not saying Jake Beans fucked up, but if in the time when he's doing not too good, right? That's a perfection of you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had your young boy out here fucked up, and you got you bragging about having a billion dollars when they cost you, there's nothing for you to just say, huh? I'm not saying you owe nobody, but I'm just saying the way I think, I just don't understand that thinking. So I don't want to be around that kind of thinking. But let me ask you this do you think Beans fumbled a bag with some of the it, But if you're my young boy, you can't fumble the bag because I got the bag. Mm. You can't fumble. How are you gonna fumble? And I got all, if you fumble the ball, I got a whole store full of balls. One number mm-hmm. ball, one number ball. Easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and if the, like, I mean, my thing is this: if you my friend, I'm a billion, and and you help me get this billion. You know I mean, when it's, when it's time to go to war, you going to go war with me. You can't fumble the ball. That's what I'm here for. But didn't he give them a clothing line as well, too? Though they had no, some. No, he ain't never gave him nothing. Never so that state nothing. property, how how lucrative? That was, that was, that was damn shit, but. My, 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 thing is, my thing is this though. Listen to this. Even if I gave you everything, and you my little brother, you can't you can't never lose because I'm winning. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if I gotta say yo, he got million dollars at ten times, twenty times. You you will never be fucked up. Mm. You can't lose. My thing is this. I ain't I ain't, I ain't the government. You won't get you, you, you never strike out. You know I mean you feel what I'm saying? Not saying I gotta give you everything, but my thing is that the shit I can do for you don't cost me nothing. I got power. Mm. You know what I mean so like people like we, we, people always fast to say like well beans did this being oh let my thing is this if you my brother family fuck up mm. it's like if your mom do drugs and she, or your mom do drugs she stole something from you or would you cut her off for life no mm. you know I mean no because that's your mom if your little brother do, do some dumb shit if you're gonna be there you're gonna say no you, you, you keep doing dumb shit and you got it no you're never gonna cut him off that's your little brother mm. you're not allowed to because you feel bad you wake up in the morning your brother in a bad position and you you winning like that and I'm mm. talking about the level of winning is different. Mm. Whereas though I give you something, it don't affect, it don't phase me. And like I'm giving you something that's taken away from me, it don't phase me. Nothing mm. in my life changes for, by helping you. Mm-hmm. Let me know. No, no, I don't do it. It's just I don't care about you. That's all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just don't care about you. Mm-hmm. I ain't say I ain't saying you gotta give a person everything you got. I mean, my thing is, if I got a billion, nigga, be giving you a hundred, two hundred thousand. It's not nothing. Mm. Tax write off. Mm. Or me getting you a job somewhere, so hire my man to do, to do this. Or me, or me telling the label, yo, sign him. He got power. Mm-hmm. He just make. He don't even gotta give his money up. He can make people sign. He can do. He got power. He got fucking commercials with Pepsi. He had Reebok. He can do so much shit for you. That like, where's though? He don't gotta spend money out of his pockets if he don't want to. But he don't care about helping you. Mm-hmm. I mean, my thing is this: How you have a rock brunch without beans there? Mm-hmm. I see none of them niggas was there when Nas was on your ass. He was calling us to help you. I ain't seen that DJ Khaled. I ain't seen none, none of them niggas wasn't there when you when Nas was on your ass. You about to be out the game because if you'd have lost, you'd have been out the game. Mm. I ain't seen none of them niggas there. What, what the fuck was them niggas at? I ain't seen none of them niggas wasn't there. How the fuck beans? Because I would never come to your rock, brush. I don't respect you like, like to come. But how the fuck beans not there? Mm. You know what I'm saying? He put mm. the honorary guest no matter what. Because all the niggas there was watching beans spit that hot shit with you. Beans was front line. He definitely nigga, you supposed to, he supposed to be there automatically. Honorary member. I said, Beans, I might as well be your manager because I'll be the one that's here saying all this shit for you, nigga. I was like, how the fuck Beans in here? Fuck me. I don't care about being there. I'm, I'm, oh, I don't even. Beans, uh, Beans was bigger than me. Beans was your right hand man. All right. Even though you put us in the, make us, this niggas for you, but Beans supposed to at least be there. Mm-hmm. I mean, p- period. But of course, nobody's going to say that but me. So Beans, I said, Beans, I need to be a man, a part of your management, nigga, because I, I, 
I'll shake some shit up, nigga. Like, we're gonna get some money, you want some money, nigga. <laughs> Cause, cause you know what y'all life. speak, y'all speak highly of Dame Dash, but you ultimately went with, with, with Jay doing doing the split. No, I went with Dame. Well, well, yeah, well, you went, yeah, you went with Dame. Oh, I, I thought never you went with Jay Z ever. Mm, mm. No, no, I've been for like this. No, when everybody went to that split, I never went with Jay Z. I never even talked to him no more. I was with Dame every day. He's like, oh, I ain't got no regular label. I, said, I don't care. I was getting money so much at the time. I ain't give a fuck. I was like, man. I mean, I I I see how boy was. Like, I already, I've been Pete. This this ain't nothing new. I never went with Jay Z ever, ever, never. I mean, I, I go, I, I fuck with who fuck with me. Mm. <laughs> you mm. know I mean, I don't force my way on nobody. I'm not digging in nobody. I'm not going around. Nobody don't want me around. None of that shit. Mm. I'd rather be in a fucking a one bedroom apartment with a girl that love me than be in a mansion with a bitch that don't like me. Mm. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? I mm. mean, that one bedroom one bedroom apartment getting some pussy, eating good food, having a ball, watching Netflix. You in a mansion, but the bitch don't like you tiptoeing around. What you trying to say, like, man? <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to say? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I'm saying. I, I'm saying I, would, I, would, I would never be around yeah. some niggas, no matter how much money they got, and I don't feel right. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I mean, I'm just, this is. I'm just saying. This is. This is me. Like, man, you can have a ball with you niggas. If you know what I mean, because y'all can get some money. If you, if, if you want money, it's money gonna come. Mm-hmm. I mean, money your ultimate goal to do. My ultimate goal. Money was never my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal was to be happy. Mm. To feel highly, think, think highly of myself. Look mm-hmm. in the mirror and be like, "Yeah, oh, you did the right thing." Mm-hmm. Even if it cost you everything, you don't got it right now. You, you did what you're supposed to do. Like a lot of people, like MC Hammer had all that money. He lost all his money. MC Hammer did the right thing. He changed mm-hmm. people's lives. Mm-hmm. And he a pastor now. Mm-hmm. He right where he's supposed to be at. Mm-hmm. Maybe everybody thinking about money is the, the end, end goal. It's not the end. Goal. The end goal is to be happy. That's a fact. I mean, I, you, you, it's, a, it's a Russian billionaire, right? He killed himself because he lost like like five billion dollars, right? But he still had like two billion left, and he still killed his oath. <laughs> you, you mean so like, like you mean, yeah, so money not you mean you know? But you know when you poor, you think money everything. Mm-hmm. But we start getting a little couple of like you see, it ain't really everything. It's like you know you need to pay bills and all that, but it's not everything. Mm-hmm. It's not enough to sell your honor and your dignity and none of that shit like that. You know what I mean? Nah, you are right. You are right. Yeah. There's something to free. Like like I I see I dig it. It's free your mind. You you kind of you ill with the art as well too. And I think people got to realize it's other investment vehicles, things that you can use, artwork, definitely. Is that is that something? Because we know Jay with the artwork, and we, we see that you you do it. Is that something that you always been? I know you touched No, I, listen, I always drew with pencil, right? Mm. And, I, and I didn't draw for like 10 years. And like four years ago, I drew a picture of somebody's son for him on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And people saw it. They're like, yo... You did that? Oh, we know you could draw. Like I said, I said, I only draw in Joe usually. But then some guy said, Yo, if you could paint a picture of Kylie Kaepernick for me, I'd do a thousand dollars. I was like, Yeah. So I got a little paint. I never painted in my life. And I tried to do it and it came out all right. He mm. bought, gave me a thousand dollars. He bought my first painting ever. And I'm like, Oh shit. I'm just... So I started getting addicted to it. And that shit, I've just been addicted to it for like four years now. And it's like, and I'm really good at this shit. Like, I mean, like, I'm like, Damn, I could have been doing this my whole life. And, and, and do, you sell because, your, do you sell your work or is it just? Yeah, I just, a- I just, sold, I just sold about over 600 paintings. Mm. I, mean, I done did. I done did big ass murals. I done did all type of shit. Like, I mean, but the thing is this is you don't have to be around nobody to do it. You don't need a studio to do it. Or you can do it anywhere you at by yourself. And it's, and it's, and it's refreshing. And it take, and it keep you away from a lot of shit. Mm. You know what I mean, like, I, I mean, I done did. I, I mean, I've been doing it nonstop for four years. Like, we're still, we still got my son on the wall. Like, yeah. I did, this, I did this a couple years ago. You know what I mean, and I got I started getting real, real good at it. You know what I mean? So like, it's it's lucrative, but at the same time, it's like it's, it fix, it help your soul out. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, my art, my art, my art, my art, just like for me, just like and then I, you know, a lot of people dying up in Philly. So I do a lot of rest in peace murals, a lot of jackets, a lot of. You know what I mean, I got it's unlimited work up here for me to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So you know I mean, I, I could I could I could just do that and don't have to do nothing else and make a living. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, I know. That's that's crazy, man. Like that that painting up there, which is how long did it take you to do that one? About th- three hours, two hours. Mm. I mean, that's this old. I did this like years ago when it first happened. Yeah, I was looking on the, uh, you said you just woke up one night. You was like, you just. The middle slept. of the night. Yeah, middle of the night. Yeah. I, I couldn't sleep and I just like, I mean, that was, that was you know, if you got kids, you, you got kids? Yeah, I got kids, man. I got six, man. You know. And so, I got, so, so, you, and I bet you're not going to probably don't want to say this, but. You got a favorite out of the six. <laughs> like, you're not gonna say it, but like, or you got one that you get along more with than all the other ones. Like one, one that one that understands you more, that you kick it with more. Or like, even if, even if y'all live in the same house, it's one that you one that's in your head. You're not gonna say it, but 
you know which one it is that's the one for you. That was my one. He was my one. Like he was the one that was like, he mean my 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 my, my favorite. Everybody knew it though. <laughs> like you know I mean, so like that shit killed me. Mm. That shit, that shit literally killed me. Like like, I had to start over. You, my, you couldn't really have anything. You didn't have anybody to blame it on. You're like your mind. You, you yeah, like like, like you you like. I, I start I start blaming it on God. You could have went. I blame I blame I, I start blaming it on God, man. Like you know, I was mm. like, I wasn't I wasn't messing with God for for a while. I said, I said, you did a lot of shit to me, man. But this is the, then I start understanding that your kids not really yours; they God's. He 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 let you hold them for a while and have them and enjoy them for a while, but he can take them whenever he wants. Mm. I mean, I have to start, and it's hard to, to you got to make a concept for yourself to make sense, or you will die. Because when you put your son in the ground and you got to leave him in the graveyard, it's the hardest thing ever to do. Like it was to the point I start breaking in the graveyard late at night and be just sitting there. Talking mm -hmm. to him late at night. And I felt like I was going crazy. I started feel like I started losing my mind. And then I had a dream that he told me he wasn't there no more. It's like, Dad, I'm not there no more. Mm. I mean, dog, I got videos of fucking my lights. My, on his birthday, all lights in my house going on and off. I got videos of a bird following me. Like, somebody following me from my man house to on a boat ride to, like, everywhere I went. You know what I mean? I, so, like, it was like shit that happened to me. Like, I know he was dog, dog, uh, he popped up on my TV. My TV wasn't even on. Picture of me and him. Like, I'm talking about my TV. We're like, how the fuck is he on the TV? The TV not even on. Then it faded away. So he's like, he was telling me like that, like I'm, I'm still, I'm still somewhere. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I start because I, you know, I was doing bad. Like you know, I, you know, I live by myself. So like, I was like going through a lot bad. Like, I mean, mm. it almost broke me. I mean, and then it's, I'm not all the way hilt, but I came a long way from how it used to be. Mm -hmm. Then he only had, he had a one month old daughter when he passed. Mm, yeah, yeah. So you mean she, then then I had her, but then she moved to Texas. Mm. I mean, but I just had her like two weeks ago. Her mom came up here and let me let her spend the night with me. You know what I mean, so but, that's cool. You know yeah, then I lost my other son at the same time. You know I mean so it was like it was like a lot. Mm -hmm. so, so so when I see somebody that got a son that don't want him, I be like, you know I mean it's like it's like a slap in my face. Like I got a son I wish I could have again. You know I mean and then you got one that you got that you don't even want. Like it's like you taking it for granted when it could be a blessing. I think that's why I take it so personal. Mm -hmm. Like I got a son I can't never see again in my whole life, no matter what. And you mm -hmm. got one right there that you can just grip up and just take and love him. And you're not doing it. And nobody's not saying that to you to make it right. Like saying they act like it's normal. It's, so for me, it's like, damn, like nigga, I wish that I wish that was me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even if I worked at UPS or something like that, I was like, that's you mind. It's like you grown already? Nigga, let me tell you everything I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like seeing you do that, like damn, it make me mad. Mm -hmm. Like, well, damn, like, I'm sitting here with a son in the graveyard. You got a son out here in the world that, that want, want to know you was thorough and you're not doing nothing about it. You just sitting here, like, thinking you thinking you better than somebody because you got money that I don't want to, I can't let you know me. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, look like, nigga, you're a sucker. Like, <laughs> so I, I mean, so, like, that's why I think I took it personally because, like, I don't have my son. And I, really? and I talk to your son. So, I, like, I'm talking about somebody that I talked to a few times that I see how, how his demeanor is and what he's saying. He's not saying nothing bad about him. Mm -hmm. I just want to know him, oh. Mm -hmm. I want no money from him, oh. I mean, so I'm looking at it like, damn, nigga, you really paying for a gag order? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, like, you know I mean, so just think about it. Like, it's like, you know I mean, it's like, to me, I'm looking at like, damn, man, if that was me and that was my son, I'm like, nigga, come on, let me, let's, let's go take this test and find out. Mm -hmm. And if you're not mine, just because you have a dad, I'm still going to help you. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but you know, that's, that's you know, God don't let make it be easy like that for people. Sometimes God give you mm -hmm. hurdles. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think man, we 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 interviewed Dr. Umar, man uh, Johnson, another cat, uh, another mm -hmm. good speaker, good orator from Philly. Well, you know, man. listen, I know who he is, right? But let me tell you about him, though, right? You know, that's my well, real listen. name. Listen, that's my real name, Umar. Mm -hmm. Right? I think sometimes he go too far on the race aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Like, like when he say he don't want nobody black to go with nobody white, right? That's going yeah, too far. You know why? Because you go with whoever you are compatible with. Mm. It don't matter who the like black and white only matter if it matters if it matters to you. If it don't matter to you, it don't matter to you. Mm. you know I mean, so I think like plus caring about what somebody else is doing, I think it's too much. Mm. It's like, like if you got a white wife, I don't give a fuck. You gotta live with her. Mm. You gotta she gotta make your food. You gotta get along. Like I mean, my thing is as long as you, I want you to be happy at the end of the day. Mm. Because you only get a certain amount of time to be here. Whether who winning the, the race war, none of that shit don't matter. Who individual happiness. Mm. Right. So if a person is white or if a, first of all, skin don't got skin don't got nothing to do with nothing. 
Mm-hmm. When you start saying that, that means skin means something to you too. You being just like the people that's oppressing you that you're saying is wrong. Mm. You know I mean? My thing is this, if you got a white girl, right, and she love you to death, you mean to tell me you're a quitter because she's white? That's That'll be the dumbest shit you ever did in your life. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? My mm-hmm. thing is that now, now I understand you saying some people that's white don't understand the black plight and all that, but that shit started to be old and corny. The world's small with the internet. Mm-hmm. I would never tell somebody that don't marry somebody. That, no, marry who you love. Mm-hmm. Marry mm-hmm. who make you happy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was, I was more, I was, I'm, I'm glad you explained on that because you always, you're you going to give your opinion. You know what I mean? And, and mm-hmm. as, I was going to talk about, he, he talked about uh, black men you know, fathering single mothers in mass and, and, and really with the community. And what's your take on that? Because this is this. What do you say that? Like, what you mean by like fathering single mother? Like, uh, he, he should he should say black men should uh, look to to be in single mothers lives because we are community and we need to all cheese the children, no matter who father we. You For know, sure. Kids, but this, you know, because but, 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 you know, it's a whole debate right now, whether uh, should someone be with a single mother and things of that nature. That's that's going off. That's been but going. Just, but, but even even with that, even with that, like if you like if you like a chick, right, and she got a kid, you automatically want to. Because that happens all the all the time. Like I think people speak on stuff where they don't know like how many people is in America. It's like three hundred million people, right? I'm sure it's millions and millions of people that go with single mothers all the time, right? But I don't think it should be a black or white single. I think it should be any kid that you see you should love that you encounter. Mm-hmm. Whether you go with the mom or not, if you see a kid pumping gas, give him some money. Or you got if you see any kid, if everybody treated every kid like it was theirs. You don't, got, you don't have to go with the mother. The mother don't even is not even nothing to be involved. I mean, you can you can see kids that's in your neighborhood and just take care of them and look out for them and give them advice like they're yours. You I mean you right. they don't go with the mothers? Just, if you go to somebody, if you go to a chick and they got a kid, that's automatically you, you step up. Mm-hmm. That's just, that's just automatic. That's not even a thing. You know I mean, period. But even with more than that, it's just the simple fact that men men a lot of men that's black is in prison mm. are dead. Mm. And now it's a lot of gay a lot of gay men like now like I mean so it's like. I don't know about how the white shit go because I don't really know like if it's a lot of white people that's gay. Like I don't know how that go, but I just know as far as black people go. Like I mean, it's a lot of you know because I've been in the penitentiary. I see when I look up, it's all of us black. Mm. You know what I'm saying I know how many of us dying because how many mm. of my friends is dead. You know what I mean so like it's gonna be a lot of black kids gonna be alone by themselves. Now when you black, you automatically know you got to be strong because you are gonna go through some shit that other people are not gonna go through. You know what mm. I mean so no matter what, to the end of time, no matter what we do, it's made designed for us to have a heart. Mm. No matter what, what kind of plan we come up to talk about it, it's not don't matter because it's still gonna be hard for us. The cops pull you over, it's gonna be hard. When you go to any front of any judge, it's gonna be hard. Try, go to mm. try to get any job, it's gonna be hard, right? So, but we gotta just pray that the future generations start to love each other more and and, and start not seeing each other for the color shit. And mm. that's what both that's what both sides. Mm. I mean, and I think it's happening like that because I don't think it's much. More, of course, it's old, some old people. It's always gonna be some few racist people here and there. That's that's just how shit go on both mm. sides. But mm-hmm. I think when you start not thinking like that, I think it stops affecting you. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I, of course I know I'm black and I know when I get pulled over, they might do this and that, but I understand that I still never re- rather live nowhere but America. Mm-hmm. I mean, cause still got opportunities here for me. I think about the slavery, how they had back in the day. I got it way better than them. I can't be complaining. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers couldn't go do nothing. They were slaves, they couldn't do shit. Now mm-hmm. you can go to school if you want. You can mm-hmm. go get a trade if you want. There's no excuses for us right now. Of course mm-hmm. it's not fair. Of course it's not even. Is you gonna complain about it or are you gonna go get busy and get to it? Mm. I mean, that's that's the whole end of it. And at the end of the day, like I just think, as far as the white and black thing go, I think everybody's different. Every person is different. Mm. So, it's, it's, I'm talking about, I had a, it was a racist guard on my block in prison, and right? He mm. told me he's racist. Mm. I worked with him every day. I worked for him in the jail. I had to clean the block and all that shit with him, right? To put man talk so much that was though he racist, but he didn't really know why he was racist. So he started talking, we started talking about little shit and there. We became friends. Cool. So he came to me the day I left. He said, "Yo, oh, I won't even mind my door to me- um, being with a person like you, right?" Whereas though, like you, a person could think they're racist because they never really met and, and, and the mango with somebody with the other, 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 other race. Mm-hmm. They might got a thought of how they think it is, and they didn't even like that. You know what I mean? But my mm-hmm. thing is just just because you hate me, don't make me hate you back. Mm-hmm. I don't really care if you hate me. That's on you. You know what I mean? But like for instance, that PPU PPA money came right. Donald mm-hmm. Trump was giving out whatever, right? I said Donald Trump giving me thirteen hundred dollars a week. Mm. I don't care if he races or not. He like me. <laughs> That's hey. The crazy <laughs> thing is, oh yo, you we we analyze because I was gonna ask you a question on that man because I, I just read the articles. The Washington Post it says 
he's uh, Trump right now is trending higher in the polls with blacks and Hispanics. Like, why do you think? Because you gotta understand. Listen, you, you can't tell me that you don't like me, but you paying my bills. Mm. If you don't like me, like uh, I want, I want more people not to like me. Like you don't like me. Mm. <laughs> like, you feel what I'm saying? I like. I'm talking about nobody ever did. Like I'm talking about. It was like an unbelievable thing. Mm. And people say, "Well, they gave you that money because no, he didn't have to do nothing." I don't care what. He, I think it's and just because you don't like me, right? I don't care. Don't no politics. Don't no politicians like black people really. Yeah, I so think I, it's more like, the symbolism thing. Oh, you know, black black people they caught up in the symbolism, man. You know, you talk about the economics. You know, I don't care. You know, and dog, that's you, listen, you give me listen, dog. I'm talking about you give me thirteen hundred dollars a week. Yeah, nigga, listen, you can't tell me you don't like me. <laughs> you can't listen. You that's can't tell fact. me that you don't like me. Yeah, that's a I mean, fact. Listen, then you give my kids five hundred dollars a week for like two years. You can't tell me you don't like me. You yeah. like me, dog. You just don't know you like me. But I like. But that's what I like you back. Even if you don't like me, I like you back. A lot of dudes got <laughs> on during the pandemic, man. Bro, you know, a bro, lot listen, of bro, listen, bro. You fed the hood. Bro. They not gonna admit that. You know what I'm saying? Well, my thing is this: it's like you, you, it's paying your rent, right? You, it's paying for you, you can shoot, whatever you want. It's like it's every week. If you can, I mean, I was getting what twenty, fifty, two hundred a month, mm. right? You, you fuck if you give me if you give me sixty thousand a year for free, you fuck with me. Mm. I think you do. You, you might think you don't, but I think you do. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think you do. I mean, plus I don't just. I, I think I think Donald Trump is more of a spoiled narcissist type boy. Mm. I don't. I think he care about green above anything. Anytime you bury your wife on the on your on your uh your land because so it can make it a, like a uh so you don't gotta pay taxes on it. You care about money. You don't care about nothing else. Like <laughs> you bury your wife on the golf course so you can make, turn into like come on like you don't care about black and white. You care about the green. That's a fact. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, I mean, you ain't you gonna bury your wife on the golf course, my nigga, like, so you can save taxes? Like, what do you this nigga? Listen, yeah, listen. I, listen. <laughs> then my thing is this if everybody don't like you, right? That because I mean, fucking uh, Obama didn't give me nothing. Mm. I got Obama face tattooed on my leg, he ain't give me nothing. Mm. I mean, Donald Trump did one came in and joined the game with some. I mean, my, my thing is this I don't, I don't think no politician is for me personally. I'm a black nigga that's a convicted felon, so nothing is. I don't never hear my talk about we, we we can be we we exclude a minority that don't nobody talk about. I mean, mm. but when you start giving me money to help me take care of, but if I gotta take care of you fuck with me, mm. not fuck with you back. Like whether you, you <laughs> racist or not, like you mean because I don't care if you're racist. Because if you if you really a racist, you will make sure nobody black get nothing. Mm. That'd be a whole goal. They get nothing. If this will help them, we're not doing it. Yeah. I mean, so I'm like, come on, man. How, come on, man. How is he no biting? He, I don't. I don't have a opinion on him. I don't care about politics. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. If, I don't care if Kermit the Frog was the president. I'm still gonna get money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think a Doc Low said it. Doc Low, he said I'm gonna get. He said I'm gonna get my fuck whoever in the White House. Yeah, I don't care. That don't got nothing to do with me. Like I don't care. Who, like this, yeah. if I had to go door to door selling socks, I'm gonna get mine. Yeah. That's a fact. You know what I mean, so like that, I don't care about all. That. I'm not sitting here like, well, who the president? Where do you go? Okay, of course they have policies that I'm not going to agree with, but I don't. I can't change it. Plus, I'd be thinking whoever this, they, they, I think the voting is rigged. Mm. I, I never voted in my life, mm. ever. I don't vote. For, vote for what? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care about that. I'm a hands on the streets. On the streets, like I mean, I know what people need. I see you. Somebody needs something. I'm gonna go get it. If I don't got no money, you, know, you need, you need, you need to, you need your lawn. Like, like I just bought, I just paid five hundred dollars for a lawnmower, right? I said, you know mm -hmm. what? When my son's when this lawnmower come, my son's gonna knock on these doors and try to cut, make this shit. Yeah, they want to hear me. They save me from. They they get money for. for I don't gotta give them. And people yeah. around here get cheap cheap lawn. Them get this shit done cheap. So I'm yeah. a hustler. I mean, I'm like, you know what I mean, so I'm like, like man, it's, it's always a way to get money. Mm -hmm. This is America. That's why I love America. You can go to sleep broke and wake up a rich millionaire. It's a fact. You know what I mean, so it's you never gotta. You can do whatever you want. As long as you ain't, long as you ain't scared to fail, you cool. Mm -hmm. You just can't be scared to fail. You gotta put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. I, nigga, I'm knock on the door and say, "Yes, sir. Y'all need socks. Anytime y'all need socks, call me. I bring them to y'all. Don't buy socks off nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't buy no socks off nobody else. Like, <laughs> you know, I need your clothes wash. Like I just yeah. go to wash machine. I, I wash your clothes for you. It's always a way. Yeah, it is. You just can't, you just is. can't be scared. You can't be scared to get told no. It is. It is. So, so I seen it, Joe. You, you, you hustling. You said you was getting it, forty k a week, man. Yeah. So I mean, what was your like in your thought process? And 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 is that like a high level, like where you where you really gotta be dealing? It wasn't worth it at the end of the day. It wasn't yeah. worth it. Cause the shit I was going through at the time, the duke to get that, it was like my life was on the line every time. 
Mm. And I couldn't enjoy it. Mm. I mean, people trying to do this and get this and do this. It was a lot. People dying around me. People like, like I love a lot. I mean, and and, and 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 I was at that point for like like maybe two years. You know, I've had a little run, but it wasn't worth it. Mm. Plus, the money you spending on niggas pit belly people out and this, it, it, was, it was a lot. Mm. I mean, house getting robbed and you got to all you, you, you this and you know I mean so you might be getting that a week, but you spending damn near all of it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of responsibilities. You got a lot. You mean like you know what I mean? So it wasn't worth it at all. I tell nigga that shit sound good, but that wasn't worth it. I'd rather be a nigga getting five thousand a week that I could spend it and enjoy it. Mm. I mean, mm-hmm. so I wasn't enjoying it at all. People following you, putting people putting GPS drones underneath your car, trying to find out where you live. I mean, it was just a lot. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, but at the same time, God always be protecting me. Mm-hmm. My my partner, my, my right hand partners were getting killed, like right and left, left. I mean. So like like I don't know why I just never I would survive so much shit like you know what I mean like it was like be like and this did but this you know this oh five oh six you know shit was a little different back then but but it wasn't worth it mm. you know what I mean you and I'm saying and I, and, and I quit I quit cold turkey mm. so imagine you quitting and niggas still calling you like I need to join you can make seven thousand eight thousand real quick and you just turning it down you know what I mean mm. I was that's I was turning that shit down like man I was cool it ain't it, ain't, it wasn't worth it you know what I mean. Technology definitely different, definitely from, from easy to get court cameras everywhere. It's like it's not, it's, it's, it's not it's like it's, right. Plus, there's no many, so many other ways to get money now. I, I never knew about YouTube monetizing none of that shit back then. I ain't know none of that shit. I mean, like, mm. I would never have to do none of that shit no more. Mm. I get paid from Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I mean, it's like mm. it's different now. Mm-hmm. You don't got to come outside. Mm-hmm. I mean, so like it's different now. I mean, but you know, you you all understand. Yeah, no, no, definitely. I, I, I think definitely people got to take that hustle mentality and apply it to today's yeah, legal, legal shit. You could, you could monetize anything, you know what I'm saying, and and, and get paper out of it. You know, what for I mean? sure. Mm-hmm. So, so definitely, man, when you were going through your little issue, uh, like with beans, and I seen that you guys made up, and I, I, I think I was looking at a podcast uh, that you got on your channel. You yeah. talked, y'all yeah, was talking about. Uh, label deals and and upfront money. Do you feel like him? Would you would now that things is up? Would you take that upfront money, or do you think just? I always I would take upfront money. Mm-hmm. I would take upfront money because upfront mm-hmm. you know what, what Ben Franklin said. A uh, 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 what do you say? Uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Mm-hmm. Like, like something you got in your hand because two in the bush you might not get. Mm. You mean mm. like you mean I, I I fuck with Ben Franklin real head. When I was in jail, I used to read a lot about Ben Franklin. Like it's one of my guys, even though he had slaves. I, I, I mean, I read I, like I read a lot about him. I mean, he was a real smart, smart, smart guy. I mean, mm. but like I would take the front money because tomorrow not promise. Mm. I mean, mm. plus whatever whatever country they want you in, as long as it ain't nothing crazy long and nothing retarded, you could you could you could obligate it and then be done and start over and do it again. Mm. So like what I do now is like so I put a mixtape out, right? When it's out for a little while, I get a loan against it. Mm. Get a loan against it, then they, they keep the music until the loan paid back. Then you get the music back. But mm. the, the money they give you for the loan, you could take care of. You could put a new, do another CD, or you could pay some bills, or you could buy whatever you, you mean. So mm. like, this type of shit wasn't available back in the day. Mm. You mean, so, but even though the interest is crazy on it, but you ain't got to pay it out your pocket. They just pay it off the music that they got. They own it. They own it for like four years until you get it back. Mm. You mean so like? Then, but you can always make another mixtape. They get another loan. The, the making the mixtape was free. Mm. I mean, so like, that's just free. So I mean, so that's you mean. That's so crazy. Ways, yeah, so many ways to get money, man. I mean, these dudes are selling their catalogs, getting a crazy amount. Yeah, I seen of, Future do it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of cats, man. But just imagine that. how much it's really gonna be worth it if they give you that. Mm. But but like but Future probably like man, I could just make that shit again. Mm. Like I could go to the studio and just make that shit again. Like I mean, like it's, I, 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 it's unlimited. You I mean like you I mean if you don't be saying no super lyrical shit anyway, you can just go in and say anything, get high real quick and you know, say anything, and then she go. You know I mean, so yes. like, I you know, mean that shit's like that's. You know I mean, it, it took so long for me to start listening to future, understanding why people liked it. It took a long time for me. Mm, what, why is that? Why you say that? Because I was in jail. Like I was in jail. From, yeah. I went to jail 2011. I got out 2015. Right. Mm. Music changed a lot in that little bit of time. Future, yes. I to what he was saying, he wasn't saying shit that made sense to me. It was like saying mm-hmm. nothing. Like, it was like, it's no story, it's no lead up, it's no beginning. It's just like saying anything, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Then it's like, it was like a little bit of auto tune on it, right? But that's when I was working in a barbershop and niggas loving it, like, loving it. Then I start understanding it ain't about what he's saying, it's the vibe. Mm-hmm. 
He now got to see that it's just the vibe. Like, mm -hmm. like, like the nigga uh, Young Thug is the vibe. And when I start understanding the vibe, I say, oh, okay, it ain't about, you can, you, you ain't really got to say nothing super and crazy, but it's like the vibe you're giving them. So like this, mm -hmm. this generation is more about the vibe. I mean, mm -hmm. like, or the way it sounds, it sounds good. It sounds like, it sounds like, these, I mean, but my time era was like, you had to say some shit. Yeah. What you saying, is, is, the, the people, no, that's all right, but the work, what you saying, now it's more about the people more higher, do more drugs now. It's like more like, and I had to understand that. So I'm a type of, like, I adapted to it. I don't write mm -hmm. like that, but I understand, like, that's, you mean, but at first I'm like, the fuck is this? What, is, what the fuck is this? Drake, now see, Drake, the re reason why Drake the top rap, because he, you understand him clear as day. He be saying some shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't like when he be singing. But when he say something, when he start rapping, he be saying some incredible shit. Like, right to the point, like, this nigga is, you, 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 you got to give him his, nobody say he's in the top five, and they mm. should. A lot yeah. of people just discredit him because of the, 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 the pen, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not but, his, his pen. That they, they take him out of that automatically with that. And, and sure he's a phenomenal artist, man. But if we talking about just, Rapper, pure rapper. A lot of folks think he's not in that. that. I know, I, and, and I and I be I I be scared to say he is, but in my heart, I think he is. Nah, Drake is definitely nice. You know what I mean? He definitely set the vibe. Cause you gotta and think also, about it. Too, he came no. in two eras too. You know, a lot of people think and Drake. He, and, is he, and, he, and, he, and he got a million songs that's hot. Yeah, he got a lot of joints. A million, like I don't like. I think he might be the only person that can go back and forth with Hov. How much a Drake catalog worth? Probably a billion. That's a fact. I think he can fetch it. Yeah. Like a billion. Because he got all hits. Oh, and, and he got hits in Spanish and Jamaican and African. <laughs> Is he beating Hove, though? Is he beating I think Hove, so. Though? I think he got more shit than Hove. You got to mm. think about Hove got a lot of shit, but you got to think about Hove. Hove shit not mainstream, some of it. Drake shit. Drake, Drake came, came, out, came out with a time. With, Hove came out of a time where though, the world was as small as it is now. Drake came out of a time with the internet, the Instagram, the YouTube, you know what I mean? He he got more of a reach. Yeah, he you got mean? definitely reach. Hold, hold more of an iconic person. Drake more of a, he got more, plus Drake still is going. That's what they talk about. So if you had to get a track right now, what's better? You'll get a whole feature, a Drake feature. What, Drake. What's more? Drake. Because Drake got the young people. It's a lot of old people. Y'all young, young people don't even like Jay-Z. Mm. I, heard, I heard a nigga say Jay-Z not even in his top 10. To me, he top two. But young mm. people, Drake is Drake is dead. Mm. Then Drake got every girl. You know, he got early girl. He got every he like the top right now. He like, I mean, he what Jay-Z was in Jay-Z prom. Mm. I mean Jay-Z Jay Jay-Z. Like it's nothing you can say. Like he Jay-Z. Like it's like we talking about impact though. Who got some bigger cultural impact? Drake or Jay-Z, man. I think I mean for the young Come people, Drake, for the older people, Jay-Z. Come on, man. We for talk the older people. For the older people, Jay Z. For the younger people, Drake. Drake. Young people don't. Young people don't really know Jay, Jay Z. An old, an old man to young people. But listen, they know who Jay Z is, though. Yeah, but you know, as far as buying his music, they're not listening to his music like they listening to Drake. Mm -hmm. Drake. I mean, like people our age gonna pick Jay Z every time. Mm. You know I mean because we like we understand that we know who he is like he. You know I mean, like I said, like he's my second favorite rapper. But to be a realistic, but rap is a young person sport. Mm. Rap is for young people. Young people would say what's hot and what's cool and was not. Like, even if I don't like future, I don't got I'm old. I don't get the fuck to say the future's not hot or not. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's just me being having my own opinion. But he, he hot to young people, he's hot. Period. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know that. But which right? you, you can also say Griselda though. Those guys are a little and they definitely shift in the culture. We talking yeah, about they, they, they still not they still not overseas. Drink, though. They still not drink yeah. though. Yeah, definitely. But that that argument about Older and, and Drake ain't really a young dude either, though. But, you but I'm saying, but he still got the young crowd. Yeah, he do all the he do all the shit that young people do. Yeah, uh, if, if, if that if you want to see, cause like you got to say, little baby. You know I mean that he liked it, but but Drake over little baby, he put little baby on. Mm -hmm. You know I mean so like he, so you got to think about how, think how many people think about how many people Drake put on. That stars, Jay Z never really never really did that. Drake, if Drake say your name in a song or put you on the verse, you, you, you're going. 21 Savage, Kodak Black. Fucking, yeah. Drake, if Drake, if Drake do a song with you, 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 you rich, you're going. Yeah, Project Pat, we interviewed him. He said that Drake blessing. <laughs> Drake, 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 Drake gonna help you. Drake, Drake put you, blessing, on. you on. Yeah, yeah I'm saying? Jay-Z can't do that. 
Yeah. Jay Z wouldn't even want to do that. He don't want to help you. Not Jay Z not helping you. Like like what? <laughs> I mean, she picked a few with twenty one seven. She put him on. Right. Not Jay Z. No. 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 Not helping you. Nigga. Help. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> nah, you're right. You're right. I hope you lose. I hope you win. You crazy. Mm-hmm. Like Drake. No, Drake. 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 Let's do a song with you. You're rich now. You you won. Mm-hmm. It don't matter if you're rapping or not. Period. Mm-hmm. That's how you say we got the rich or not. You cutting. You cutting in and out. Yeah. 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 Talking my shit about the doc. Yeah, now you sound clear. Yeah, you good now. Oh yeah, I want to get your take too. It's a, it's another Philly cat making airways. This is a dude easy oh. to block captain. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, because uh, uh, you know what? He just he just hit me on Instagram to be on his podcast too. Yes. So man, what's your take? You did time. Uh, what was what's is Pat Poose man? Is is he right for like again? I gotta say this. I gotta say this. Ben is so easy to block captain. Ben is so easy to block captain from Philly, right? Mm-hmm. I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Because <laughs> I'm, just, I mean, because I don't know the ins and outs, but I know if the, if because first of all, he's not Pepu's friend, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not his job to do to, to care about none of that. I mean, because a lot of niggas can say what they want, oh, but if Remy Ma, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? If, listen, if Remy Ma, if Remy Ma, he signed, he signed to them. Yo. I think I think he was signed to her. Yeah, it's like they the state battle league, I believe, together. But that's what I'm saying. But just imagine this though, right? A lot of niggas, like not me personally. See, me mm-hmm. personally, I don't mess with nobody that I know, girl, period. That's just me. But mm-hmm. a lot of niggas, just imagine if Remy Ma trying to give them some ass, they're not gonna say no. Mm-hmm. Niggas not gonna be like, no, I'm not just gonna hit like that's easy for us to say now. We on the outside looking in, but real realistically, think about you in a room with Remy Ma, right? By yourself, he's like, yo, I'm trying to like, no, nah, pet pools, like I don't know. You know what I mean it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean like no no you no, but is it right? No, I don't think it's right. You know what I mean I don't think it's right, but like you mean you like man Remy Ma, like you mean Remy Ma. You know what I mean? they, 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 really, so it's easy for us to sit here and judge like man, we shouldn't have did that, whatever, whatever. But a lot of niggas they was in the room with Remy Ma about it, some shit like yo, I'm trying. I'm I'm feeling you, I'm like yo, like no, nah, because Pat Pools for like you la. niggas ain't saying that I mean most niggas not saying that. You know so mean? so so do do you think men now should be aware of really holding women down and no and, no no that shit had no thing, no thing with it because because everybody it. different mm. and plus i think him and her still gonna be together mm. i mean i, I mean if, if my girl cheated on me right on somebody and i really love her i'm not so shush is quitter so he can have her no off clear free and clear no you're not getting that <laughs> no bro don't don't do that no more though we have a problem like you know I mean like <laughs> i'm not i mean like because girls girls forgive us all the time yeah you know I mean, like, I'm not losing my wife over because you hit, because he hit, like, nigga, no, you ain't gonna hit no more, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what it is. Like, I mean, you're not, no, I'm, I'm gonna be sorry for a while, but it's my wife. It's for, better, for good or bad, for I mean, better or worse. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not losing my wife because it's like, no, <laughs> period. Bro, bro, what are you doing, bro? I, I don't want to go to jail now, nigga. You better chill. <laughs> But, you know, so like, so so you don't think that really is an unprofessional move? Is it an unprofessional move? Or, or, or who part? Easy to block captain? Both Remy or and him. Not, for easy to block captain, I think it's something to get him popping. Mm. For him, I think, but I think for Pat Poos, it's like unfortunate. For mm. Remy Ma, I think it just showed that like that was a, she's a boss type of Joan. Mm. So I think she just did what she felt like she wanted to do, and like niggas do it all the time. Mm. Now we want to say we're equal and all. Now mind you, she, she she got a nigga that ride for her that most niggas don't ain't doing the, the shit that Papoose was doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, so like he get the benefit of the doubt, but people don't. The good guys finish last. Mm-hmm. Everybody know that. Mm-hmm. You can't be, but you gotta have some bad in you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, like mm-hmm. my wife wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Cause she like, I ain't, it ain't worth it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, listen, the nigga that don't is like. Yo, it ain't, I don't even feel like this nigga trying to kill me. Like, I, like it ain't like. <laughs> Yo, they got the photo. They was at Red Lobster, man. Listen, oh, he was on a Beyonce. Like, Fuck me, good. I'm gonna take you to Red Lobster. Yo, listen, dog. Listen, listen. The nigga was like, yo, listen. The nigga, say was use my man, right? Yeah. And I know you. Like, if a nigga that hit my wife and I don't know him, he don't, he don't owe me nothing. Mm. I know you. 
You hit my wife, you might, damn, I don't even think, I don't even feel like having a shootout with this nigga. I don't feel like this nigga shoot. I don't feel like it ain't worth it. Like, I mean, I just go, like, I mean, but Papoose, they must know, like, it wasn't no, they had no fear about none of that. He's a mean, nice guy. Hey, Papoose touched him up like a couple months. Yeah, I'm, talking about, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about touch you up, touch, like, see where I'm from. It, yeah. If you're going to do that, you got to go all the way because niggas ain't going, like, it ain't. It ain't known to that. Like it, it's mm. either all the way to the tombstone or leave it alone. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Like, but, but if you my man, you shouldn't be messing with my wife. And she, but it's really her. Mm. Cause he mm. she owe you the that 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 you know what I mean that like, you won't, but but at the same time, I, I want the best for them outside looking mm. in. I don't I want them to, I want them to win past this because that's 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 the transgression that happened. Or right, let that shit go, y'all, 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 they're a power couple. Yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't, plus people, people voting for Pat Poos because he rolled for you so hard. They make mm -hmm. her the bad guy. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, but, but like, person like me, don't, I don't see her as a bad guy because I know we do that shit all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Like, all the, all the time. And girls take us back. You know what I mean? I so, like, I don't want, I just, I just, I just hope for, for they, they, they got kids. I just hope they just, you know I mean, because, because I mean, I don't, unless, unless you don't go with the boy, easy to block happen. <laughs> <laughs> then that, then that, oh, that's, I mean, he, yeah. You know, a usually, lot of usually, guys, usually, when, usually yeah. when a girl has sex with you, they like you. Mm. They they like you, like you, like they like they like you, like. Mm. And if that's the case, then they just her prep must just gotta be done, and then she, she go with her. <laughs> the comments is crazy. <laughs> the how you leave over a dude that look like him? <laughs> they kind of look the same to me. Yeah. They like they remind me of each other. Like they got like, <laughs> not, like, not, like not, maybe I shouldn't say they look alike, but like like got the same type of like swag, like. Yeah, you know I mean the, the battle rapping type of you mean that's right. You know I mean, yeah, but like, yeah, but I gotta, but he's a black captain. Like, I gotta, I got I gotta give him some leeway because he's from Philly. Yeah, no doubt. Like, so I gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the Philly leeway. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the Philly leeway. You know I mean, like, but, but, but I don't, but I don't know, I don't know the ends and outs. I don't know the situation. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's even true. I don't know. I'm just yeah. going by what everybody else saying. But like, yeah, no but, doubt. But, I mean, but if it's true and she did that. She just showing her her, her empowerment. <laughs> so, <laughs> you mean she's like, listen, no I'm gonna do what I want. No doubt, no doubt. So I wanted to ask you this too: Is was state property lazy? Like Jay said, he mentioned that you guys were were, were lazy and y'all didn't want to. Really? Play. He said that. Yeah. yeah, this is not so. I'm I'm not giving a direct quote, but he mentioned he, it's an interview where he would talked about. No, first, first of all, you can't be to, to and, get to get to get on. You can't be mm -hmm. lazy to get on. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about why you guys were, were kind of there. Where no, you, you had, listen, every time you put a CD, uh, listen, first of all, I put out 20 mixtapes. Mm. Lazy not in it. What you should have said is every time y'all talk about to drop something, I'll drop something with y'all mm. to, take, to take the shine away. Mm. I mean, it's up to you. We gotta, every time we got to do, we got to get clear from you. That's why I started mm. putting mixtapes out from the rip. I mean, my mm. mixtapes, I got Twister on them, uh, Nori, I got fucking uh, Nature from front. I mean, I'm like... Being lazy, not in it, because every time I see you, you want to hear new rap, so you can steal your shit. Mm. Girls, girls, girls. I had that before. Like before he even had. We think he got girls, girls, girls from. Like I mean, like mm. nigga, you talk about lazy nigga. You stop stealing nigga shit, and then we. I mean, you talk about you lazy. You stealing nigga shit, and then not giving them no credit for it. <laughs> so lazy, not la lazy, not in it. Mm. Yeah, la la first of all, you gotta think if it's seven niggas putting an album out, only take about five verses from every person. Mm. We should have stay probably ten out. Mm. But you're not you're not letting us do that. Like that's too much. Like right. Mm. Though, how you got a group right that you mind you? I got signed by Jay Z. How mm. long I got a song with you? Mm, that's a good point. You know I'm good because I rap for you. You signed me on the spot. Mm. How I got a song with you? I mean Jay's protective of his image. You know what I mean. But, I'm saying, but why you signed me then? People say he don't shirt. have a joint. <laughs> he don't have a joint with J Cole. Do he? Do he got a joint with J Cole? I, I don't know. But, but listen, what I'm saying you. I know you signed. But this before J Cole even came about. You mm -hmm. signed niggas to steal their shit. Mm. Oh, shit, I can steal that shit. This nigga got some shit. They throw from. I'm still still in their shit. Mm. That, that was the whole point. Was that was the point for us to be stars? So so that brings a larger question: Is that this day or is that the game in itself? That's Jay. Well, you got a well, you got a lot of producers say that too. You know, a lot Dog, of listen, you, you, when you see 50 Cent sign the game, what do you do? When you sign the game, what do you do? You came out with a single with him. That's a fact. Hated the lover, dog, the girls on top. Mm -hmm. Yayo, Tony Yayo, any uh, young buck. Every mm -hmm. person he signed, you put a single out with him. Mm -hmm. Because he got the star power. I know if I do a song with you, it's gonna sell because I'm on it with you, and then they gonna know you. It's common mm -hmm. sense, it's not like no fucking super duper shit. You, you know what I'm saying? With mm -hmm. us, no, we're not doing a song with you, nigga. And we was popping, even we was popping, you know. All our pop yeah. came from us. 
He ain't even yeah. got one song. And if he and then we got a hot song, he he, he likes it so much he won't get on the act like it's his. What we do is wrong and like it's Jay-Z song, don't it? It's freeway song without Jay-Z even wasn't even on it. Yeah. I mean, like so you like, like so you think Jay-Z put freeway on that song? Yeah. That's freeway song. You know what I mean? So like like niggas lazy, nigga. You make you make sure niggas don't get popping. Yeah, I, I definitely, man, Freeway talked about it on his interview, how things kind of got muddied in waters where he-, where he But dropped. see, Freeway not going to say that. Freeway, Freeway, Freeway politically correct. He a nice guy. Yeah. He not going to say it how I'm going to say it. Yeah. You know I mean? So, like, you know I mean? So, like, I like that project that he dropped. I think it, it, 50 was executive producing it. It was the Free At Last joint. 50 yeah, showed yeah. up a couple of- the, couple But, but of you got me when, when, when Freeway came out with his CD, 50 Cent came out at the same time. Yeah. If we wish, if 50 Cent was doing numbers, you know I mean like you know, but I mean, 50 Cent was just you know, yeah, Eminem. I mean, but, but I'm saying the period, though, this is what I'm saying. If you got a young, if, say for I, I sign some young guys, I'm mm -hmm. also, you know, I'm getting money, I'm, I'm famous, I'm gonna do a single with each one of y'all mm -hmm. to get y'all get, get ball, ball rolling. I'm not gonna get, they, we couldn't even get a fucking sample clear with your voice on it. Mm. Nigga, like, you don't mm -hmm. want niggas to blow, nigga, don't want anything. we come out with two CDs, you ain't on none of it. You might be on, you might be on an intro or something. Might be on a song with beat. You not on no no like no songs when it takes you nothing to do a verse real quick. But you are still mm -hmm. a lot of ideas. It's still mm -hmm. a lot of shit. Come on, man. You don't want niggas yeah. to, to blow. Yeah, the, yeah, the cat. Uh... You. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we back. Yeah. We back. We back. Yeah, my phone, yeah, my phone yeah. Was shit. yeah, like I, like I, like I, like I was just talking about earlier. I think that you know, even with Wayne doing it, you know, going to 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 Harlem, New York, they, and while really getting the rappers, and I think that's kind of what Jay saw with Philly treating it because it was this interview they were talking about dudes. Uh, I think. Like Little Wayne really being like a, a innovator for that rock style, but it was it was a cat called Stack Bundles, you know, that really revolutionized that. Really, dudes know him in the in the city, you know. He's he's a legend as far as with that rock lifestyle, and I think that's kind of where rappers, man, it, it's it we what people could say is like exploitation, or you know. Is getting the edge, going to the next hot. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this young cat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put him under the wing, you know. And I'm gonna get his rhymes. I'm gonna do this, and just like producers. So a lot of times, man, I feel this. The game is predicated on that. You know, people talk about. For sure. You know, but my thing is this. My thing is this. If you if it's gonna be like that, don't say we family. Mm. Don't say we mm. family. Don't say we this and that. Just keep it real. Just say I don't fuck with y'all niggas. I'm signing you to do this. Do that. We still would have did it. Cause then what you, you think, think you're family? I'll kill a nigga for you. Like I mean, like fucking mm. rap shit, nigga. Somebody say something about you, nigga. I'm smoke. I mean, that's my thing. Is like, don't lie. Let me don't say, well, we family. We this and that. We we not shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, this, right. this, we rockin' for the family. We this, we that. No, we not. Nigga, you, you remember his songs? We saying our names in his songs. Oh, and Sparks, we running this rap shit. Or skin, I mean, mm. you saying like, nigga, you act like we fit. No, we not shit, nigga. Like, let's, let's keep it basic business. We young niggas. Mm. I could have took. You could, he could have said, yo, oh, listen. I'm gonna give you a hundred thousand, right? I want all your reps for the next 20 years. The, the predicament I was in, I would have took it. Mm. Just tell just tell me what it is. Don't lie, don't come to me telling me one thing and then something else. That means then you just not being a man. Mm. You feel what I'm mm. saying? Tell you, look, I'm on all your ideas, all your, I still would have did it. But we start doing it sneakily and act like you don't know me, and like, then that's that's when it become a problem. Mm. It's like it's like me, nigga, you tell you like listen, listen, nigga, I need you to trap, right? I'm gonna give you every every ten thousand, I'm gonna give you five hundred. Now mm. you like, man, but you fucked up. She's like, I know it's a bad deal, but I gotta take it because I'm fucked up. Now, but if I tell you that I'm gonna look out for you, just sell this shit. I'm not, I'm not telling you what I'm gonna give you, and I'm not giving you nothing. You like, oh, you just you gonna give me something? Like, I mean, tell mm. a nigga what it is. That's it. Mm. Niggas, let a nigga have a choice if you gonna do it or not. Mm. I mean, when you start saying we family, you saying our names in the songs and getting us to diss people on your behalf. Like my thing is, you don't get nobody to diss somebody on your behalf if they just not nobody to you. Mm. If they just a label, you beefing with this nigga? I don't know this nigga. That shit had nothing to do with my career. Mm. Cause now, but if I don't mess with you no more, who said I couldn't get signed to Nas? Mm. You feel How me? was you the relationship the with Nas? Have you have you? Yeah, spoken you shut, to you shut the door in my face, and yeah, you shut you shut the door in my face that I could have been open because because you mm. got a problem, buddy. 
I ain't got a mm. problem with it. Mm. You know what I mean? So nigga, don't act like you we, we lazy. We how we late was we lazy when we this is the nigga free that you he asked us to do it. Mm. You said that yeah, we did we ain't like we ain't just do it to do it. He said, listen, mm. we gonna know how to I need y'all this nice. Act like he killed y'all cousin. Mm. Act like he killed y'all cousin. So you kept saying. Now now mm. you now you don't know me. Nigga, fuck, like I would say nigga, so I would say what I want to say, nigga, because I know you you a sucker, you did some sucker shit. Cause if I tell my young boys to go shoot up a crib and then I and I make it with the nigga with a crib, they shut, shut up. Now he see one of y'all and somebody smoke y'all because I ain't get it fixed with with, with, with y'all with him. That's mm. on me. Mm. That mean I ain't no. I don't, that mean I'm a sucker for real. Cause I shouldn't. First of all, I shouldn't got y'all to do it anyway. If it's my beef, I shouldn't even handle that myself. Yeah. I mean, you should. You, should, you don't need us to. You, you can't take Nas on by yourself. Mm. You don't ask us to diss Nas for you. You supposed you you the rap God, right? Go diss Nas. And, I can't see me asking my young boys. Some boys diss me on a song. Come help me. Come come help me diss this nigga on the song. You ain't good mm. as you say you is. Mm. You need us to do it. Now when we mm. do it, you you would think that means something to you. It mm. don't mean nothing to you. Mm. That shit was like, all right, y'all did that for me. I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all niggas though. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know what I mean, so now now, mm. now it's only my right to diss you or say nigga, I'm fucking you suck it. Whatever I want to say about you because you show me you do suck a shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're big, then what's the what, nigga saying your career? Because you know that was a career. That was a career thing. Now it's gonna end yeah. your career with that shit. Mm -hmm. And the reason mm -hmm. you dig here, they like we got them Philly niggas. Them Philly niggas ain't going for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean mm -hmm. that's the whole like with all that Rock Nation shit. That's cute and all that shit. But nigga, let's take it back before all that shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. You asked us to this. You never asked uh, 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 the uh, fucking Rick Ross to this to this Nas for you. Mm -hmm. You never asked uh, Lil Uzi. None of them niggas like the Rock, Rock Nation. You never asked them to this Nas for you. Mm. You never asked me to put their career on the line for you. You asked us to do it. Mm. So, nigga, if anything, I, I face it should be up somewhere on the on the on the, on a poster somewhere up, uh, over there. Period. <laughs> you know what I mean? No that, I mean, that's just realistic, realistically. Because at the end of the day, if Nas would have killed you on that shit, you'd have been done. No, no doubt. Mm. Won't be no Rock Nation, won't no Rock Lunch, and all that shit you're doing. You know what I mean? Mm. It would have been, been Nas, the Braveheart shit. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? So, my <laughs> thing is, nigga, don't, so you act like you don't know me, nigga. Don't, nigga, don't act like you forgot, nigga. Mm -hmm. We didn't ask to go to Hot 97. Mm -hmm. You told us we going. Like, yo, I need y'all to go to Hot 97. This, 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 this how he was humbled in. Like, yo, I need mm -hmm. y'all to go to Hot 97, man. I need y'all to kill this nigga. Like, act like he killed y'all cousin. Mm -hmm. We had one day. We wrote a lot of shit. We wrote a lot of shit about Nas in one day. So the next mm -hmm. day we went up there, we, had, we wrote that shit that night. But yeah. we were so good at the time. We could do that shit like there was nothing. We go up there. This, you think we had them rats forever. Yeah, that's that shit that night. Yeah, that's definitely was epic, man. It definitely was epic. So you you would think you would think you would think that would say you would think he would say, like, damn, these niggas roll for me like that. I'm a ride for these niggas. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. nobody, listen, nobody, you, you never so that means you needed us. All right. So if a nigga needs you, you can't do nothing though. Mm. That means you're a sucker. Mm. <laughs> that's cut and dry. That, that right there, that, that mm -hmm. kind of them just all facts. That's mm -hmm. not no my opinion. That's not mm -hmm. no what I think. That's just cut and dry facts. If you could if I can do something for you, how you can't do nothing for me. Mm. Let me let me ask you this as well. This has been going on, Brendan. I see uh, Vlad, he asked Mav Hop for this. Do you think Dane regret uh, not being as rich as Jay-Z? No. Because you can't, you never could be rich as the artist. Mm. The artists do shows. I think he regret, I think he regret loving him, like how he loved him. Mm. I mean, what like you he mean? really loved him. Like, it's you like your brother's crossing you. Mm. I mean, and then your brother crossed you and tried to make you like you this bad guy when you really the bad guy. Mm. People love the artists because they listen to your songs and they think that's really you. Mm. I mean, so like he's like, damn, you really gonna do that to me? Like, I mean, you the crazy part is that Biggs, that's what he Biggs hated Jay Z more than Dane did. Mm. He mm. gave in, like, as he said, fuck it, I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to be over here on the winning team. I lost yeah. my respect for him. I, I said, some real shit. Like, that was, I used to look up to him real way more than any. The way he used to talk about Jay Z and then he, now I see him win him every day, I'm like, Damn, nigga, like, you was a sucker for real, too. Kiss the ring, man. I told <laughs> Any <laughs> Everybody capitulated, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. But, but I'm saying, for me, I don't respect none of that. Mm, that's I, My thing is, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're a boss, you don't got to never bend your knee to nothing. You'll figure it, you'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. I hear this man. It's like, it's like me and you hanging together every day, right? And I'm talking about somebody every day, bad. I hate him. And it's that. And I, I turn around, and I'm doing them, dick eating them. And them, you start, you'll look at me like. Then nigga, you just say anything, nigga. You do any. That's mm -hmm. I don't even want no nigga around me that don't like me for real. Mm -hmm. act, act like you like me, nigga. I heard this nigga out my own airboat. Like I hate this nigga. This nigga, this nigga want his masters. This nigga. You know what I mean like then I, when I see him get out of jail and be with him, I'm like, that's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, 
that's it. That's it. So, you know, you know say, this shit is different out of these streets. Like, you know I mean, like, you know I mean, so I'm on my business, man. I'm like, you know, because I, I can't, I can't be not a man. I'm too old not to be a man. So I'm fact. too old not to have a, have a problem with you. I can't tell you. Mm. Like, if, me, if I got a problem with you, I'm not hanging around you every day, like, not without saying, dog, I got a problem with that shit you did. Like, ah. I'm just around because you got money. I'm just every crumb helping these crumbs fall off the table to me. I'm not doing that. No, mm. it's just, it's just, that ain't that ain't me. I die. I die. I die living in a fucking cardboard box before I do that. Mm. I mean, I go right to heaven and be just like well, I was in my cardboard box. But guess what? I stood on what I believe. It's like Malcolm X. Malcolm X, man. I'm not Malcolm X. Ain't been there for nothing. That's what I look up to. Mm-hmm. Malcolm X, you say, listen, man, I don't. Y'all can buy my house, take my house, and you know, FYI, own the houses. I'm, I'm still going. What I believe in, God got me. Mm-hmm. I'm not bending for no man, especially mm-hmm. a man that's blessed in me. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, you got money? That don't mean you you, you less than me. I'm not bending to you. Like, I mean, I'm got, I'm gonna die. We all gonna die. Like, who wanna die knowing you just had to bend to a man that that, that, that was less than you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You mean? Mm-hmm. No, nah, I'm not. I, I, and I might. So some people are like, yo, you sound stupid. No, to me, that's integrity. Mean everything because we're gonna mm-hmm. die anyway. Mm-hmm. But you got a billion or you got a dollar, you are gonna die. Mm-hmm. If you believe in heaven and hell, you're gonna see what it is, whatever, whatever. At least die with you for believing in what you believe in. Now, if it was something worse though, one of my kids' life depended on it, or then then I, I would bend. Because mm-hmm. the kids is more important than you. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I'm not bending. What I need, I got what I need. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm watching big ass, big ass, eight, seventy inch watching TV, eating crab legs right now. I'm, I, I don't. What, what the fuck? I'm, what, I, what do I want? Like I mean. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like so, I, I, I don't understand men that just been for men when they they really don't feel like that. Mm-hmm. You like a woman at that point. Mm-hmm. These girls do that all the time. Girls that live with you, they don't like you, but they need to live here real fast. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They don't really like you. Like you, you really ain't they tight, but you know you got that bag. So like, you mean let me just you're a woman at that point. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean real shit? Like you're a girl. <laughs> like, you don't really like me, but you know you need me. I know you don't like me, but I think you're cute, so I'm gonna let you stay around for a while. You know what I mean, you, yeah. you, you're a girl. <laughs> I'm not never gonna be that. Yeah. They know it. So mm-hmm. that you would never see me on all the way ever. And guess what? I'm cool with that. Yeah. Guess so what you... mean? I'm cool. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna find a way no matter what anyway. So it don't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not mm-hmm. sitting around on nigga. And I don't like him. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, you sitting around? Nigga, you don't like him? He did you dirty. You just gotta. He gets, he a boss. Let's 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 give him a fair fight. Jay Z probably don't even <laughs> not fight no more. He probably don't even not fight no more. He probably have nobody probably never. He never he was in danger in so long that he don't he probably even know what danger is. I mean, he, he got bodyguards and shit. Like, he don't he don't know nothing. I mean, he like, oh, yeah. are you with me? You said something smart. He probably say something smart to him. He probably faint. <laughs> he might say something. No, no, you just a bitch. I'm tired of you. You just some sucker shit. He might faint. He might he might faint. I mean, that don't he don't that he don't he not you, nobody don't say nothing like that to him. You can imagine somebody saying, "Oh, dog, you just some nut ass shit, nigga." He probably like what? Yeah. He probably look around like uh, he probably look around like who are you talking to? <laughs> He's talking I don't to know. I mean, you see, you seen it. I don't know if you seen the video where dude tried to put his arm around him and he swerved. He was but, asking, listen, one thing, but, he, but, but I bet you had eight bodyguards around. Yeah. So he had yeah. bodyguards when I was around him. Bodyguards. He always had bodyguards. Like, you mean, mm. you mean you, you got bodyguards, I mean you could do all that. Mm. Yeah. If you if you really I bet you Tupac went out without no bodyguard. Mm. But you Tupac riding around in the Bentley without no bodyguard. But people would say, "Look what that got him, though." You know no, no, I mean? you know God, you's gonna die anyway. Yeah. If he had a bodyguard with him that day or not, you're gonna die anyway. Mm. You think you think JFK ain't have a bodyguard? Mm. You think John F. Kennedy ain't have a bodyguard with him? He mm. was president. He died anyway. When <laughs> your time, when God said, "You know, when God put your car, it's time for you to go." You going? You think a bodyguard will stop somebody? If they really want to kill you? No. No, I mean it's not going. It's not going. If somebody want to kill you, you're going to die. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this: J- Tupac, Tupac. It wasn't a point that he how he died with a guy. It was a point that he was free. He wasn't fearless. Mm-hmm. I mean, who want to want to live a long time scared? Mm-hmm. <laughs> who want to live a long time? I can't go outside to the store yet because I got to wait for my bodyguard to wake up. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine that being me. There's no fucking way. You know what I mean, let me let me wait till my when my bodyguard. I can't go to Wawa. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want nobody to go to Wawa for me today. I want to go to Wawa myself. Mm-hmm. But I can't do that. I don't want that life. So let me ask you this. That, that's 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 cool too, but you don't think dudes like like PNB Rock, man, rest in peace, he's from Philly. 
Um, because remember, he had listen, PMB Rock was in Los Angeles with 20 chains yeah. on. That could have yeah. happened to him in Philly. Mm -hmm. You think it would have happened in Philly as well? If, if the right people saw you. Mm. You can't, you can't. Let me think of this. You gotta see this is the thing with LA. It looks so pretty, you forget. Mm. It looked pretty, even in the hood. It's pretty trees, it's sunny. You, you, you come from like Baltimore, Philly, where it looked ugly everywhere. You I mean you out there like it looks so pretty, you forget that it's dangerous. Mm. I mean, but see me, I would never wear th that change like that without no people with me or burners or something. I mean, it's just it's it's like asking for something, not saying it should happen because that shit killed me. Mm. I mean, but I'm saying you gotta understand why what happened because people people just that's how people program. They see something sweet, they think they can get it. They try to get it. You know I mean, and mind you, when I seen it, I feel like one of, my, one of my family members that got killed. That's like, damn. Mm. You know what I mean, and the fact that it was a father and let his son go do that was like, damn. You know what I'm saying, mm. but at the same time, you understand the, the parameters of what happened. Mm. You know what I mean, that I'm not saying you got to go to Wawa with 20 chains on. Mm. That's just that's just like, come on, man. Like, you know I mean, you go to you don't got you don't got like say say he didn't have no chains on, that wouldn't happen. Mm. Say he had no jewelry on, that wouldn't happen. Mm. Period. Right, you know I mean, so like it was like somebody. Oh, I can get because they not. They don't know if you got money or not. Most of you think people pay for shit with cash app or your card or, but cash not really in it too much right now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But they see some jury. They're like, you, they know you're a rapper. They know that shit real. They're like, oh wow, man, that that could change my life right now. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, you mean so like it's unfortunate for sure. You know what I mean, you know that was that was like terrible for Philly. That that was. Yeah. But at the same time, you understand, like you know I mean, so when I say go to Wawa by yourself, you don't gotta have no chain on. My thing is where I'm from. If you wear a chain, you gotta have a burner. Mm. Period. I, I carry burner every day, so it don't. That's just that's what I do every every day. I don't care fuck about a chain or not. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just I, 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 that's how I rock. You know what I mean, but mm -hmm. I, I mean, but my thing is when you wear a big chain, you gotta be mindful. I was just mindful. Like if I got a big chain on, I'm mindful. Like nigga, nigga, want this, y'all? You know, yeah. Period. Like, I, like I mean, that's that's just that's what that's that's any hood. I mean, like, 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 even if you're on your on your block, you never know who might slide mm -hmm. up. Like, yo, nigga, I need that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, you know what I mean? That's so it's like it was, a, it was some things like he probably forgot. You know, sometimes you can be away from the hood too long and forget. Mm -hmm. I think, yo, it's good you brought up LA too. You was around Jay around the year 2000. Was you was y'all around when he went to the West Coast and was was writing for Dre? And is that true, man? They they said somebody they put him in the trunk out there. Or, yeah, I ain't yeah, hear about that situation out there. But I'm gonna tell you like this. I ain't gonna say no names, right? But I'm gonna tell you like this. The same shit that happened to the PNB Rock happened to one of us, right? Mm. Inside Chicken and Waffle Rock School, some Waffle Chicken and Waffles. I ain't gonna say no names, but the same thing happened. Since nobody ain't died. Mm. I mean, this 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 21 years ago. Mm. So like this ain't nothing new. Like you I mean, it's about the same thing inside Chicken and Waffles Rock Schools happened to one of us in LA in 2002, 2001. Mm. I mean, so like, I mean, so I, 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 I mean, that's what LA do. Mm. I respect LA though. LA, you know what I mean? But see, when I'm in LA, when I'm in LA, I don't, I don't wear jewelry anyway, really like that. Mm. Like, I don't really, I mean, I ain't really no jewelry ball like that. You know what I mean? I don't really, I got a little chain. I ain't got it with my son on it. That's it. Like, but I don't really, I don't really wear jewelry. Like, you know I mean, I got a little chain with my son. Put you on it. But besides this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be wearing nothing. Mm. It's just like, it's like, I mean, I'm old, so I don't really care about that kind of shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's some young shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? But you should be able to wear your shit everywhere, but that's not the reality of it. Mm -mm. You mean so? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's so. Let me. You think, man? That, that, that we speak of Gilly too, man, and, and the hardships. And you, you think, man, that they probably got this son to get at him, or no, 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 no. I mean, Philly, it's, uh, no, I don't think so because Philly? just Philly. Yeah, I remember, man. Philly had five hundred murders last, five hundred forty-two murders last year. Mm. That's like two murders. That's like a, over a murder a day. Mm. Mm. I mean, so, so it's over a murder a day. It's only 365 days. We had 500 and something murders, like 542, I think. You know what I mean, mm. so like that's what happens in Philly. You either the, you either the victim or the per perpetrator. Mm. You know what I mean, so like that's that's just that's 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 everyday life in Philly. I mean, it's unfortunate. You know what I mean, but it's, at the end of the day, Gilly don't really got no Gilly don't got no enemies. Mm. I mean, I don't have no enemies in Philly per se. People might not like some shit you say, but I don't really have no enemies that would want to kill my son because of me. Mm. But sons, our sons be having their, their own shit that they might be in, going mm. through. Somebody don't like them on their own. What you think? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the situation, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that the, the, the cat that was part of uh, Major Figures, man, his name was Reek. Reek. And I think he... he 
Oh, yeah, because, because Gilly they, got no, a long time ago. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. Gilly I don't think put, put some allegations like out on them. You know what I mean? But I think that it was, was true. I think the allegations was true though. It's you know, and I think I don't think the dude is even living anymore too, as well too. I don't know, but uh, I, think, I know you're talking about Dirty Reek. Yeah. First of all, he wasn't ever part of major figures, really. Mm. He not really. He wasn't never like really, really major. Major figures was like not him. He wasn't really. He rap like he yeah, sounded like Jimmy when he like a classic freestyle where it got it got some views where he just. But you know that shit real old. Yeah, that's old old. Yeah. So like that wasn't that wasn't that, that wasn't that wasn't had nothing to do with that. That's like that's mm -hmm. that's too old. Like that that's mm -hmm. old shit. That shit that shit like more than ten years old. That shit like old old. You know what I'm saying? I think we, I mean, well, you look, that. look at the situation what happened with your boy though. Um man, recipes chinks, man. That was a, a, a situation that happened eight years prior. Yeah, but I'm saying, but but Gilly, but it's Gilly's mm -hmm. son, but, but I think when, when that shit happened with Gilly, Gilly's son was like 20 years old. So mm -hmm. if, it, if, it, if it, the shit he's done with Rick, he was like an eight year old, maybe like you know what I mean that, that wasn't mm -hmm. but Gilly was son was in like Logan. That's a that's a high crime area. Yeah. Mm. That's an area where shit go down at all the time. You know I mean so like, mm. you know I mean? then then they didn't just shoot him, like a couple people got shot. Mm. So like they just figured like just they just singled him out. It was like a situation where people got shot. You know I mean so I don't think that had nothing to do with that. You know I mean I went. It was like you know I, mean? I think it's just an unfortunate situation. Mm. You know yeah. I mean it's just unfortunate man. You know Philly's the land of death. Mm. They say yeah, it's the land of death. Love, though I mean I oh. always have. Cause I, I don't know, it was a situation where a young a young lady she uh lost, she was pumping the gas and some guys, somebody came in. This happened in Philadelphia, man, and they came in. How long ago? This was this was maybe like man, I want to say four or five years ago. You know what I'm saying? I know and some they, girls pumping gas. I know some they, girls pumping gas. And, and they took the baby and they ran at and they ran after the dude and beat him to death. Like a, oh shit, two people. Yeah, this happened. This happened about four or five years ago. I can't remember the exact story, but there be so yeah. many murders in Philly that you can't even keep track of it. Mm. It's, it's like that, but it always been like that. Mm. Always been like that since I can remember. Only difference is now there's a lot of young people doing it. Mm -hmm. A lot of young people dying. A lot of young people. People my age don't even really be dying like that. It's all young people. Mm. I mean, so we're there, it's not gonna be no young. music to blame, though. Is the music to blame? In uh, I think it's the culture. I think the, the culture, culture is the music and the drugs is the culture. It's like it's like you gotta think about it. The young people there, they kill you and make a song about it. Mm. The music, music definitely influenced you because I remember when I used to listen to Onyx, I used to be robbing shit listening to Onyx. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm. music definitely influenced you, influenced you when you're young. But like, you gotta remember if all your friends doing it, it seemed like a cool thing to do. Mm. No, they this group doing it. Y'all can't be the group not doing it because they come kill y'all. So it's like it's like a it's a thing where it's, though it's gonna take them to grow up and start seeing the consequences of what they're doing. Mm. But so a lot of them, the consequences are gonna be so harsh. Like my son is gonna be so harsh that by the time they look up and realize what they did, it's gonna be they're gonna be suffering real bad. Mm. My era wasn't like that. Like niggas died, but it wasn't like how they doing it now. That, plus the guns they got now are different. Mm. You know, we had nines, forty five. We had forty fives, nines. These niggas got motherfucking AR fifteen. <laughs> I mean, they got Video game guns, man. Yeah, they got shit. They got shit that you're not surviving. Guns, they got shit. Man. The shit they got, the shit they got, you're not surviving. Yeah, yeah, most so, like, definitely. Shoot hundred. Then it be then it, they 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 jump out four deep, all spraying automatics, <laughs> shotguns. You know what I mean, shit, shit that's like you're not making it. Like you know what I mean, like ain't you no. Know, I mean, that's what that's. But my back in my day, you know, you got a nigga got a nine hit you, whatever. You might you might survive, you might not. Now ain't no surviving. Mm. They get you, they get you these young boys and they these young boys doing the broad daylight running down on you. No, no, no rat. Ain't nobody saving you. The, the shit they got, they, even if the cops come, the cops might not even be able to stop them. Mm. That's why the mm. cops don't never just happen to not never be around none of that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're a cop, you're still a human being. You hear that shit going off like you're not running towards that shit. You're gonna wait a minute, then you go towards you. They're not dumb. They're not they're reacting there. <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not just running towards that shit like that. Right? <laughs> I mean, so like you mean, but you know, at the end of the day, man, mm -hmm. all you can do is hope and pray that you know it get better. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I mean, because these young boys don't know, they don't have no idea what they playing with their soul. Because even if you don't get caught for the murder, it's gonna mess with your soul. Mm -hmm. And if it's a god, if it's anything like these books say it is, you have to pay for it when you die. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to have a bad hair, didn't have a bad in the afterlife too, and have the bad. I mean, that's why I try to do the right thing. Because I want to, I already had a bad hair. I don't want to have a bad again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you know, but a, per a person like me, they look at me like 
I'm a trouble starter. I do this, but really, I, I got a big conscience, and I and I hate doing the wrong shit because it's not because of what people think, because of the way it make me feel. Mm. You know I mean, I like damn, I should have did that. Mm. I mean, some people have no conscience; they don't give a fuck. But they see some people know how to play the game of policy. They know how to see the right thing on camera. They know how to. I mean, some mm. people like them when really yeah. they're a piece of shit. They really a piece of shit mm. though. You mm. mean so they not see the right thing? And I don't got time to learn how to see the right thing. I don't care enough to, to do all that. Mm. You don't like me? You don't like me? I don't give. I mean, fuck. You know I mean, I'm not. You know I mean. mm. But the person like you know, like Hov for per se or somebody that like him, no, nothing. They know what to say. Yeah. yeah. But they say something so you're like he can't possibly be as bad as somebody say he is. There's no way. When you know. Mm. Nah, you're right. Let me add. Yo, so this this another thing that been in the media too, man. BG man. Came home, man. People looking at the video, like, what would you think about the video? People were saying that he looked zesty in the video. When What's zesty? Just... What that mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> my pops, my grandfather used to say, you know, oh, look, that, sugar in the just, yeah, you know, what I'm yeah. People were saying his mannerisms look crazy. I don't know if you've seen the video. I ain't see it, but I, 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 like, I, like, you know, it's crazy. The jail I was at, the last prison I was at, it's called Dallas State Prison, right? It's the gayest jail mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. And I see niggas do some shit that I never would think that would do it. Like, you know what I mean? So, but I would never want to put that on nobody and it ain't true. So I don't know. I, I, see, I ain't never was a BG fan. So I never really, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I never really knew BG like that. I never knew his music like that. And I, I like the uh, nigga Juvenile. Mm -hmm. I was a Juvenile fan. So I like, I've never really seen it. Seen I've never seen him, but I just know like, he did like, how long he was in jail? He did it. He did it dumb. Nah, he did uh 13. Only reason I would say that I don't think it's true. I don't think it's true because usually if you if you known like that, see if you gay in jail, if you can't hide it. Everybody know. Mm, mm. And I think they would just put it out there. The Jenkins in jail would have put it out there. So I so I don't think you know, that 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 would be true because like niggas like the other boy. You see the other boy, the gay boy. The, what's the boy what's name? Talk about uh, talk about uh, the tough gay boy. For Chicago, yeah, Lil J for Chicago. Tough, yo, the, the toughest gay nigga I've ever seen. The toughest shit, right? My thing is this. My thing is this, right? The shy rack listen, thing is this, listen, if, he, if he gay, right? If he, if he gay and he, and, he, and he mess with men, right? Who cares? Yeah, nigga, own it. Like you own, like you. We, we see that you doing it. Doing it. It's a whole community for that. Mm -hmm. What are you out acting like you want to beat people up because they, they 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 talking about it? But when you on camera doing it, <laughs> I mean, my thing is this: you could be you, you, like instead of be, want to beat people up for for saying that you gay, if you really gay, just own it. Mm. Because obviously, I mean, if you got if a nigga sitting on your lap and you're kissing him and all that, dog. Listen, you get, you get, bro, bro. Sorry to tell you, like, I ain't trying to dish you or none of that, but bro, you get. We understand, we understand, you, listen, we, listen, we understand you tough. We understand you'll kill people. We understand you, you, you about that life, but you're mm -hmm. gay too. Like, like, I mean, listen, but you literally on it, like, with a, you on a choking gay people. You, you don't, I, my, I don't even know this boy. I just happened to see it on, on YouTube. I'm like, Whoa. yeah. Yeah, it was a, then I seen an interview on Say Cheese. Like, what nigga, niggas know what I he's so tough. I'm like, this nigga, he's so tough. If I didn't see the video, I would have never believed that. that I'm like, no, nah, that boy, yeah. he's, he's this so... boy, this boy, he might as well just come out. My, my yeah. thing is that you can't you can't talk bad about gay people now anyway. So, like, he can come out and be cool. Ain't nobody gonna be able to say nothing about you. Mm -hmm. They get canceled. Mm -hmm. You might come mm -hmm. out and sell more records being being the real you. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. but like my thing is this, you can't like you can't be mad at people for saying that if you're on camera doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but my thing, this is my question is who the fuck put the who got the tape out of the jail to put it out? Yeah, on? that's a lot of footage been dropping too. You know what I mean? Who I know? said, I said, yo, it's so crazy because the jail I was at Dallas don't even have cameras. Mm. That, that's going down. Yeah, it's oh, it's the it's the nastiest shit ever. Like you get it's so crazy that it's like he call it the pink palace. <laughs> bro, 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 like everybody, mostly everybody they got life, right? It's like it's mm. like the craziest jail ever be. So my niggas still get raped in that jail. Like mm. it's, it's like it's like that, right? So, so I understand that the the, the gay shit like it'd be, it'd be a nigga you fuck with that's so thorough that you see that your daughter you're like damn nigga, you, you can't really say nothing bad about it because like niggas will kill you niggas are gay but they tough shit they like the ball mm. <laughs> like like, like mm. I mean, but 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 ball might as well just come on out and just say listen listen man this that's me yeah. that's what I do you mean and yeah he's still denying it yeah I think it's still how. Yeah. <laughs> You know, a lot of dudes, his man like, saying they notice his walk and all that. You know? Bro, you can see him clear as day, his hairstyle, his glasses. Do you, you see the gentleman? He, he on the block, right? He he rumble the ball in the cell and because so the gay boy can come out. That's crazy. I ain't see that one though. He got on yellow, he got on yellow. Like he like he like he like a bully in there. He a gay bully. 
So that, so what is them type of them them PC P they they say he was in like a PC, PC. If your, if your PC used your PC because you either scared like you you scared somebody in the jail mm -hmm. or you got a sex offense like you are you, you like in especially in Pennsylvania it was like that you on PC you like you even you, somebody family here you can't be around you 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 are you got like a real bad case a sexual case where people try to do something to you about PC mm -hmm. if you're scared are you telling mm -hmm. yeah you know I mean that's the only place you could be a PC in Pennsylvania I don't know how Chicago works but because mm -hmm. it don't look like he's scared of nobody it don't look like he he like he, but I don't know maybe he, maybe he pick PC so he can be over there with them mm -hmm. so he might lie to say listen I'm, I can't be out right here with everybody else I gotta put, me, put me on PC so he can be yeah over that's there King Von yeah, well King Von he had him too he they say he wanted to avoid. Lil J, and he was just like, yo, I'm gay. I need to go to another. A lot of people was debating, was he really gay or was that just, you know, it'd be maneuver. You know what dudes be. I don't want to, I, say, I like King, I don't want to believe King Von gay, right? But at the scene, the nigga, the other nigga from Chicago, the way he suffered, he is. And he said, I don't want to go in there with that. <laughs> that nigga, yo, that nigga really a big bully in there. Like, really, he choked, you see, he choked, he choked the black skin up with the finger waves. I seen that shot, I said, oh my God. My thing is this: if I, if this nigga, if that nigga in jail with me, I'm not even talking to him at all. Nah, we don't we don't have nothing to talk. We don't even it's nothing to talk about. Like we don't even like what are you what are you doing? <laughs> you choking this man up? Like what? Are you? Boy said, boy said he called me. I said, yo, this boy. Like man. my thing is that even if I seen that, he could have denied it with that. But once I seen the boy on your lap twerking and and, 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 and all, I said, yo, bro, like what is bro, like nasty work, yo. <laughs> Listen, bro. You might as well just be like, bro, it's over. <laughs> It's like it's, it's, it's little, it's, mind you, but this is the thing. He, see, he think people care gonna care more than they really care. Nobody don't really care about that. Mm. You gay, so what? All right, you get you you tough. You already right, know you tough. You gay. All right, who cares? You got you denying to you denying to make you look crazy. Mm. Like you make make, <laughs> make it like you're not happy about who you are. Like nigga, be on it, nigga. Mm -hmm. At this mm -hmm. point, who? Cause uh, nobody cares. That's normal yeah. out here in these streets right there, right now, bro. Yeah, definitely. And this day, I don't know. <laughs> did you did you see the joint that this too came out where Obama had love letters going to say where he fantasized about being with a man, you know? And he I can't believe it though. I, unless I see Obama <laughs> writing it, I can't believe it. They said he's his letters, man, from his staff as uh, his ex when he was young. <laughs> he was in college, man. For real, he says. <laughs> This was the mainstream news, man. Too. I don't want to believe it, bro. Not Obama, bro. You know, his policies, too. A lot of people point to his policies favored the uh community as well, too. But I, I gotta understand that because that's the politics. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you can't go against them right now. They what they they probably got they in the power, they got power. But but my thing, but my thing is this, the fantasizing with the, you say he wanted to be with a man, but he did but did he they say did they say he was with a man? Man, they don't, 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 like, don't look like Michelle go for that. Well, check this out. This may be, this may be, you, you remember his little swimmer that got killed? The swimmer? It's a, it's a chef. The chef. It's a chef that got killed. This was in the news, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah Black Ball, Black Ball. Yeah, they said dude was going to come out with a tell-all book. You know what I mean? And, and you know, he may have got X'd out. But, you know, this is just, you know, certain situation. This is what's happening. You know, people connecting it. Well, at least, at least, at least, at least, at least, Obama carried it. How he supposed to carry it? Even if he felt like that, at least he carried it. How he supposed to carry it? He got, got his wife, got his kids, and fell back and said, "Listen, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on camera getting twerked on by these bull, like by these bulls." Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, bull got caught red-handed twerking on bull, like so. That's like, I mean, it's, that's two different levels. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> levels, the levels is different. Nah, you right. <laughs> like they you, and, you, might, you not, not only is bull twerking on you, you in jail bullying these people. Like you better mess with me. You better go with me. You mean like nigga? You like you? You really like you? You might as well stay in there. <laughs> My, listen, no, no, I never heard boy rap. I don't know nothing about his rap career. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. I just know him from from that. Yeah, he like uh, F F B G Duck man. That's one of the dudes that he was rocking with early. In but school. I'm just saying, like, but he more known for that than than rapping. <laughs> like we don't like in Philly. We don't listen to that him. We don't know him. Like we just know mm -hmm. him from that now. So whenever we see him, we're gonna think about him being the gay boy that right. Yeah. That's tough as shit. They wanna kill everybody because he's gay. Why you yeah. wanna kill everybody because you gay? Mm. Like I heard, like you see you see with the boy, like they got the boy, uh 
what's the boy name from my from Chicago? But he left people in Miami. You got all the money, got all the jewelry and cars and shit. Um, <laughs> the, the nigga that got a fake like a fake six pack. Oh, you talking about Batman Kibo? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Batman Kibo talking about they talking about him, right? And they, they got the, the boy, the gay boy, like listening to him, what he's saying, the response. Yes. He listened to him, he not saying that, and then they let him talk about the response. He never say once that like it wasn't him or not. He's like, man, who? Somebody want to be around that nigga anyway, man. Like, I like, well, he didn't say nothing about like it wasn't me and nothing. He's like, mm -hmm. he said, but they see that it's me. I just fucking like he started wanting to kill Batman Kevo. Like instead of saying like instead of saying like yo, man, yeah, they got me. You, we want to kill him for he ain't the fuck, he ain't the fuck do it. <laughs> I was like, this fucking crazy. Somebody let the draw because somebody showed me all this shit. I, I just somebody yeah. had to show me all this shit. I ain't like like popping on on my own. And I'm yeah. looking at it like, damn, this world going this world going crazy. <laughs> Like, like, like this boy, obviously the boy tough. I can see yeah. the boy tough. I can yeah, see the boy like six, three, I think. Yeah, dude. Like you we understand, we understand you tough. We, we we got that. We see you in that Brody and the Faggots in jail and all that. We understand it. But y'all, you're gay too. You know what I mean? So like, just take that part and accept that part of you. You know what I mean, yeah. bro? Like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You got a nigga twerking on you in jail, man. You know everybody gonna, he, he must thought nobody's gonna believe them if they say it about me. But somebody put the who put the footage, footage. out of this camera? Yeah, it's crazy. He's, a, he's you know these these guards be getting. He, he probably, yo, he can't he can't believe somebody did that to him. He's like, yo, how the fuck they get this? Somebody got paid for real. Dog, yo, there's no way. There's no, penny, penny. You That's see, all it's all in Chicago though. Hmm? You see no other. You see no other state jails doing it. Ah, uh, nah. Some footage came out in some other. You know, even like with the the whole like us. Uh, Situation things that be going on and stuff that be I ain't see no jail footage from no, no Pennsylvania jails ever. Yeah, you know, if you look online, you can't even really see the inside of how Pennsylvania jails look. Mm. You mm. might see like a little couple jails from CFCF, that's the county jail, but you upstate, you don't see no footage of upstate. They ain't never do no, they do some uh, no, they don't even let you, they don't even let you come in there with cameras. Mm. You won't even see nobody get interviewed in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I gotta go back and look at because many of the documentaries I I never really caught. You never see Pennsylvania on there. Pennsylvania don't go for that. The Pennsylvania sit you down. You're not getting out of jail. You ain't gotta worry about talking. You ain't talking on shit. <laughs> you ain't talking on nothing. We ain't bringing no cameras in there. None of that. You're done. Yeah. Period. Yeah, they got some of the toughest jail. Some of the toughest prisons, man. Yeah. Yeah, our jails ain't no joke. Mm. Period. I don't get all that. All that. All that shit he doing in them jails. He done doing it in Pennsylvania. Period. Well, they say Cook County, one of the, you know. Uh, obviously, it ain't. Obviously, it ain't. But you got me in Cook County. That's county <laughs> jail. That's mm -hmm. my state. Mm -hmm. Niggas been in jail since the 40s and 50s, 60s, 70s. Niggas been in jail. For, you're not doing none of that. Brody, Brody, you're not. It's, it's, no, it's nobody that own nothing. You're, gonna, you're too tough, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. You're not all that. Like, you know, the county jail, you, know I mean? you can talk about Cook County. That's county jail. Niggas worry about going home. Niggas got mm -hmm. court dates still. I'm talking about. Upstate, where niggas ain't getting out. Niggas time barred. That mean you ain't got no more, no more pills. You just ain't never getting out. Mm. You're not coming up there, Brody, and nothing. Mm. I don't care how big you is. You're not Brody and nothing. You you will die. Mm. Mm. And nobody, and you will die, and nothing won't happen because they won't. Somebody won't tell you you'd be dead. Mm. <laughs> you mean you're like the shit he doing in the county? But even in our county, you're not the CFCF pick. You're not doing none of that. Mm. You want, mm. One man, you, nigga, you're not doing that. Period. Mm. Mm. But you know he he doing it on PC, so like you mean. Mm -hmm. But you know niggas niggas get Philly niggas get aired out. You get aired out real quick, like yeah. I mean, real quick. I mean, that shit ain't. I mean, yeah. did, did you did you gay on top of that? You think you'll be doing all that niggas? I'm like nigga, 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 we not. You not, <laughs> not doing all that, man, bro. Bully like, boys, bully boys. Yeah, niggas, niggas, niggas want niggas want respect you. Mm. They're like nigga, you doing all that, and then you go ahead like, and have a sex with these men, like, and then you want to cool, like, no, we not. I mean, we're not doing that. I mean, come on, man. You, 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 really, you, really, you really over there harassing gay men. He choked the ball up. Boy, like, man, boy, ain't telling him. Boy, like, man, I don't hear. He, he, he choked me up because he caught me and I didn't want to come. <laughs> yeah, nah. I did hear they were saying, they had dudes saying he messed with him since the eighth grade or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah, it was some joints like that that was floating around. You know? Yo, he, I ain't afraid. He, he the toughest gay boy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Cause he tough. He like man, nigga. No, and I, he look. He's he, he like what? He like six four. Like six three. Yeah. Big husky. Yeah. Look. He, so you know he be taking it. 
Yeah. <laughs> he already taking his ticket. And you know, and when you in jail, when you like a gay boy, like and somebody, somebody, somebody rape you in jail, and you gay already. They are not gonna take it serious. Mm-hmm. They look at it like, come on, man, you wanted it. Like, come on, that's what you do. Like, we not. I mean, so like, he probably he just he he didn't have it his way. <laughs> that's why he probably he keep going back, man. That nigga, that shit is like shit. Like, you mean? Yeah. But but now at least at least at least the secret is out in the open now. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's the crazy. But we gonna change games a little bit. No, too. no I'm just saying, but just be out to be just be out. Like, cause I don't know any person who's saying it. Like, yeah. like you know. Cause, cause a girl, a girl should be able to know if you if that's what you went to. Yeah. Before, I mean, cause that shit like that's a dangerous thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, so yeah. Yeah, dudes coming home giving these joints. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying like, I mean, come on, man, like that, yeah, that's yeah. dangerous. Like, you know, come on, bro, you gonna be on this side or this side? You heard DMX said, "Stop being greedy." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pick a side, bro. Like, you, you, you fucking okay. girl, like. <laughs> I wanted to ask you this too, man. Like, I know, you know, dudes, you know, they be in a game. Dudes, they always got an illegal cat that, I mean, a cat that got a, yo, I got, let me, let me, I can make your money. We can move it here. And, you know, they got DJ Envy, man. You know, he's in hot water, man, for the little legend, the Ponzi scheme, him and the dude. You know, and, and, and they saying, too, they took some money from some regular, ordinary people and some street dudes, too. Have you ever been in a situation like that, man, back, like, but no, because I always I, I, I don't trust nobody. Bread and what's you know, your I, take? I don't trust nobody. I don't trust mm-hmm. nobody with that. To, like I mean, because my thing is this: I don't. I would never do it because I would never give you something to give you a chance to do something to me that I gotta do something to you. If I give something to you, it's gonna be enough worth though. If you take it, I ain't gotta worry about it. You know I mean they got? They said one dude gave. Uh, <laughs> it was News Twelve. They said one dude gave him one hundred and fifty k cash. He said I knew it was something wrong when he didn't even count it. I was just like, how did you give somebody hundred? I'm saying like, but you, but you got to remember, you look at DJ Envy, like you think about like how. He, what he and if not in, in in the beat, it it wasn't DJ Envy. It was his partner that they, he gave the one fifty k to. Well, Bull so, did it. He got to blame himself for some of that. Mm. Got to blame yourself, bro. Like you give my one fifty, like I mean. But at the same time, he probably thinking about if you take my one fifty, bro. You know what that is. Like after that, like if you take my one fifty, you got to know that something's gonna happen. Cause if you got one fifty, if you got one fifty, if you got one fifty to, to give me to just invest in something, that means you got one fifty to get me knocked off. Exactly. And 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 he and they said he wanted the return of like almost fifty thousand. So he wanted to just pay one fifty to get a, a fifty thousand dollar return. Man, he might as well bet on Canelo. He could have bet that one fifty on Canelo and got that. <laughs> I know. <right>? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bro? You, give me the one fifty. I bet on Canelo and I get it for you, bro. <laughs> Know, right? you, you doing like you tripping right now, bro? That's you what got, just you, if you better you better million dollars with Canelo, you get two hundred and sixty thousand free. You but know, that goes with saying was he maybe a lord by hey he got he got. I mean, because you, you, you gotta figure, you gotta figure if you see somebody real successful, you like it's like if a person say, say it's a Jay Z say yo listen, y'all give me a hundred thousand, I give you back two hundred thousand one fifty. You will believe him because it's, it's it, who he is. Mm-hmm. I mean, if a person got a certain amount of money, you go think about he's not gonna burn me. What I ain't nobody. I'm trying to get on their level. Mm. I mean, so like you I mean, but like I, I mean, I would never get nobody one fifty cash unless I got a hundred million. Mm. I mean, that was the one fifty don't mean nothing. So I ain't got to kill you about it. Like, I mean, <laughs> but if you if you only if you only working with a couple million, like you got a million or two million, you don't get nobody one fifty. Mm. First, you give them fifty to see if it works. Mm-hmm. Then if it works, then you give one bean. Then you give one fifty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Some of Bernie made off. Them dudes, uh, how he was saying, yeah, Bernie Madoff, Bernie Madoff, Bernie, Bernie Madoff, Bernie Madoff, he he was different level, he, yeah, he was different level. Yeah. But you mean DJ Envy? I mean, if DJ Envy, if that's his partner, I can't know if I could blame him for it. Mm. A lot of, it, but his lawyer came out saying that uh, Envy, uh, the guy owes Envy money as well too. So you apparently see Envy trying to distance himself from some right now. So it's like. Is is he gonna really tell on the boy? It sounds like he, he might he might tell on. I mean, every light skin man, so like you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he like you never. You mean you never know? Like every like he turned like you know like man, listen, he might turn light skin on him real real quick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you know that's yeah, it's like a Drake. Like you I mean like I like I see Drake wear fingernail polish, right? Whoa, yeah, I remember that. Yo, what's your take on these dudes, man? I thing gave Drake a pass for that one time because I like him. Thing, yo. Listen, because I like him, but I was like, and, but at the same time, he had the fingernail polish, he had barrettes on his hair. 
Like he had the, he had the braids with the like Come Drake. On. Now you my nigga. Like it's like my little Drake, my little brother, right? Stop that shit. <laughs> that, that, that's that's it. I mean, you got that's that, that's it. That, that that's 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 don't 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 do that no more. That's it. Like I mean, and only you get a pass because he Drake. Yeah. For me, <laughs> other than that, like like now, now Meek would have did it. He won't get no pass because he know better. <laughs> But I don't think Meek would do that. You know I mean, because I'm like, Meek, no, the nigga, don't you? That you know you. Oh. you know I mean, a nigga oh. from Philly not doing that. Not, but Seth, Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi different. He like the different. He a the different. I yeah, Lil Uzi different. Like, you, yeah. gotta, you gotta understand, Lil Uzi. I look at yeah. him as like he a new, he the new era of he he's something different. Yeah. But but he but he fearless. Yeah. He don't care what I'm you think about him. Music, man. He don't I'm care what you think about him. It fit him yeah. though. Yeah. Like anything he do, fit him because he don't. He like he's. He like almost like a character. Like he don't give a fuck about no. He doing this thing. He don't care. like. I don't look at him as a person from Philly no more. Mm. I look at him as like a person from like Mars, out of space somewhere. Yeah. Like like nothing the regular don't fit him. He like he above all. He passed all that shit. Like he don't. I mean, even if you do the little gay shit, it's not even probably gay. You yeah like he's something different. Yeah like, yeah, yeah yeah. We still back yeah. Yeah, it's a little easy, something different. Like, I mean, I, I, just, I just like that he's fearless. He don't care. When he came, when I seen him with the Rock Nation with the like the print shit on with the sideburns, mm -hmm. right? And I, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I said, yo, only Lil Uzi could do that. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else do that, it's a problem. He do it, it's like, oh, that's Lil Uzi. If he do it, it's like Lil Uzi. You don't, it's like, it really don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like he, he can wear finger pods. You don't, it don't really matter because it's, it's Lil Uzi. Like, he can have mm -hmm. a diamond in his head. Like, you mean? Mm. But he, you know I mean, so I'm like, I, I just, I, I remember the first time I ever heard of him, I had a show at some place called the TLA. Mm. The next day, he was having a show. I never heard of him. My son's like, Dad, can you get us tickets for, for Lil Uzi? I'm like, who the fuck is that? So I get him the tickets for Lil Uzi and I go to the show with him. Mm. When I say he had that shit rocking, I mm. said, who the fuck is young boy? Because yeah, he wasn't as famous as he is now. I said, yo, he going to be something special because there's all white people in there. Mm. Like, he had a whole white audience that f sold out like at this place that, may, that I just had a show at. I mean, I'm like this nigga. And mind you, I never heard of him or nothing. And like, for like the year next year, he was like a superstar. Was his wave bigger than the Meek Mill wave? Who had a bigger wave, Uzi or Meek Mill? It was a different. It was different wave. Meek Mill waves was everybody from the streets. The mm. Uzi wave was all the white people. Mm. Like he had some. He had some black people too, but he had all the white people. Mm. You know I mean, but but Lil, but Meek, Meek wave was way for me. Wave, it was some shit like I never seen in my life. Mm. Meek had every car playing his shit. He wasn't even famous with no deal or nothing. Yeah. You know, he, that's when he used to hang with me every day. You know, he used to hang mm. with me every day. After all, every car that rolled past was playing Meek Mills. Mm. He wasn't even he wasn't even famous. Like, I'm talking about nobody. He wasn't even he wasn't even on. Mm. Every nigga, every when I say every car, every car. See, Lil Uzi shit more like a white people. Like you won't really hear it at every car. Mm. Meek shit was Meek shit. You heard every car, every person. He was he was the top artist in Philly without a record though. Yeah, them flamers. He was lighting that shit up, man. Bro, he was yeah. he, bro, he was famous without being famous. Yeah, he was he was doing like big concert and shows. I remember like, but I'm talking about, I'm talking about before. I'm talking about before he before did before he shows. really got big, like like the world knew him. You know what I'm saying? But, but bro, before yeah. he, before listen, before he even did a concert, before y'all ever heard of him, before he did a show, yeah. anything, everybody in Philly had him in in, in their car. Every young boy, every person my age, every he had everybody listen to his shit in the whole Philadelphia. The whole he had the whole Philadelphia listen to his shit. Lil Uzi, I never, I don't think he ever like had it. He just he just got on faster from like he had the internet shit. Era too, man. You got the streaming era. Meek was definitely he came. Yeah, he came out right before like, like like the computer yeah. was out, but not like it is now. Nah, yeah, yeah. But see, but you know, it's more white people than black. Uzi, Lil Uzi got all the white people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He got the white people on Smash. That's his. That's his audience. He can go. Yeah. He can go to Iceland. He can go to Iceland and, and do a show. Like you I mean. He, he, I mean, he can go. He, 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 he might, he, he might be bigger than me. Mm. Mm. Only mm. reason I would say, only reason what make, might make him not biggest me because me that shit going through with shit with Drake. Yeah, make everybody know him. But, but far as like, Lil Uzi, biggest shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you right. He is though. He is though. Which, speak, speaking, speaking of me too, man, and he, you know, he was dealing with Nikki. What's your take on that whole situation, man? With Offset. And do getting violated, man. I think I think I think I think boy too old to be acting like that. <laughs> but Russia, I, I would never do that. It look yeah. corny. Yeah. And it's, and then it's for no reason, especially if they ain't not coming. Like he's threatening. 
It's like it make you look corny. Mm. It make you look like dog. Come on, like dog. You know, I mean, because first of all, if you are gonna do something with somebody, you can't be on the camera threatening that they come. That's the that's if you really gonna do something. You definitely can't do that. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what like we tell. Some guy too. You know what I'm saying? Imagine, imagine we being outside the hotel. Like yeah, if y'all pull up, I'm gonna smoke y'all on live. Then y'all mm. pull up and somebody really get smoked. You are going mm. straight to doing life. Mm. So if you really was gonna do it, you wouldn't even been on live. Period. You just been out there waiting. Mm. So, it, so it made it look real corny. Like I said, this is. But if you, I mean, if you're forty or thirty something, you're doing that like you're corny. Mm. I mean, you just look corny. It's, 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 I mean, to me, it just look corny. Like it's like mm. it's like it's, a, it's like a joke. Mm. I mean, Nicki Minaj was calling me like, "Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you, what are you what are like, yo, stop, don't do that. Mm -hmm. it look, 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 it looks corny. Look, look, look bad." Mm -hmm. You supposed to be above all that. Like you got Nicki Minaj, you y'all rich, y'all supposed to be above all that. That's not no. That's some shit, nigga. Dirty, some niggas. That's you know what I mean. So yeah. I, you know, I think I. But I guess no hang get the memo. Mm -hmm. Was you they around me? With was you around me when he was dealing with Nicki Minaj? And why you think? Well, that? when I first came from jail, when I first came from jail, he was like telling me like, yeah, you know, he said just start messing with her, whatever. You know what I mean, I mean, so he was. Well, you know, it's crazy though. Mm -hmm. Meek, Meek said he was gonna mess with her before he even knew her. Mm -hmm. Well, he ain't had nothing. Mm. He spoke into existence. That was like his it girl, huh? <laughs> no, he said this shit. No, he said this shit before he was even even, even on. He wasn't even. He, uh, mm. That's that's when I said that manifestation shit is real. Because mm. I used to say the same thing about getting signed to Rockefeller. I ain't even know nobody over there. I was like, I'm getting signed to Rockefeller. I used to say it all the time, and that shit. Mm. I spoke that shit into existence. You know what I mean? So do you? But do you think he got her because of Dirty Mac? A lot of people say son Dirty Mac Safari. <clears throat> I but think he just got it because she. I think she just liked him. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how he got it, but he got, look, the fact the whole thing is he got it. He had it, mm -hmm. and she claimed him. You know what I mean, so like you know that was major. Yeah. yeah so like that's that. So you know he had all. So he go through drinks. Got the notch. Like that's like a, that's a major shit to do from Philly. Coming from Philly. Mm. I mean, coming from anywhere. You mean coming from everywhere? You work your way up to that. You mean coming from the bottom and the. You mean me, me come from the bottom? Like me can't have nothing. I mean, he come from the bottom. They, they come to the top like that. Like, I mean, I seen it with my own eyes. Like, that's an accomplishment. Mm. No matter what you do in between and all that, it's an accomplishment. I mean, so I respect the accomplishments more the, more than anything else. You know what I mean? Nah, no doubt, no doubt, no question. That nigga came from that nigga came from absolutely nothing, like nothing. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he had a long run. He been on for a long time now. Yep. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean I respect that? You know what I mean? No doubt, no doubt. Well, shit, man, we like, well, yo, oh, man, we appreciate you for chopping it up with us, man. You know, right, man. Definitely going to stay plugged in, plugged in, and hit us back, too, man, on that fight, too. Listen, <laughs> y'all, listen, listen, I'm telling y'all, listen, ninth or 10th yeah. round, Charlotte going to sleep. We going to see, so I'm telling, Listen, tell, so if you want to make some free money, even though it's take a lot to make anything, you got better stack just to win 260. But it's but it's free. Mm. Mm. What's, what's the day, the 20 what? The 22nd? Yeah, the twenty second, yeah, twenty second. Yo, last yeah. time, I, last time I brought the fight when I brought the, the Terrence Crawford fight and um, um, the uh, Earl Spence fight, I was mm -hmm. streaming it on live on Instagram. They ain't say nothing. Mm -hmm. And on my TV live streaming on on my live, niggas like, yo, good looking out for sure on the fight. I had the fight on my jaw. They ain't say shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like trying Look to <laughs> I might try that shit again on the on the, on the thirty. If you know I mean, because I'm definitely buying the fight. Like that's obviously yeah. not even the question. I mean, yeah. buying the fight. So, so the, I'm telling y'all on the 29th or the 30, whatever money y'all got on that, on that day that you can spare, it, even if you can't spare it, dog. I'm telling you, bet on Canelo. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Mm, mm. I'm saying, oh, who, you, I'm saying no, who, you, who you like in that fight with Terrence and Canelo? Who you like Canelo? Him? Terrence too big. I mean, Canelo too big. Even you heard when they asked Terrence Crawford, do you want to fight? He's like, I'm not going to be to fight him. Yeah, he not. Yeah, he not. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do a catchweight fight. I yeah, I'm not fighting that nigga. That, that, that nigga, nah. you know, Canelo. Remember he, remember he fighting. What's the boy name? He was fighting was undefeated. He, he he nipped him in his eye and broke his eye socket. Mm, yeah, I remember that. That was uh, <laughs> was really that Triple G? That wasn't Triple G. No, no, no. It was the other boy from England. Mm, um, uh, I forgot his name. He, he was an undefeated boy. He's like 45 and 0. Canelo barely hit him, nipped him, boop, and broke mm. his eye socket, couldn't even continue. The nigga said, mm. I can't continue. Mm. When a nigga breaking nigga's eye socket, leave him the fuck alone. What about Keith Thurman? <clears throat> Keith Thurman can't beat him. Mm. Keith Thurman lost to Pacquiao. 
Yeah, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> like, he did. He good, he, but he not he fucking did, though. Canelo cut the ring off mm. and punished you. He do. He took a. He, he learned a lot from that Mayweather loss early, though. He took but Mayweather. That. Mayweather the, the cheat code. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I, you know how much money I went on Mayweather fighting. I just put on all Mayweather fights. Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. Listen, if, if I get fucked up in anything, I'm no Mayweather, Mayweather fight coming up. I'm betting everything on Mayweather. Every so time. you from Philly, man? What's up with but not be hot, man? You don't, you ain't got be hot, and be hot listen, one of listen, the oldest, man. Yeah, for boxing, the age too, man. But listen, but be hot. Listen, be hot. I bet fourteen thousand on be hot when I went to Vegas and lost. He, he for Jermaine Teller, right? <laughs> yeah. Even though he really beat him though. But be, but listen, be hop, be hop is a fucking legend. Legend. Be hop man. is a be hop, but but you forget about be hop because his style. Yeah. It's boring. Yeah. I mean, like like uh, like Mayweather is Mayweather. Mayweather, mm. Mayweather, like it's like there's no other Mayweather don't lose. Mayweather don't draw. Mm. Mayweather don't get dropped. Yeah. Mayweather don't. I'm, Mayweather a, Roy, don't, I'm, a, Roy Jones, I'm a Roy Jones god on my soul. But Roy man. Jones fucked up at the end ten, though. Ten years, man. Ten years of not losing around, dog. Ten Mayweather years. Did, man. Mayweather did forever of not losing. Yeah, I know, but but so, then, but so, when Roy Jones, see, but Roy Jones start getting knocked out back to back to back, though, it's like took away from the prestige. Well, you that, and, and, and Roy Jones, Roy, Roy, Roy Jones prime, Roy Jones prime, he was unstoppable. I mean, Roy Jones just went up and came back down too fast, man. He went up the heavyweight when he came back down because he put but some work is, on John. When you start talking That's about why. Mayweather, though, when you talk about Mayweather, you start talking about greatness and flawlessness. Yeah. Like you talk about no blemishes, no nothing. You know the worst thing that happened to him was when Shigga Shane caught him with a punch. Mm. That's the worst thing you can say about him. He got caught with the Shigga Shane almost dropped him. That's it. Then he beat the dog shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Zab, Ju Zab Judah was a good fight too. I like that. Zab. Yeah, Zab Judah was Zab Judah, but the, the Zab Judah, but you know he, he always get, he he walk you down and start yeah start getting you. Yeah. You know exactly. I mean like Kodo was a good fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, the, 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 what's the nigga name? The the wild nigga he fought twice. Um, talk about uh, the, the monkey. Uh, yeah, I know you talk about. No, 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 they, 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 not out there. Um, um, the nigga, the little Puerto Rican looking nigga, look like he Chinese. I forgot the nigga name. Uh, I thought you uh, were saying American. I didn't see that. Uh, no, American. No, I'm talking about the the nigga, the, the, the nigga, the nigga, the, the wild the nigga, like he like Puerto Rican type nigga, like he like they look Chinese. I forgot the nigga name. Are you talking? You talking about early in his career? You talking about no? He's playing like 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 no like late like later on his career. Mm. Uh, I forgot the nigga name, man. He fought yeah. the nigga twice, but the nigga was like yeah. giving him a little, little, little. You know what I mean, but but Mayweather always figure it out and gonna fuck you up and, and, and never lose. He could yeah, he, he, no, he, he take a layoff for two years, come back and beat the. Sh he beat Pacquiao like it was easy. He yeah, beat Pacquiao like he beat Pacquiao like he was his little brother just sparring with him. You know what I mean, like yeah, that was yeah that yeah. A lot of people, because a lot of people say that was a little too late when he fought back. Yeah, but it don't matter if it was, I, think, my thing I is, know Mayweather hated. He yeah, he one of the greats, man. He my thing is, is make, people always say something about Mayweather. Like we got remember, he been fighting champs since their nineties. Yeah. Exactly. He been fighting champs since before fucking um. What's the nigga? What's the Puerto Rican name who died on the motorcycle? Uh, 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 uh Diego Corrales. Yeah, D yeah, Corrales. He been yeah. fighting champs since Diego yeah. Corrales days. Yeah, man, uh, I mean, man, I that fight too. That was crazy. He, <laughs> he beat the shit out of him. He made him look regular. And Corrales yeah, made him look regular. Was, was so, yeah. Niggas forget about that because they probably too young. Yeah, this nigga, this nigga made he made fucking Diego Corrales look regular. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, did he beat man? If he beat, he beat so many people, you forget he beat so many. He been fighting champs the whole time. He never fought nobody yeah. regular. And he Ricky always fought the I remember that the Ricky Hatton fight too. That's he, man, he knocked that nigga out in the corner like that. Man, that shit was like, yo. Any, any, what about the what's the black husky nigga that uh from Af look like he African um he wouldn't even swing back uh fuck was his name mm. damn the fuck was his name I forget these niggas name man the the, the, the husky nigga he fought, the nigga was fighting uh remember the remember the nigga that had about it Mayweather they make shot shake Mayweather head he knocked him out uh yeah yeah you talking about Ortiz, uh, Ortiz. Yeah, protect yourself at all times yeah 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 Ortiz, yeah, yeah. Ortiz yeah, yeah. for the black one I'm talking about for Ortiz twice the, uh the Ortiz beat took the belt from. Uh, anyway, I remember Mayweather beat him. He, he think he wouldn't even think of swing a punch. He wouldn't even throw a punch. I want to see Mayweather fight the uh, other nigga. Um, what's the nigga that was talking shit? Act like, like he Mayweather. Um, Bro Broner. 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 I, mean, I want him nah. and Broner to fight. <laughs> nah, they would. That ain't gonna go down. I don't think. No, no, it's too late now. But Broner wanted the fighting bag. Yeah. Broner wanted that paycheck. 
in his in, in, in Brona's prime, man, he was a good fighter. But Brona's problem is he would never let his hands go. He didn't want to get knocked out. That's his problem, man. He didn't want to get knocked out. He talked too much he, trash. Like, I don't want to get knocked out. You know what I mean? Like, yo, when they come to box, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about making a boxing podcast. Mm. I'm thinking Talk. about making a, box, a boxing podcast because, like, I mean, like, I love, like, boxing is, like, like, I mean, like, that shit, you can't blame it on nobody when you get in that ring. It's you are the sweet you science, know. man. The sweet science, man. Yeah, I Mayweather love. My, Mayweather, my top boxer of all times. Mm. I don't care. Anybody you ever see name, if they lost, they're not better than me. Ah, if you lost, you're not, you lost, on, you're not better than me. Come on, man. Don't do that, man. Listen, if you, lo you lost, that, if you lost, you're not better than me. Don't do that, man. <laughs> if you lost. Bro, if you lost, listen, if you, lost, if you took a loss, you're not better than me. You look at somebody like, even look at Canelo career. He's not better. He lost before. He I'm not saying he's better, but you can't just say just because you lost, man. Well, career. you can't say Canelo anyway because he beat Canelo. Yeah, he beat Canelo. <laughs> but I'm just saying, going off the fact that you're saying if somebody got losses, though, man. If you lost, listen, if, 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 listen, if I fought 50 times and I never lost, and you fought however many times you lost, you're not better than me. Yo, you know, a lot of the game be politics too, man. Listen, but look listen, at Mike they, Tyson. Listen, bro. listen. Mike they Tyson didn't like Mayweather. They didn't, they didn't like Mayweather. Nah, they did. He did They're not going to help him win. win at all. Nah, the the closest fight they had to lose was when he fought De La Hoya. Yeah, but May, they was making money off Mayweather, man. Mayweather had a blueprint, man. But they Mayweather, was but, no, but, you can't but, but I'm going to tell you like this a lot of people may say, uh, De La Hoya beat him on the cards. No. no. He was fucking De La Hoya up. He was. He was fucking De La Hoya. I, watched that fight. I watched that fight seven times. Yo, let me tell you something. If you lost before, you're not better than me. That's that's how I look at it. Because yeah. my thing is, not only did he never lose, he never got hurt. Nah, he well, got, he, he his hands, shot. his hands, his hands. But he, I liked him at Pretty Boy. He was, Pretty Boy was bro, knocking bro. niggas out. He never got dropped. Nah. Nobody never dropped him. Nah. <laughs> Nobody never. Yo, he barely ever have a black eye. Nah. He barely, he barely yeah. get a bloody nose. So, so put him in another era. Is he? Is he? Is he yes, the shape? The same. Put him in another era. Put him, the same, no matter what. He, listen. You know, is he beating why. Hitman? Is he beating Hitman Hearns? He is beating he, Hearns, and, and he beating Sugar Ray Leonard. He beating Sugar Ray. He beating Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> he beating Hagler. I think he's going to be Hagler because he, he moved all, more than Hagler. He's going to be Hagler. He's going to be mean? Hagler. And only person that give him a run for their money is Sugar Ray. Yeah. Only person. But he'll beat Sugar Ray. But Sugar Ray, I think Sugar Ray hit harder than him. Mm. Sugar Ray hit harder than a motherfucker. Like, Sugar Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar yeah. Ray. I think Sugar Ray hit harder than him. But listen, too. listen, Sugar Ray the Mayweather of that era. Yeah. But Sugar Ray yeah. lost. Yeah. He lost to Roberto Duran. Yeah. Mayweather not losing to nobody. Mayweather, Mayweather not losing to Roberto Duran. Nah, he not. He not. <laughs> he not. He not. He not. He not, he not he losing not. Roberto Duran. I don't give a fuck. I, if you remember Roberto Duran fight 20 times, he not losing none of the times. Nah. <laughs> like, too Mayweather too skilled, man. He that's too what I'm skilled. saying. Listen, it's Mayweather brain. It ain't his fight. It's his brain. Yeah, he too skilled, man. Listen, he, listen, he, skilled. Listen, he find a way to win. Yeah, he too and, and it's a, it's a, as the as the fight go on longer go on the more he fucking you up. Yeah, he, he starts he start getting you, he gets you down pat and then by the, the eighth round you you you're done. He too skilled. Is 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 uh is can Shakur can Shakur beat Javante Davis, man? I don't. I, I never say somebody beat Javante Davis because all he take is one punch and he gets you the fuck up out of there. But yeah. he got a chance. Devin Haney got a chance, but if they if they run from him, if, if box him and run from him. They got mm. a chance. Mm. But if you start to stay there and fight him, you don't got a chance. Yeah. He's Mike Tyson. He's Mike Tyson. Yeah. All he got to do is touch you. No, touch I mean, you, you know, I think a tall, he, well, they, they were saying it might take a taller person because you seen what Lennox Lewis did to Tyson. Yeah. You know, but, but, but you got to remember, he did it to Tyson, the old Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. Young yeah. Tyson. Nah, I agree. Yeah. Nah. Yo, yeah. When, when, listen, when, when, when Javante knocked that ball out, that pretty ball uh, in the corner, I think he killed yeah. him. Yeah, I said, "Oh, that uppercut hit him with that that shit." I said, "Oh my god, that shit was devastation." Like a little check hook. I don't know. Yo, that's, boom! I said, "Damn, yeah. that shit was like what the 
That nigga was that nigga was crumbled like a bag of potatoes. Like I said, yo, this nigga killed this nigga. Like what the f- <laughs> yo, listen, Sugar Ray Robinson is 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 is, is, is Mayweather. Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, they like the, the net weight class, they like the top, yeah. but, she, but Mayweather won't lose to them. Sugar Ray Robinson won't beat Sugar, uh, May, uh, Mayweather. Mm. He's not going to yeah. let him. Mm. I mean, you come in with all that wild shit, you're going to you mm. get out the way of it. And mm. gonna put the, put the, put the, put the. Let me ask you this, too. What was your opinion? Remember the dude, man, uh, man, the dude, uh, Tommy, the hitman? Remember him, man? Yeah. White yeah, boy, you think, what, what was your oh, you know, you opinion? You, 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 yeah, you, you, you think he could have beat Mike Tyson? Fuck no. He was did you, not. Did you see when he fought? Did you see when he fought? Did you see when he fought Ryan Mercer? Yeah, I see when he Mercer fought. almost killed this nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you got to remember this about Young Mike Tyson. Young Mike Tyson had a chin. Yeah. Remember he's for Razor Ruddick? Remember Razor yeah. Ruddick? Razor yeah. Ruddick was hitting Mike Tyson with some incredible shit. Yeah, he was though. He was. Mike Tyson was, wasn't going nowhere. He was trying to get your ass. Shorter. He got that lower center. And, he, and he dipping around. And if you can't take a punch, you're going to. Because yeah. he dropped Razor Ruddick, Razor Ruddick like five times. So that style, you know that. So that pickaboo style, Mike Tyson got. You think that worked today? And because yeah. I don't really you see. Know, let, me you, let me tell you why. It only work if you hit hard like Mike Tyson hit. Yeah. Mike Tyson like this. You can hit me five times. If I hit you once. It's over. Yeah. You, but you know who could take Mike Tyson punches? Mitch Green. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch Green took all that shit. He ate all that shit. It was giving Mike Tyson some work. He, you know, yeah. like, Mitch Green was a, a tough ass ball. Like, yeah. Mitch Green wasn't going down. Mitch, it was hit, it was hitting Mitch Green with the hardest fucking punches in life. And Evander too, man. Evander. Evander's a soldier. Evander's yeah, a soldier. Soldier, man. man. Evander, you see what Evander would told the two with motherfucking big baby, fucking uh, Rick Bow, twice. Yeah, man. I mean, like it, Rick Bow is like 30, 40 more pounds than him. You know what I mean, like Evander yeah, Holyfield was different. Evander was one of them undersized heavyweights, man. If he was a little bit huskier, like an over. athlete, man. But if he was a little bit bigger, it'd be over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if he hit, a, if he hit a little bit harder, like Tyson, it'd have been over. But, but nah, Evander, you're not Evander, not going nowhere, and he's not quitting. Nah, he's not. Nah. You gotta kill him. You gotta kill him. I mean, like you gotta kill him, but like yo, dog. Anybody that don't, don't think Mayweather somebody's better than Mayweather, they tripping. Yeah. Because not only does he win, he win without a doubt, and he make it look easy. And he, and he listen, he, he don't even have a scratch on him. Mm-hmm. He be talking after the fight like he wasn't even fighting. Mm. He never get tired. He don't drink. He don't smoke. He trains. Yeah, he trains no matter if he got a fight or not. He trained all year. Yep. <laughs> you can't. That thing is. Un- yeah, but listen, you don't got no vices like that, man. And your mind, bro, is you can't. Crazy. Listen, then your mind's sharp. His mind is sharp. He's been boxing since he's a little kid. He's a, he's made for boxing. His dad a boxer. He's he 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 he, he the best boxer I think ever is, is ever gonna be. You don't think it's gonna you know be? No, because let me say something. He's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. He's not the tough. He, he just he 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 made for boxing. Sweet science of boxing. He's mm-hmm. he he perfectly. His brain is what's his, 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 his asset. That's a fact. That's a brain, fact. Ain't nothing, ain't, ain't, not gonna, I mean, he's not gonna knock you out with one punch. He's not gonna do none of that. But he's gonna wear you down and he's gonna, he gonna figure you out and he's gonna beat you. Yeah. He's gonna if, figure it out. Canelo, people say Canelo was young, but Canelo was knocking everybody out. He was, though. He made Canelo look like a little punk boy. Yeah, he, he him was touching him up in that joint. Yo, too. He hit him with that uppercut, and that nigga head went up in the sky like this. I said, Oh, yeah, that fight can never beat everybody else after that. Yeah, so he was too young. No, that nigga wasn't too young. He just fought Mayweather. That's it, don't matter when he fought him. He could have been older. He just ran in the Mayweather. He ran, he ran in the May, May, Mayweather. Then Mayweather beat him bad. He beat Cotto bad. Yeah, but Cotto had him bleeding a little bit, but he beat Cotto. Was a cheap, Cotto all that. He beat Cotto yeah. bad. Yeah, Miguel Cotto. Yeah, yeah. He beat him back. like I'm like I'm like yo niggas be getting people forget who Mayweather beat. He beat Pacquiao. He beat Cotto. He beat he beat er, 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 everybody put in front of him. He beat mm-hmm. and, pe- and people come to the fights to see him lose. Mm-hmm. That's why they sell so much. They want to see Mayweather lose. They don't come to see him yeah. win. The shit he did to Gotti or Toro Gotti. Oh my god. Yeah, he definitely embraced that villain role. What you so, what you think about man? They had the little exhibition fight with the um. With the with the son, it was calling the all the monkeys and all of that and stuff like that. Oh, oh. I man, see. He, had, he had an exhibition fight with John Gotti Jr. Man, oh, I seen that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Not Junior, but I think it was the grandson. I, 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 don't take the, I don't take the exhibitions serious. Yeah. You know, Mayweather know how to sell a fight, man. Yeah, he not, he, I don't take that shit serious because they don't be real boxes. I go by mm -hmm. the shit that he did like in the in his real in his real like I mean I don't even I don't even take Conor McGregor fight serious. Mm. I don't take what that you serious. thought about that fight? What was your opinion on that fight? I think it was corny. I don't think Conor, I don't think Conor McGregor stood a chance. Mm. He, I mean, he, I mean, he not made for boxing. Like I mean, he did good. He did good for what he made for it, but he ain't stand a chance. Like I mean, I don't. Who you think better boxer, him or Jake Paul? Jake Paul. Think Jake Paul better boxing than Conor? Jake Paul be putting them paws on you. Jake Paul get you the fuck out of there. He, <laughs> Jake Paul will get you the fuck out of there. Jake Paul could be a real boxer. Mm. Jake, listen, Jake Paul, Jake Paul will get Jake Paul will knock you the fuck out. He got mm. one punch, one one punch knockout power. You know what I mean? So I, I think I think Jake Paul could beat Conor McGregor in boxing. You think so? Yeah. Plus, take Conor McGregor get tired. Jake Paul, I think Jake Paul gonna run him down. He young. He gonna and he's strong. He gonna. I don't think I don't think Conor McGregor could beat could beat. You see the the, the black boy who's the black boy from MMA ball head boy could barely beat Jake Paul. Jake Paul the Jake Paul fact Jake Paul beat him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he knocked one of them dudes out. Yeah, Man, he, he, he knocked one of them boys out like the first round. That, that uh, the, the one boy the bear that, that was devastating. Like that nigga straight out. Like I mean, yeah, that's that's, that's why I say he he reminded me of that dude Tommy the Hitman. You know what I'm saying? Tommy the Hitman was nice. It's just that he ran he forced some some bad motherfuckers back in his time. Yeah, you he know he for he felt free for raise a rudder. He, he, yeah. he, 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 he also fought, fought, fought some trash cans too. Now you got you, know, you know you know you know he quit HIV, right? Yeah, he quit, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, he that's, that's how he HIV. stopped being able to fight. Yeah, he was in Rocky Five. He's the person in Rocky movie. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> right. dog, 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 that boxing shit though. That's my that's my that's, dog, that's I'm watching bare knuckle fighting right now. That's that's what I that's all I do is watch fighting. Like I mean, that shit is like. If I was a shot of many times, I think I would have been a boxer. The dudes doing the, the backyard boxing in the YouTube. What's your I love all that shit. No, you got to watch the shit in Russia when they be fighting with the hay, the haystacks around the circle. Shit. I they, 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 these niggas, they, they had jeans on, no shirt. Rump, talking about rumbling. I mean, I oh, watch all shit. that. I, 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 don't, I love that shit for some reason. I'd I be mad I got all these you, I mean, it's crazy because Philly a boxing city, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of the but not no more. These young boys, these young boys, look, we, got, we got the best fighter right now in this. Yeah. And it's nice too, yeah. And it's we got the best. Yo, and it's the and it's represent Philly. That nigga like twenty four, really? he's unstoppable. Yeah. Now that's that's somebody I want to see Terrence Crawford fight. Crawford and Ennis. and it's just like Ennis and Crawford. This Ennis don't want that, man. Listen, Ennis, I want I want to bet on that fight. Ennis don't want that smoke. You can't, you can't say that because listen, Ennis was perfect against everybody. Like come out. I think Ennis need to. He should fight him, but not right now, man. I say fight him right now. You know why? No, why not? He's calm right now, man. You know what's crazy? Him, what what, what he, he might, should do? He need to let him, let him fight. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let him get, let him get his rematch. You know, let him get his rematch. I don't even want to see a rematch of that. It's not going. Nah, I'm seeing speaking from Ennis perspective, though. You know what I'm saying? This is a no, fan. Listen, if Ennis, but imagine if he beat him. Imagine if Ennis beat. Listen, Ennis, Ennis Crawford. I, I, I would lean towards Crawford winning, but it's not. It's not guaranteed. And it's got a better chance than this the Earl Spence had. Yeah, and it's got legs. I, I, and it's could be Earl Spence. For sure. I yeah, bet on it. I mean fight. He fight like Crawford. They fight the same. He hit hard like Crawford. I think he I think he's faster than Crawford, though. I think he faster. I don't think he hit harder than Crawford, though. I think I think he hits just hard. Yo, we you see the niggas even knocking yo. Yeah, I don't know if you hit. If they, if you hit hard, they, they hit about the same hardness. They got about the same I amount of power. I think he's faster than Crawford. I do, but I just don't think he. I think I think I think I think he got the same IQ as Crawford in boxing. I think Ennis. Yeah, he's. Because I remember, even Ennis, even though Ennis ain't fight nobody yet, I still think they don't mean nothing. He make he make everybody look like they ain't nobody. Well, that's smart. Whoever's in this quarter. They, 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 you know, they, they handling in the range right because. But no, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's his dad. His dad, his dad want to fight yeah. Crawford. They like, we wanna, why we can't fight Crawford? But they want to fight Crawford. Nah, that's a fight. That's a fight you want to do. But I'm just saying right now, I, I say you wait a couple years, man. I, I say no. I say, I say go now. Where they you do that? Listen, listen, you know, listen, if you, if you, you, you where they fight at? Where they fight at? What, 154? Where they fight 154. 154. I, I say this. I say this. If, if him and Crawford fight, even if he. Give Crawford a good run for his money. Then make his name crazy. Yeah, he don't gotta win that fight either. No, I'm saying he don't gotta win. He gotta give him a good run for his money. And I know yeah. he will. I know he will. 
But see, I will never bet against Crawford. <laughs> nah. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I will never bet against a nigga from Philly, so I would never bet. I wouldn't bet on that fight. Now, nah, see, dudes, they be forget, man. Crawford got shot in the head, man. He and drove himself to the dudes. hospital. Drove himself to the hospital. Crawford, the type of nigga. Listen, when you when you punch Crawford, and get a punch off on him. He want to punch you back. Yeah, you can't just punch Crawford and just think he not going. He you know he got an attitude like the nigga King Kong, the nigga Ortiz, the big the honey. You hit, you hit Ortiz, he want to hit you back. Mm -hmm. But you know who the you know who the troop the sleeper is the nigga Ruiz. Yeah, the, that little fat flabby nigga. That nigga is a yeah. problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. He definitely, yeah, yeah. He's Hell a yeah. problem. Yeah, I want him, you know that's they try to get him to fight the nigga on um, the bronze bomber. Mm. I think mm. he could beat the bronze bomber. The bronze bomber can't really fight. He just hit hard as shit. He just if he touch you, you're done. You're done. Yeah, he touch a you, you're done. People, a lot of people say that. What you think about Dante Wilder, man? You think that's what I'm talking about? Yeah, he, you think he, you think he get? Yeah, yeah, they do go. You think he can hit a? Uh, he can't he fight. Box? He can't really box to me. He man. can't fight at all. But if he, he hits really you. If he hits you, you're going to sleep. But I, don't, I think the reason I think you can't be champion and not box, man. You see, my dog, dog, he, 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 he got a he, box, man. But bro, he, he defended his belt eleven times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he, he had to do with Joe Lewis, like you got. You know what I mean, but because he don't got a lot of fight when you when you six seven and six eight and can punch like that. Yeah. You, if all it takes is one punch. You know, it was a, niggas be beating him. He punching with one. One punch, you Tyson you're done. Fury. Why you can't beat Tyson Fury, man? Because this is Tyson Fury could take a punch. Listen, when he dropped Tyson Fury, he wasn't supposed to get up. Yeah, I agree. I agree got up like when he got up. Then Tyson Tyson Fury, the only nigga that's taller than him. Yeah, he got jerked on that man. I agree. But 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 like, but he can't. Tyson Fury got his number. Yeah, sometimes you just see them guys that got your number, man. Tyson Fury six nine, and he got that attitude like you're not beating me. But I think I think Ruiz could be all of them. Mm. Only way, only way he might not be able to beat Tyson Fury because the, the height's so different and it's jad. Mm. Mm. But like if he if he get close to you, them fast hands. Yeah, they all you. They all you. And yeah. he don't get tired. Yeah. Yeah. He don't get all that that, that big weight to me. That, that was, I think that shit look deceiving, right? That shit deceiving as hell, right? Yeah, when he beat Anthony Joshua, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Yeah, the fuck is this boy? Yo, you know who I want to see fight? Ruiz and that nigga Oshwick. What's his name? That the nigga uh, who the fuck is his name? Um, the uh, the nigga who just beat Anthony Joshua twice. Oh, he got the belt. He got the belt. Yeah, he like from like Sweden from somewhere. Um, what the fuck is his name? He the champ right now. Um, Austin, 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 some crazy shit. Like he he box like a small heavyweight. He beat Joshua twice. Usnick, Usnick, or some shit like that. Usnick, 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 Usnick. yeah, Usnick, Usnick. Usnick, like I'm gonna see how many Ruiz fight. They both they, they, they like the same size. Both could fight, fight. That should be crazy. But I mean, but you, who knows? But you know, in yeah. boxing, man, they not trying to make the fights that people want to see. It's, it's the sometimes long they game. do. Yeah, you know, they be wanting to preserve their boxes though. This all the game. You got Triple G and around. Canelo. Everybody wanted to see that. Yeah. Yeah, because remember Triple G was punishing niggas. Mm -hmm. Canelo beat that nigga like he was a, his little brother. Like, yeah. And when he punched Canelo, Canelo ain't even budge. Yeah. Canelo, Canelo. seen Triple G punches like they wasn't even hard. Yeah. But that's why I said I said Charlo don't stand a chance of hurting him. You gotta definitely move around with Canelo, man. You gotta. But Canelo move. going to catch you. You gotta. He's going move. to get you in the corner. He's going to get you somewhere, and he's going to hit you with a body shot. Or a, you know, he knocked you out with a body shot. Yeah. He hit you in the so you can't cover your body and face at the same time. So and you think you it's gonna go nine rounds. A lot of people saying they ain't gonna go that long. No, I, I think no, I think I think I think I think I think a lot of okay, people Charlo, gotta Charlo, go Charlo, Charlo, Charlo good. Charlo, Charlo good, man. Charlo a class ain't fighting, man. But he's not making it past 10 rounds. Mm. I'm that's what I'm a, I'm a bet I'm a bet on I'm a bet on he's not making it past nine. Mm. I'm betting on Canelo to win. He's not making the pass nine. He's not going the distance. And whatever, like we can look at bet on different shit. I'm gonna clean the fuck up. Like, yo, you see, I, I, got, I put a video up how much I want from Crawford. I, I pick, mm. I put a video of me picking my money up. I, I mean, I picked up one like ten bands. I mean, is, that really, 
what what you what you really be rocking with? You be fucking with uh Draft King. Fan, fan. I, any, any of that shit. We got Philly John called Perks. I, I, any of that shit is all the same. Yeah. I mean, I, I was all the same. I, I, I mean, I like I like I like the fact that you know you can even get the money sent to your John. You go pick up the cash. So I do it in Philly John. Mm-hmm. So I can go pick up the cash if I want to pick up the cash. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I, I'm telling you, but Canelo is is he don't have a chance to beat the Canelo. Like it's like it's no it's no chance. He's not gonna knock him out because Canelo don't get knocked out. <laughs> Canelo, Canelo, you never seen Canelo hurt. Mm. You never seen Canelo like wobbly. Mm-hmm. You never see Canelo like oh hitting the ne- never even when May- nobody can ne- never he didn't fought all he didn't fought all type of big niggas that hit hard you, you don't mm-hmm. even the nigga that beat him Bivol ain't mm-hmm. never hurt him mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I lost seventeen thousand on that fight because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I didn't look who he fought I just bet I said whoever he fight I'm betting on it I didn't even see who he's fighting I never even heard of Bivol I know That's... that nigga now <laughs> yeah, I know right hell yeah hell but he was yeah. big as shit though yeah yeah. He was he was he was too big for him. Like you I mean, but he want to fight him again. I still I wouldn't, budget. I would I wouldn't would, would bet on on, on, on Canelo against Bivol again. Nah, no, nah. But nigga, on the first listen, on the first, I'm gonna call your niggas on the first, and we're gonna tell we gonna have a this and this gonna be free. I'm gonna call you <laughs> on the first. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about this Canelo and, and, and Charlo fight. All right. No, no doubt, no doubt. Peace out, bro. Hey, yo. hey yo, appreciate overdriving through, man. Hey yo, first of all, man, could we get a drop, homie, man? Oh, drop, man. This three, 360 plug hype, man. Yo, shout out to 360 plug hype, man. If you ain't here listening to this, you ain't listening to nothing. Your name should be radio because you retarded. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, homie. Mm-hmm.